Hi, I would like to invite you to Patreon or to the official website where I upload over 250 chapters of various books, including content not permitted on YouTube, and where most of the updated or completed audiobooks for the latest releases are available. Comprehensive Manga, Uchiha Dimension Restaurant Author, Overlord is very dangling. Brief Introduction After Guo Huang traveled through, he accidentally bound the Dimension Restaurant system and got his own restaurant and staff. Every other month, Guo Huang takes the restaurant and staff to other worlds at random. And every night, the restaurant will automatically open the dimensional channel, connecting all the worlds, so that anyone can come to the restaurant to eat. The only thing that makes Guo Huang a headache is that the staff is a bit difficult to manage. Because his employees are not ordinary people. I lost. So many bosses come to work for me. I've made a fortune. So, around a very luxurious restaurant, you can see Jishue handing out flyers outside, Madara standing at the door as a security guard, and Itachi staying in the restaurant to greet guests and bring soil to deliver food for you. Chapter 1 Before reading this book, I would like to remind brothers that the content in the introduction is basically at the back. Please don't worry about reading it slowly. The rhythm in front of you is a little slower, mainly funny, and it belongs to the slow and hot type. In the Academy City, in a very remote area, there is a very very dilapidated restaurant. This restaurant, saying it is shabby, is complimenting it. If you get closer, you can clearly see that the walls of this restaurant are actually made of rotten wood. There was even a big hole in the door of the restaurant. This is not the worst, you would never imagine that even the roof of this restaurant is made of thatch. If it weren't for the sign at the door telling people that this is a place to eat, who would have thought that such a rotten house would be a restaurant? At this moment, inside the restaurant, Guo Huang was sitting next to the front desk, bored playing with his mobile phone. A week ago, Guo Huang was still doing business at Water Blue Star. I don't know what's going on, but inexplicably transmigrated here, and also awakened the dimensional restaurant system. At the beginning, Guo Huang was obviously very confused, his cooking skills were simply a mess, how could he be bound to a system such as a restaurant? So Guo Huang quit right away, he just wanted to hurry back to Shui Lanqing, to the world that belonged to him. However, according to the system's instructions, he can only return to his original world after he has earned enough points. Just when Guo Huang wondered how to earn points, the system told him the method. It turned out that as long as Guo Huang received 10 guests, he could get dot points. And the money earned every month will also be converted into points. After hearing the news, Guo Huang's facial expression instantly froze. Isn't this riding a horse pitting him? Not to mention that Guo Huang's restaurant is like a shithole, even if he owns the most luxurious restaurant in the world, he will be able to earn a billion points in this lifetime. This is not the most important, mainly because the dishes on Guo Huang's menu are still terrifyingly expensive. A single dish costs dot yuan. Unless it is a guest with a brain, they will come to such a rotten place and spend a lot of money to eat the rotten dishes made by Guo Huang. However, just when Guo Huang was complaining, the voice of the system suddenly sounded in his mind. Ding! The function of the system has been percent lifted. Now you can bestow the host with perfect cooking skills. And open the staff recruitment function. But the employees recruited by the host can only be dead people. When the system beep ended, Guo Huang was immediately excited. You know, since he crossed into the forbidden world, the system has not spoken for a week. Now the system is finally going to give him the golden finger. How could this not get him excited? Then what are you waiting for? Hurry up and improve my cooking skills. Then recruit staff. Ding! After receiving the host's order, the host's cooking skills have been upgraded to the strongest level in the universe. As for the employee recruitment function, please do not worry about the host, the system will enable this function for the host immediately. After listening to the system, Guo Huang felt a little puzzled. How could the system improve his cooking skills so quickly? And is it the strongest level in the universe? Do you want to be so exaggerated? However, before Guo Huang could fully react, the system's voice sounded again. Have successfully recruited Achiha Madara, Achiha Itachi, Achiha Abito, and Achiha Shursue for the host. From today onwards, these four people are the host's employees. The host can summon them at any time. 
After the system finished speaking, Guo Huang was completely dumbfounded. When he was at Blue Mercury, Guo Huang didn't watch Hokage less, of course he knew the four people the system recruited for him. I lost it. You actually recruited the strongest pink eye patients in Hokage. You really belong. At this time, Guo Huang immediately became excited. The stronger the recruited employees, the happier he would naturally be. But soon, Guo Huang felt something was wrong. Since the recruited employees are so strong, what if they don't obey Guo Huang's instructions? Thinking of this, Guo Huang retracted his excitement and frowned. The system saw through Guo Huang's troubles, and began to explain it to Guo Huang. Please rest assured, the host, the employees recruited by the system for you will obey your orders, percent, and any of their attacks will not cause any harm to your body. After hearing this news, Guo Huang's inner worries were immediately swept away. Then what are you waiting for? Get them for me. After Guo Huang finished speaking, the system immediately opened the dimensional channel. I saw a dazzling light suddenly descended from the sky and landed on Guo Huang's dilapidated wooden house. The dazzling light made Guo Huang couldn't help closing his eyes, and then there were a few more people in the restaurant. When Guo Huang opened his eyes again, Madara, Itachi, Abito, and Shi Sui had already appeared in front of him, and a small circle of light was floating above their heads. This. Is this? At this time, Itachi was the first to react, and he turned his head to look around suspiciously, and then looked at Abito and Madara with vigilance. Itachi. Why are you here? After Shi Sui saw Itachi, his expression was immediately full of surprise. He remembered that he was already dead, why could he still see Itachi? Could it be that the weasel also died? Humph, is it the art of reincarnation from the dirty earth again? Which daring fellow is this time? He actually dares to resurrect me. Among the four, only Banyan looked down at the surroundings with a cold face, with disdain in his eyes and his arms on his chest, completely ignoring anyone. No, I'm afraid this is not the art of reincarnation of dirty soil. Abito, who was on the side, looked at his body and found that there were no cracks on his body, nor did he lose pain and touch. Therefore, Abito was certain that what brought them back to life this time was definitely not the technique of reincarnation of the dirty soil. However, just as the four of them were talking, Guo Huang was also thinking about how to explain this to them later. Host. Forgot to tell you that the employees you recruit also need to earn certain points before they can return to their world. But they don't need to earn a billion points, they only need to earn point million points and they can go back. And when the time comes, not only can they go back to Naruto world, but the system can also help them recast their bodies. As soon as Guo Huang heard the system's words, he immediately asked, then how do they earn points? Are they entertaining guests like me? No, the way they get points is to do chores. Every time they do a hundred chores, they get one point. After listening to the system's explanation, Guo Huang couldn't help but smile happily. Originally Guo Huang thought he was miserable enough, but he didn't expect his employees to be even worse than him. Although Guo Huang can only get a measly 10 points for every one customers he receives, it is still better than the pitiful dot point of Itachi and the others. Chapter 2 Ban, what the hell are you trying to do this time? At this time, Itachi stared at Abito and Madara in front of him with bad eyes. When such a strange thing happened, the first thing Itachi suspected was Abito and Madara. Humph, who are you? Don't you know what tone to use when dealing with seniors? Faced with Itachi's questioning, Madara sternly turned back and glared at Itachi fiercely. Abito quietly walked to Itachi's side, apparently choosing to stand on the same front as Itachi. After all, in the final battle, Abito had already been completely dismissed by Naruto, and he had already rehabilitated. In addition, Abito had already learned the truth and knew that Rin was actually killed by Madarada. So Abito would never continue to join forces with Madara. So, in the restaurant. Madara just stared at Abito and Itachi, while Itachi stared at Abito and Madara, and the atmosphere in the restaurant gradually became tense. Just when they were about to fight, Guo Huang finally spoke up. You don't have to misunderstand each other anymore, I called you here. After hearing Guo Huang's voice, Jishue, Itachi, Abito, and Madara turned their heads together to look at Guo Huang. Moreover, when they saw Guo Huang, Ban immediately snorted disdainfully. 
because on Guahuang, Madara did not perceive any chakra fluctuations. So the other party is just an ordinary person, how can they resurrect these four big brothers together? Itachi also frowned, also not believing what Guahuang just said. Hey, don't look at me with that kind of eyes, I really didn't lie to you. And this is no longer your world, I summoned you to other worlds. After Guohuang finished speaking, Madara, Itachi, Jishue, and Abito were obviously more suspicious of Guohuang. Since just now, he has been talking nonsense non-stop, this person must have a hole in his head, right? And Guohuang didn't pay any attention to them after seeing that they didn't believe them, but continued to explain to them on his own. I know it's a bit abrupt to suddenly summon you to this world, but it's not without your benefits. From now on, as long as you stay here and do some chores for me, then sooner or later, I will help you return to your world, and let you recast your flesh. As soon as these words came out, without mentioning other people's reactions, Madara frowned, apparently angry. However, when Guo Huang said these words, he had already guessed that Madara would react like this. If there is no system, then Guo Huang will definitely not dare to say such words. But now, Guo Huang's system has clearly told him that his employees can't hurt themselves at all. Therefore, in the face of the unhappy Moban, Guo Huang was completely fearless, and there was no fear in his expression. Humph, you want me Uchiha Madara to do the chores for you? What a stinky brat! I saw Madara start to take steps, slowly walking towards Guo Huang, and a very powerful chakra erupted from the whole body, ready to kill the opponent. After seeing this scene, Itachi and Nabito and Shushue didn't stop Madara. Because they all wanted to see if Guo Huang was pretending to be a pig and eating a tiger. Trust me Madara, you'll regret it. On the other hand, Guo Huang did not shy away from looking at Madara, his expression did not change. After seeing this, Madara became even more unhappy. He directly accelerated his speed, came to Guo Huang in an instant, and then punched Guo Huang in the face. In Uchiha Madara's view, this punch was enough to kill Guo Huang. However, when his fist smashed into Guo Huang's face, the other party acted like a normal person, not even moving his body. What? After seeing that Guo Huang was unscathed, Madara immediately froze in place. Not far away, Shushue, Itachi, and Abito were also dumbfounded. The next second, the system's prompt sound suddenly sounded from everyone's mind. It was found that our employee Uchiha Madara attacked the boss, and the system decided to enforce a Onedi quarantine and deduct 100 Uchiha Madara points. The current Uchiha Madara points. After the sound of the system ended, Madara's body was suddenly attracted to the wall of the restaurant by a strong gravitational force. Not only that, when Madara was hung on the wall made of rotten wood, his body instantly became immobile, and even chakra could not be released. Damn. What the hell is going on here? This time, Madara was completely dumbfounded, and now he can only be hung on the wall like a jerk. Can't move, can't condense chakra. This. This guy, actually gave Madara to. At this time, Abito's forehead was sweating. Madara's strength, he is the most aware. But now, Madara was actually sanctioned by a Guohuang who didn't even seem to be a ninja, which shocked Abito's heart. Itachi, this person, I can't see through him. Jishue also stared at Guo Huang nervously, for fear that the other party would imprison himself and Itachi on the wall next. Ah, he's really good. Itachi replied to Jishue lightly, and then silently observed Guo Huang's every move. I have to say that Itachi now somewhat believes what Guo Huang just said. At the same time, in a dark room in the Academy City, Alistair Crowley was soaking upside down in the nutrient solution. What is that light that fell from the sky? At this time, Alistair was thinking about what happened in Guo Huang's restaurant. That's right, when Guo Huang summoned the Uchiha spirit boy before, the light that fell from the sky was discovered by Alistair. This is normal. After all, Alistair has spread more than point million nanometer-sized machines throughout the Academy City to collect information. So anything that happened in the Academy City could not escape Alistair's eyes. But Alistair really didn't understand what happened to the light that flew to Guo Huang's restaurant. But it didn't matter, Alistair didn't care too much about it. Because strange things often happen in the Academy City, Alistair is not surprised. After a while, he will find someone to investigate. Chapter 3 
As time passed, it soon arrived the next morning. In the Dimension Restaurant, Madara was still hanging on the wall like a holy weapon to ward off evil spirits. And after hanging on the wall for a whole day, Madara's expression at this time was full of lovelessness. For him, this encounter is simply a lifetime of shame. As for Jishue, Abido, and Itachi, they didn't disrespect Guo Huang anymore. After all, with Ban Ban as their example, who would dare to underestimate Guo Huang? They can only honestly listen to the rules Guo Huang told them. After a whole day of popular science, Abido, Jishue, and Itachi also figured out the cause and effect of the incident. Through their own perception, they found that the world they were in was indeed not the world of Hokage. I saw that in the restaurant, Abido, Jishue, and Itachi had gotten up early and came to the restaurant to wait for Guo Huang to get up. Because Guo Huang had already said it yesterday, he would personally assign them tasks the next day. Itachi, do you believe everything he said? At this time, Shu Shue suddenly began to question Itachi next to him. And Itachi knew what Shu Shue was asking about, nothing more than chores. To be honest, until now I don't believe what that person said at all, but according to the current situation, we have no other way but to try it. I saw Itachi sighed helplessly, then sat on the chair and waited patiently for Guo Huang. After listening to Itachi's words, the masked Abido nodded and said, You're right, just doing a little chores here can return to our world and help us rebuild our bodies, I think it's utter nonsense. Madara, who was hung on the wall, also took the opportunity to roar, humph. No matter what the kid said is true or not, I, Uchiha Madara, will not do chores for him. He is just wishful thinking. Faced with Madara's roar, the three people present completely ignored him, ignoring his existence directly. However, just as the four of them were talking, Guo Huang, who had already woken up, also slowly walked from the room to the front desk of the restaurant. Guo Huang heard all the conversations of the four people before, and he had long expected that the four of them would not trust him. But it doesn't matter. Tonight, Guo Huang will use the system to open the dimensional channel to prove that what he said is true. Since everyone is here, then let me announce your future tasks. Guo Huang stood behind the front desk, looking at Shirsui, Abito, Itachi, and Mobin hanging on the wall in front of him, ready to send the four of them on a mission. First of all, Itachi, I want you to work as the cashier of our store, and at the same time be responsible for entertaining customers who come to the restaurant to eat. Ji Shui, your job is to hand out flyers. With your good looks and your sunny smile, you will definitely attract many guests. And you bring the soil, you are responsible for delivering food, I will let them leave their contact information for every customer who comes to eat in this restaurant, and when a repeat customer calls us, you will quickly use your divine power to give others. Food Delivery As for the spot. Just when Guo Huang mentioned Madara, he suddenly fell into silence. To be honest, Guo Huang really doesn't have any good tasks to assign to Madara. Just with Madara's indifferent expression, let alone taking care of guests, it would be a blessing for people not to be frightened by him. Thinking of this, Guo Huang made a decision not to let Ban, with a paralyzed face, stay in the restaurant. Let's do it, Madara, you can stand guard at the door in the future. With you guarding the door, I believe no one would dare to make trouble in the restaurant. After Guo Huang finished speaking, Madara stared at Guo Huang for a while and then nodded slightly. Because standing guard at the door is an acceptable job for Madara. In this way, he doesn't have to help Guo Huang with chores. But what Banana never expected was that after a few days, he could not wait to beg Guo Huang to let him do the chores. Okay, now that the division of labor is over, let's act quickly. Itachi, I'll be waiting for you in the back kitchen. Once a customer orders, you will immediately come to the back kitchen to find me with the order. After giving everything, Guo Huang turned around and walked towards the back kitchen. The gravitational force that originally imprisoned the spots was also released by Guo Huang. In the next second, Itachi slowly walked to the cash register at the front desk and sat down, waiting for the arrival of the guests. Humph, how could anyone want to come to such a ghost place to eat? It's really sick. At this time, Madara grumbled disdainfully, and walked out of the restaurant to stand guard. Abito on the side turned his head to look at Jishue, and said, Alas, looking at the restaurant like this, it is estimated that no one will come. Let's go, Jishue, and I will go outside with you to help you distribute flyers later. After listening to Abito's words, Jishue nodded, 
then picked up a lot of flyers that Guo Huang had printed from the system, and left the restaurant with Abito. Meanwhile, on the street. Misaka Makoto is rushing to meet Kuriko and Wiharu. Since today is Tokawadai's holiday time, Makoto and Wiharu made an appointment to play together. At this time, Abito and Shirsue, who had just walked out of the restaurant, happened to meet Misaka Makoto. Originally, Abito was reluctant to talk to Makoto, but Makoto's next walking route happened to pass by them. So, Abito hesitated for a while, and finally said to Makoto, Hey, the little girl over there, do you want to come to our restaurant for something to eat? After Abito finished speaking, he also pointed to Guo Huang's Dimension Restaurant. After Makoto heard it, she subconsciously turned her head to look in the direction of Abito, just as she hadn't had breakfast yet, she was indeed hungry. However, when Makoto saw Guo Huang's thatched like restaurant, the corners of her mouth couldn't help twitching. Uh, sorry, I'm in a hurry, let's forget it. I saw Makoto hastily rejected Abito's invitation, and then quickened her pace and left immediately. After seeing this scene, Abito and Shershue were speechless. However, they didn't try to keep Makoto or say good things about Guo Huang's restaurant. After all, Abito and Jishue didn't take Guo Huang's restaurant seriously. Because of what Guo Huang said, they didn't know whether it was true or not, so how could they be willing to serve the restaurant with all their heart? Chapter 4 At 8 o'clock in the evening, in the dilapidated dimensional restaurant. Guo Huang sat down on a chair in the dining room, looking at the large number of flyers stacked on the table, his expression was as ugly as eating shit. That's right, Shirsui and Abito didn't even send out a single leaflet today. In fact, it's not their fault. After all, the location of the Dimension Restaurant is too remote, and there are not many people passing by on the street. However, can't these two people use their heads? Since this place is remote, go to the city center with many people to distribute flyers. I said, can't you give some strength? Don't you all want to go back to your world? At this time, Guo Huang turned his head and glanced at Achiha, who was sitting at the table next door, laughing wildly, with some resentment in his tone. If things go on like this, even if Guo Huang has the strongest cooking skills in the universe, it is impossible for the business of Dimension Restaurant to flourish. However, after listening to Guo Huang's words, Jishue, Itachi, Madara, and Abito were all silent. There is no doubt that they did not take Guo Huang's words to heart. Because of the promises Guo Huang gave them, they didn't believe it, so none of them planned to serve the Dimension Restaurant sincerely. And Guo Huang also understands their thoughts. But it doesn't matter, the dimensional channel will be open soon, and people from all worlds can come here to eat. In this way, Guo Huang can prove that he is not lying. At this time, the dimensional channel can already be opened. Does the host open it? Sure enough, the system prompt sounded immediately from Guo Huang's mind. Of course, turn it on for me now. Guo Huang chose to open the dimension channel without hesitation. Ding! Received the host's command and is opening the dimensional channel for the host. I saw that in the center of the restaurant, a huge light hole suddenly appeared without warning, startling the boys of the Uchiha clan. What? Jishue looked at the light hole in front of him suspiciously. He had never seen such a thing as a dimensional channel. It seems to be an energy body. Itachi also observed the light hole very puzzled, and then gave his own conclusion. Seeing the puzzled appearance of the four, Guo Huang began to explain, Let me introduce to you, this glowing hole is called the dimensional channel, which can link the worlds of other planes, allowing people from other worlds to come here. Dine. After listening to Guo Huang's explanation, the expressions of Abitu, Itachi, Jishue, and Madara all showed a hint of disbelief. Able to link to other worlds? Aren't you talking nonsense? Sounds too unrealistic, doesn't it? However, just when the four thought this was impossible, a burst of hearty laughter suddenly came from the passage. Ha 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 ha. I didn't expect to encounter such a fun thing on a boat. What the hell is this? The next second, a scarred-faced kid wearing a red coarse cloth and a straw hat slowly walked out of the light hole. After seeing this little ghost head, Guo Huang recognized who the other party was at a glance. That's right, this person is Luffy from One Piece. And it's still in the early stage of the pirates, Luffy who just set off from Windmill Town. So he didn't have the Mary yet, and Zoro, Sanji, Nami, and others didn't join him either. 
I saw Luffy looking at the surrounding dimensional restaurant with a puzzled face, and then scratching his head. Originally, he was still sitting on his own boat, drifting everywhere in the sea, but a light hole suddenly appeared on his boat. So Luffy was in a state of curiosity, so he walked into the light cave, but he didn't expect to step directly into the dimension restaurant. Hey! Where is this place? How did I come to another place? Is it the reason for this hole of light? After coming to the dimensional restaurant, Luffy suddenly shouted in surprise. He didn't understand what the dimensional passage was about, so he came to the dimensional restaurant inexplicably. This is the dimension restaurant, Luffy. Since you are the first customer of this restaurant tonight, you can order a dish for free. Itachi, bring him the menu. Facing the curious Luffy, Guo Huang began to explain for him, and beckoned Itachi to pass the menu to Luffy. Ha! Huh. How did you know my name? That's weird. Seeing that Guo Huang actually knew his name, Luffy shouted again excitedly, not caring how Guo Huang knew his name. This is a long story, you don't care about it, just order a dish first. Regarding the name, Guo Huang did not choose to explain to Luffy, but urged him to order quickly. Luffy also immediately took Itachi's menu, there is free food, and if you don't eat it, you won't eat it. You want to invite me to dinner. That's great. I just happen to be a little hungry, so give me some shredded pork with green peppers. Luffy pointed to the green pepper shredded pork on the menu, ordered the meal he wanted to eat today, and sat down on the chair. After seeing this scene, Shishue, Madara, Itachi, and Abito were all speechless. This person is too stupid, right? Could it be that Guo Huang just found a neuropathy to be his caregiver? At this time, Guo Huang ignored the Uchiha spirit boys on the side, turned around and walked to the back kitchen, ready to start work. Walking into the back kitchen, the first thing Guo Huang had to do was to cut the meat. Here is a popular science, all the ingredients that Guo Huang uses to cook are given by the system. And each one is top-notch high-end ingredients. For example, the meat that Guo Huang is cutting now is the meat of some kind of high-level magical beast, which cannot be bought in the forbidden world. However, there is no way to make top-quality dishes with only top-quality ingredients, it depends on who is doing the cooking. And Guo Huang, he already has the strongest cooking skills in the universe. So there is no doubt that the food he made must be the best in the universe. After all, the term whole universe is no joke. Since he is the strongest culinary artist in the universe, Guo Huang's cooking process cannot be as ordinary as ordinary people. With this invincible cooking skill, Guo Huang can be said to have a variety of dishes when he sits down. When the heat is perfectly controlled, every stir-fry he makes, every time he flips the spoon, is like a gorgeous adventure. It can be said that Guo Huang's cooking process is no longer like cooking, but more like a performance art. It didn't take long for Guo Huang to finally finish the shredded pork with green peppers. After putting it on the plate, he walked out with the plate. At this time, another person suddenly came out of the light hole in the center of the restaurant. Moreover, this person's clothes are all expensive brand names, very luxurious. Tony Stark Guo Huang, who came to the restaurant with the dishes, instantly recognized the identity of this person. Yes, he is the Iron Man of the Marvel Universe, Tony Stark. Chapter 5 It is only author note. Chapter 6 What? How is that possible? After coming out of the hole of light, Tony Stark's expression became very shocked. He looked at the surrounding dimension restaurant, and the white hole behind him, revealing an unbelievable gaze. Originally, Tony was still staying in his luxurious villa, preparing to spend an intriguing night with a famous actress. As a result, Guo Huang's dimensional channel suddenly appeared in Tony's house, which shocked Tony and the female star. After reacting, Tony immediately regarded the dimensional channel as a technology, so he walked in front of the light hole and began to carefully observe the dimensional channel. It is a pity that no matter how Tony observes, he cannot see the technology of the light hole, and he has no idea what the light hole is made of. Finally, after some thoughtful thinking. In order to explore this unknown technology, and to satisfy his curiosity, Tony decided to venture into the cave of light. You know, at this time, Tony has not researched the Iron Man suit, which means that he does not have any self-protection ability. So he was willing to walk into the Cave of Light, he must have mustered a lot of courage. However, when Tony came out of the Hole of Light, 
he had already come to the Dimension Restaurant. What exactly is this technology? Teleportation. I saw Tony started talking to himself, and turned his attention to the Uchiha spiritual guys. Oh man, what's the age now? Why do you still have this unconventional hairstyle? When Tony saw Madara Uchiha's hairstyle, he couldn't help but complain. No way, after all, Madara's hairstyle is so fashionable, no matter who sees it, they can't help but complain. Non-mainstream. Madara felt a little puzzled after listening to Tony's words. In Naruto world, there is no such word as non-mainstream, but Madara vaguely sensed that the other party seemed to be mocking him. Itachi, come here and serve the dishes. At this time, Guo Huang put the green pepper shredded pork in his hand on the front desk, and then asked Itachi to come over and serve the dishes. In fact, he is doing it for Itachi's good, after all, the other party can earn more points by doing a few more chores. Itachi didn't hesitate, he walked directly to the front desk and took Guo Huang's green pepper shredded pork. To be honest, at this time, Itachi has completely believed in Guo Huang. Because the light hole just now can't be fake, and people from other worlds do come out of it. As for whether Tony and Luffy were sent by Guo Huang, that's even more impossible. With Guo Huang's ability, there is no need to do such a thing at all. Mr. Luffy, this is your order, please take it slow. I saw Itachi put the green pepper shredded pork in his hand on Luffy's table, and his tone and attitude were very correct. And Luffy lowered his head and sniffed the green pepper shredded pork on the table, and his eyes widened. Wow. It's so fragrant, it looks delicious. Thank you. After Luffy thanked him, he didn't even take his chopsticks, he grabbed it with his hands, and couldn't wait to eat the shredded green pepper and pork on the plate. Because the aroma of this plate of green pepper shredded pork is too strong, and it immediately lifts people's appetite. Good to eat. After taking a bite of the shredded pork, Luffy shouted in excitement. He swore it was the best thing he'd ever eaten in his life. After seeing this scene, Jishue, Itachi, and Abito swallowed at the same time, and even Madara couldn't help but look at the plate of green pepper shredded pork. Because the aroma of the shredded pork had already drifted to them, making them uncontrollable. After all, they haven't eaten since they came to Guo Huang's Dimension Restaurant. Tony on the side was also attracted by the aroma of shredded green pepper and pork, which seemed to have a kind of magic power, which made Tony fascinated by smelling it. Hello, Mr. Tony Stark, welcome to Dimension Restaurant, what would you like to eat? At this time, Guo Huang also walked to Tony with the menu, and handed the menu to Tony. Are you a restaurant here? After seeing the menu, Tony was a little stunned. He stretched his finger to the surrounding environment, and the meaning was self-evident. Of course, although the place is a little rough, it will get better soon. Facing Tony's rude behavior, Guo Huang was not angry, but explained to him patiently. Then this glowing hole was also created by your restaurant. After Tony's questioning ended, Guo Huang nodded. After being confirmed, Tony immediately continued, Okay, so boss, I want to buy your technology, how much can you make a price? However, what Tony didn't expect was that Guo Huang immediately shook his head. No, this light hole can't be bought with money. It's not for sale. Why don't you order a dish first, maybe my dish also has the technology you want. When Guo Huang said this, he pointed to a dish on the menu, that dish was Meipo Tofu. After the systematic explanation, as long as it is Meipo Tofu made by Guo Huang, it will strengthen the body and improve the speed, defense, and strength of the human body. Tony took off his sunglasses and took a closer look at the Meipo Tofu on Guo Huang's menu. Wang Defa. You sell a dish for. Are you serious? After seeing the price, Tony was instantly dumbfounded. He has seen a black shop, but he has never seen a black shop like this. Isn't this horse riding a blatant money grab? Do you know what value for money is? As long as you eat my Meipo tofu, your body can be strengthened, so I don't think it's expensive for me to sell a hundred thousand dollars. Guo Huang had long guessed that Tony would react this way, and he could understand it. After all, no one would believe something like this. Strengthen your body. Boss, do you think this joke is funny? At this time, Tony wanted to slap Guo Huang on the face and say, do you think I am mentally retarded? That's why you lied to me with this kind of rhetoric to lie to children. 
but the Uchiha spirit boys standing next to him made Tony have to give up the idea. After all, he came to the Dimension restaurant by himself, and he didn't dare to make trouble even if he had not yet become Iron Man seeing that Tony still didn't believe in himself, Wu Huang said directly, if you don't believe me, I can make the dish for you first. If you don't have the effect I just said after eating the dish, then I won't accept this dish. How about your money? Chapter 7 Don't charge. Okay, then you can do it. As soon as Tony heard that Guo Huang didn't accept the money, he immediately agreed with Guo Huang's words. Because of Guo Huang's confident look, Tony really had some doubts. So he wanted to see if the dish that the other party said was worth. Knives had any effect on strengthening his body. Okay, then wait a moment, I'll be right back. After Guo Huang finished speaking, he turned around again and walked into the back kitchen. This time, Itachi couldn't help but follow, he wanted to see how Guo Huang was going to make this maple tofu. At this time, Luffy had already eaten all the green pepper shredded pork, and even added a clean plate. But Luffy had no intention of leaving. Obviously, Luffy also wants to see Guo Huang's maple tofu. Ten minutes later, there was a strong smell of fresh fragrance from the kitchen. The aroma spread throughout the restaurant in a very short time, reaching everyone's breath. And in the fresh aroma, there is also a hint of spicy. Immediately afterwards, Itachi walked to the restaurant with a plate of pale red tofu. And while Itachi walked, he couldn't help swallowing. And Guo Huang followed closely. For a while, the aroma in the room became stronger. Shushue, soil, spots, and even Tony on the side couldn't stop the growth of saliva. Wow. This looks great too. Boss, can I eat this too? Luffy stared at maple tofu with gleaming eyes, drooling and wishing to pounce on it and eat it all. No, if you want to eat, you have to pay me. Baileys. Facing Luffy's request, Guo Huang decisively refused him. Here is a popular science, as long as it is people who come to the Dimension restaurant to eat, the system will automatically help them communicate with each other. Even if Tony and Luffy are not from the same country, they can understand each other's words. And the money to pay for the food is the same price regardless of national borders, regardless of the value of the currency. In other words, Tony would have to pay dot knives for eating maple tofu, Luffy would have to pay dot bailey for eating poma tofu, and people in the forbidden world would have to pay dot yen. Regardless of the value of the currency, it is always 100,000. Mr. Tony, your dishes are ready, please take your time. At this time, Itachi put the maple tofu in his hand on Tony's table, and then withdrew with some reluctance. Itachi would really like to try a piece of tofu if he could. Boss, are you sure that after eating this, it can strengthen my physical fitness? Tony looked at the maple tofu on the plate, restrained his saliva, and asked Guo Huang. And Guo Huang nodded immediately and replied confidently, Trust me Tony, since I said it's worth the money, it must be worth the money. After listening to Guo Huang's words, Tony no longer hesitated, picked up the spoon on the plate, and put a piece of maple tofu into his mouth. In the next second, several flavors burst in Tony's taste buds. Among them are hemp, spicy, hot, fragrant, crisp, tender, fresh and live. And the taste of the tofu was soft and smooth, which made Tony's eyes widen instantly. This feeling is so wonderful, Tony never thought that a small piece of tofu could contain so much flavor. When Tony swallowed this piece of tofu, it seemed like some kind of magic was urging him, so that he couldn't stop the spoon in his hand. I saw Tony ate like crazy and quickly put maple tofu into his mouth with a spoon. In less than a minute, Tony ate all the maple tofu on the plate. Even after eating, Tony was still not satisfied, he was going to lick the empty plate on the dining table just like Luffy just now. After seeing this scene, Luffy and Uchiha's spirit boys all swallowed wildly. Tony's devoured food just now made them greedy. When the other party had almost eaten, Guo Huang asked with a smile, Mr. Tony, how does it taste? Tony reached out and put down the licked plate, and then said with a contented face, Dude, I have to say, you are indeed very capable. The tofu just now is the delicacy that I have never eaten in my life. When Tony said this, he didn't forget to lick the bean curd residue on his lips, and then took out a card from his pocket. Boss, there are dot knives in this card. Don't look for it. Your tofu is worth the price. But don't make that kind of joke with me next time. Tony finished speaking, 
and threw the bank card in his hand on the table very arrogantly. Guo Huang also smiled. Until now, Tony has taken the strengthening effect as a joke. Tony, don't talk so early. When you get home, you can find a sandbag and play a dozen casually, and you will know whether what I said is a joke. After listening to Guo Huang's words, Tony nodded disapprovingly, and responded humorously, Okay, I will try it like a little fool. After Tony finished speaking, he got up and left his chair, ready to go home, as did Luffy. After seeing this, Guo Huang also stood up and said goodbye to them, If you walk into the Dimension Channel again, you can return to your original world. Tony, Luffy, welcome to come again next time. Upon hearing this, Tony was instantly speechless. Although this boss cooks very well, is there a hole in his brain? Why do you keep making some embarrassing jokes? Obviously, Tony thought he was in the Marvel Universe at this point. As everyone knows, he has long come to another world. Ah, got it boss. Next time I'll save enough money to come, and I'll bring my crew with me. After Luffy and Guo Huang said their goodbyes, they headed straight into the Dimensional Passage and returned to the world of pirates. After seeing this scene, Tony shook his head, this kid is really stupid. Goodbye boss, another day, I will come again. At this time, Tony also said goodbye to Guo Huang, and then entered the Dimensional Channel and returned to the Marvel Universe. However, just after Tony and Luffy left, the sound of the system suddenly sounded from everyone's mind. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully receiving the first batch of guests in this restaurant. The system has decided to reward the host with dot points. Points for employees. And an upgrade to the dimensional restaurant. Current employee points. Uchiha Madara, 0 points. Uchiha Abido, 100 points. Uchiha Itachi, 100 points. Uchiha Shirsue, 100 points. When the sound of the system ended, except for Madara Uchiha who had a dark face, the expressions of the others were more or less joyful. This is 100 points. If they do chores, they have to do dot chores to earn so many points. However, just when everyone was happy, the dimensional restaurant, which was originally a hut, suddenly trembled violently. Don't worry everyone, this is the system upgrading the restaurant. After tomorrow, the upgrade will be completed automatically. Immediately afterwards, the system's prompt sounded again from everyone's mind. Then the Dimension Restaurant stopped shaking. Okay, then everyone, hurry up and rest, and when you have enough energy, try your best to attract customers tomorrow. Guo Huang didn't waste any more time, after giving an order, he turned around and walked towards his room. Good night, boss. After seeing this, Itachi immediately said good night to Guo Huang. Because starting from today, Itachi has made up his mind to serve the Dimension Restaurant with all his heart in the future. After this experience, he has completely believed in Guo Huang. Chapter 8 When Guo Huang opened his eyes, the sky outside was already bright. Guo Huang turned his head and glanced at the wall clock on the wall, and found that it was already 8 o'clock in the morning. As a result, Guo Huang immediately began to get dressed, wash his face and brush his teeth. However, in the process of washing his face and brushing his teeth, Guo Huang suddenly felt that something was wrong, so he turned his head and glanced at the surrounding walls. At this time, the walls have been turned from rotten wood to stone bricks, and the roof of the house is the same, and all of them have been painted. It seems that the system has already upgraded the dimensional restaurant. It still looks rudimentary, but it's much better than the old rotten wood. After Guo Huang finished washing up, he walked out of the room and into the dining room. I saw that in the restaurant, Shishue, Itachi, Abito, Madara were sitting on chairs waiting for Guo Huang, and it seemed that they had been waiting for a long time. Boss, what do you want us to do today? After seeing Guo Huang finally getting up, Abito immediately started asking about today's task. Shishue and Itachi also took a few steps forward, ready to listen to Guo Huang's next assignment. Obviously, after going through the dimensional channel last night, these four people believed what Guo Huang said to them at the beginning. Therefore, they will definitely work hard for the Dimension Restaurant from today. After all, once they have accumulated enough point million points, they can return to the Naruto world and recast their bodies. Such a good thing, who cannot be moved by them. At this time, Guo Huang also issued his own order to everyone, saying, 
you don't have to stay in the store today, all of you will go out and hand out flyers to me, and do your best to attract customers. The reason why Guo Huang did not let these four people stay in the restaurant was because there would be no guests in the restaurant, so it would be useless to let Abito and Itachi and others stay in the restaurant. What Guo Huang lacks most now is not employees, but customers. As long as Shu Shui, Itachi, Nadara, and Abito can pull customers here, then with Guo Huang's cooking skills, they can completely keep customers in the restaurant, and the other party will become a repeat customer of the restaurant in the future. Guo Huang still has this confidence in his cooking skills. Now you can go out, remember, if anyone can get even one customer, I will cook tonight and invite that person to dinner. Now, you can go. After assigning the task, Guo Huang also used his cooking skills to tempt the four people in front of him. Because Guo Huang saw yesterday that the four wanted to eat their own dishes, so they would definitely work harder to tempt them with delicious food. Okay boss, let's go now. When Ji Shui heard that Guo Huang wanted to invite him to dinner, he immediately picked up the flyer and walked out of the room. The maple tofu and shredded pork with green peppers last night made him very greedy. Abito, Itachi and Madara followed closely behind Shi Sui. Meanwhile, on the street outside the Dimension restaurant, Misaka Mikoto, who was wearing a Tokawadai school uniform, was walking on the road, ready to continue looking for Kuriko and Wiharu. That's right, today is Tokawadai's holiday time, so Mikoto, Kuriko and others made an appointment to continue shopping. But when passing by the Dimension restaurant, Mikoto glanced over there with some doubts. She remembered that this restaurant was still as dilapidated as a hut yesterday morning, why did it suddenly change its appearance today? However, just when Mikoto was puzzled, the Uchiha spiritual guys just came out of the Dimension restaurant. Itachi. Look. When Shirsue saw Misaka Mikoto, he immediately shouted at Itachi. Unexpectedly, as soon as I go out, I can attract customers. Ah, uh, I saw it. Itachi also looked at Mikoto, and his eyes were as if he had found his prey. I'm sorry everyone, this person is mine. Suddenly, Abito rushed straight towards Mikoto. That speed, running faster than a dog, seems to be afraid of Shirshue and Itachi robbing him. Damn, don't try to succeed. Itachi and Shirshue immediately followed after seeing this. Madara was the only one still standing there, not moving. At this moment, Mikoto, who was walking on the street, suddenly felt a chill in her heart, and then turned her head subconsciously. Immediately afterwards, Mikoto's eyes widened as if she saw something extraordinary. I saw Abito, Itachi, and Shirsue three, holding up the flyers in their hands, like a hungry tiger rushing towards Mikoto. It looked like a group of criminals who were going to molest the girl. Abito, hey! The little girl over there. Do you want to come to our restaurant for dinner? Uncle can take you there. Itachi, come in and have a taste. Guaranteed value for money. It's so good that your tongue will fall off. Shu Shui, go now with our flyer. I'll even give you a free bottle of drink. Looking at the three people in front of her, Mikoto was instantly taken aback. Although she often taught some hooligans in the academy city, she knew that the three people in front of her were not so-called hooligans, because the aura that erupted from them was just too terrifying. Yeah. Are you perverted? Don't come here. When Mikoto faced the three Uchiha spirit boys, she chose to run away instantly, she was really frightened by the opponent's battle. And while Mikoto retreated, she released a powerful electric current to attack Abito and Itachi. But Mikoto's current was a piece of cake for Abito, Shirsue, and Itachi, and the three of them easily escaped. But while they were dodging the current, Mikoto had already run away. Uh, are we a little too enthusiastic? Seeing the back of Mikoto fleeing, Shushue scratched his head a little embarrassedly. The expressions on Abito and Itachi's faces were also embarrassing. Originally, they just wanted to get a customer together, but they actually scared them away. Humph, a bunch of rubbish, your way of pulling guests doesn't work at all. At this time, Madara Achiha walked slowly from behind the three, and showed a disdainful expression. Madara has his own way of doing things like pulling customers. However, in the face of Madara's ridicule, Jishue said angrily, Che, you go, you know what to say there. Cool words. Hee hee, just wait and see how I draw guests today. I saw Madara reply Shirsue with these very domineering words. 
And when he said this sentence, his face was full of confidence, and he seemed to be confident, not like he was talking big. After seeing this, Abito said, since this is the case, let's all act separately and see who has more customers today. After Abito finished speaking, Shirsue and Itachi both nodded and agreed with Abito. Madara also acquiesced to Abito's words. Then, the four people present gradually separated and walked in four different directions. Chapter 9 When the Uchiha spirit boys had a conflict, they decided to break up and split up to distribute flyers in four different directions. Half an hour later, Abito came to the door of a hot-selling restaurant. Itachi also wandered around a shopping mall. And Jishue rushed to the downtown block of Academy City. All three started to carry out their tasks one after another, stopping passers-by to distribute flyers. Madara was the only one who didn't know where to go, and there was no trace. Hey, uncle over there, do you want to come to our Dimension restaurant for dinner? Our boss's cooking is delicious. At the entrance of the overcrowded restaurant, Abito held a flyer in one hand and a passerby in the other, promoting Guo Huang's restaurant to others. Since it was the first time to do the chores of handing out flyers, Abito's attitude and tone were not very correct, and no honorifics were used. In addition, Abito still wears an orange mask on his face, and a light circle floats above his head, which makes him look very weird. As a result, the passersby who were stopped by Abito immediately became unhappy, and pushed Abito away very rudely. What dimension restaurant? I've never heard of it. Hurry up and don't get in the way here. I'm rushing to work after dinner. The passersby didn't pay any attention to Abito and walked into the restaurant in front of him. After seeing this scene, Abito showed a helpless expression and turned his eyes to the restaurant in front of him. Take a closer look, the business of this restaurant is really hot. The restaurant was crowded with guests, and the seats were full. However, while Abito was observing the hotel, a fierce-looking bald man suddenly picked up an iron rod and rushed out of the hotel. Baga! How dare you advertise other restaurants in front of Lousy's shop? Are you tired of living? The bald man raised the iron rod and ran towards Abito. That's right, this bald man opened this hot restaurant, so he would never allow Abito to distribute flyers here. I lost it. Abito looked at the bald man who looked like a mad dog, turned around and left immediately, and fled. The former Naruto villain, now being chased away by an ordinary person, has a very tragic end. In contrast, Shushue and Itachi's situation is much better. Since Shushue and Itachi are both super handsome and handsome, they were soon surrounded by a group of little fans. With the support of the girls, Shushue and Itachi's flyers are disappearing at a speed visible to the naked eye. This treatment is a world of difference compared to Abito. I saw that in the mall, a dozen or so beautiful schoolgirls were surrounding Itachi, all of them with flyers distributed by Itachi. Little brother, brother, where is your mobile phone? Let's leave a phone number. Wow, you're so handsome, you're the cold god in my mind. Handsome guy, stop handing out flyers here, go shopping with me, I'll treat you to milk tea. The girls scrambled to chat with Itachi one by one, trying to get close in this way. In the face of the enthusiasm of the girls, Itachi's always cold expression finally began to panic, and a wry smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Growing up, Itachi has never met such an enthusiastic girl, and there are more than one. The most important thing is that these girls don't seem to be very old, they should still be students. It seems that girls in this world are very precocious. But on second thought, this is just a business opportunity. Itachi can take this opportunity to encourage the girls to go to the Dimension restaurant for dinner. So, Itachi tried to squeeze out a smile that was uglier than crying, and slowly opened his mouth. Sorry, I don't know what mobile phone you're talking about, and I don't have the contact information you want. If you want to find me, you can go directly to the place where I work for dinner. The flyer has the specific address of our restaurant. When Itachi said these words, his tone was relatively indifferent and he didn't take the girls too seriously. If it were another man, the girls would definitely not buy it. But there is no way, Itachi's appearance is really too top, so the girls don't care about Itachi's tone. They all nodded and immediately agreed to Itachi. Okay, then we're done. Don't worry, handsome, I will definitely go. If I go to your restaurant, you will have a meal with me. After the girls made an appointment with Itachi, they started to leave slowly. 
Before leaving, every girl looked back at Itachi with reluctant eyes. This is the charm of Yen Ji, Yen Ji is justice, and being handsome means you can do whatever you want. After the girls all left, Itachi finally breathed a sigh of relief and continued to distribute the flyers in his hand. At the same time, in the mall, Misaka Makoto, Shirai Kuriko, Wihara Shiri, and Satan Riko are walking on the street. The four girls were holding a lot of loot in their hands. It seemed that they had just finished shopping and were going home. On the way, Satan Laiko sighed, Well, I bought a lot of things today, especially my Kota Senpai, I bought a lot of WoW toys. Wiharu played Ri Ingha and said, Yes, yes, it seems that my Kota Senpai really likes WoW. After listening to the conversation between the two, Misaka Mikoto blushed instantly and became very shy. You. You misunderstood. In fact, it's not that I like WoW Tai, but a friend in my dormitory who likes WoW Tai. She asked me to buy it for her. Mikoto began to explain in a panic, her proud personality did not allow her to admit that she liked WoW. Oh, so it is. After Mikoto's explanation, Laiko and Wiharu actually believed each other's words, and only Kuriko showed a foolish smile. Hey hey, my elder sister is really cute. She hides her childish hobbies from others every time. Such an elder sister is really adorable. After Kuriko finished speaking, she threw herself into Mikoto's arms and put her arms around Mikoto's neck. Hola. Kuriko, you pervert. Hurry up and let me go. Mikoto was disgusted by Kuriko's idiotic behavior, and immediately activated her ability to give Kuriko a passionate electrotherapy. Ah! Big sister loves whipping. Strange chicken. After being electrotherapy, Kuriko fell to the ground with a satisfied smile. After seeing this scene, Lazy and Chu Chun both looked helpless. However, just as the four of them were having a good time, Lazy suddenly stopped and widened his eyes. Because, Lazy saw a superbly beautiful man holding a flyer, wandering aimlessly in the mall. Hey! Early spring! Kuriko! Maikota Senpai! Look! There's a super handsome guy over there! Chapter 10 Before watching this chapter, I would like to remind the brothers that Kuriko did not abandon Makoto. I never said that Kuriko wanted to abandon Makoto. She just wanted to pedal. And I will not let Kuriko and Itachi CP, brothers, please rest assured. Regarding sunspots, if everyone has a high voice, they can consider accepting them later. Hey! Early spring! Kuriko! Maikota Senpai! Look! There's a super handsome guy over there! Satan Laiko pointed to Itachi in the distance with great excitement, and the whole person jumped up. Since birth, Laiko has never seen a man as handsome as Itachi. After hearing Laiko's words, Mikoto and Wiharu looked at Itachi curiously. Seeing this, Wiharu also began to be surprised, and was stunned by Itachi's appearance. And Mikoto was instantly dumbfounded, because she knew Itachi, wasn't this the restaurant employee who harassed her half an hour ago? It's not very handsome, it's not as exaggerated as you say. After recognizing Itachi, Mikoto looked away in disgust and took two steps back. In the words, Itachi was also damaged by the way, after all, her impression of Itachi was too bad. That is to say, in my eyes, no matter what kind of handsome guy is, it is not worth mentioning compared to my elder sister. At this time, Shirai Kuriko slowly stood up from the ground and looked at Itachi with some disdain. In Kuriko's eyes, no man can compare to her dear older sister. However, when Kuriko took a closer look at Itachi's appearance, she instantly widened her eyes, and those disdainful eyes gradually turned into shock. Obviously, Itachi's beauty has shaken Kuriko's heart. This. This man. How. How can. So handsome. Kuriko stared blankly at Itachi in the distance, his words became stuttering, and even his body couldn't help shaking. At this moment, there was a violent turmoil in Kuriko's heart like a thunderbolt from the blue. The moment she saw Itachi, her cheeks couldn't help blushing. She swore that she had never seen such a handsome and handsome man as Itachi. Especially the cold expression on Itachi's face is simply the most ideal image of a cold male god in her mind. At this moment, Kuriko was completely moved by Itachi. 
she believes that what she is experiencing now must be the legendary love at first sight. The elder sister around her was instantly left behind by her, what good is Lily? Isn't he fragrant, the high cold male god? So, Kuriko no longer hesitated and decided to ask Itachi for contact information. She directly activated the space move and instantly disappeared in place. Come on, Kuriko, we're going back to school. Ha! Huh? Where's the guy? At this time, Mikoto completely lost interest in Itachi and turned around to go back to school. But when Mikoto turned around, she found that Kuriko had long since disappeared. Just when Mikoto was puzzled, Laiko started shouting again, Hey! Mikoto senpai look! Kuriko is looking for that handsome guy. What? After hearing Laiko's words, Mikoto turned her head in disbelief and looked at Itachi again. At this time, Kuriko had already come to Itachi and greeted Itachi enthusiastically. Hey handsome, my name is Kuriko Shirai, I'm a student of Tokuwadai. I'd like to meet you. Can I leave a cell phone number for you? I saw Kuriko step forward to stop Itachi, and said hello to Itachi in a very charming tone. Her eyes even turned into star eyes, staring at Itachi like a lunatic. Itachi was stared at by Kuriko, his whole body was hairy, and he felt very uncomfortable, and cold sweat broke out on his forehead. However, out of politeness, Itachi responded lightly to Kuriko. My name is Itachi Uchiha, I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean by cell phone. In Kuriko's view, Itachi's words are rejecting himself, because in the world of magic forbidden, no one does not know the existence of mobile phones. But instead of disappointing Kuriko, it made her even more excited. The more she can't get it, the more she wants it. So Kuriko gave full play to his cheeky characteristics, and even put his arm around Itachi. Brother Itachi, you are really humorous. How could someone not know what a cell phone is? I really hope to be friends with you, so don't rush to refuse. Kuriko hugged Itachi's arm tightly, showing an idiotic smile. And Itachi shook his head, very helpless. If possible, Itachi really wants to shout loudly, I don't want old cows to eat young grass. However, just when Itachi felt speechless, Mikoto, Wiharu, and Naiko also came from a distance. Seeing that Kuriko and Itachi were so close, Mikoto once again showed a shocked look. She knows Kuriko's character very well, and knows that Kuriko is a pervert who likes lilies. That's why Mikoto was so shocked to see Kuriko being so close to a strange man now. But she was shocked, and Mikoto quickly reacted. Then Mikoto directly pulled Kuriko back from Itachi. She didn't want Kuriko to have too much contact. With Itachi. Because, in Mikoto's eyes, Itachi and Abito are definitely not good people. Sister, I haven't got the contact information yet, you wait for me for a while. After Kuriko was pulled away by Mikoto, she was slightly dissatisfied and wanted to return to Itachi. In fact, her current idea is very simple, that is, to get Itachi's contact information, and then attack both Mikoto and Itachi at the same time. That's right, she wants both the elder sister and the cold male god. She decided to pedal two boats. But Mikoto held Kuriko's hand tightly, preventing him from passing by. Heisei, don't be deceived by his appearance. He also harassed me with several other malicious people this morning. He must be a pervert. Mikoto's words didn't shake Kuriko at all, and Kuriko didn't believe Mikoto's words at all. How could that be? My elder sister, look at his aloof appearance, he absolutely disdains to do such a thing. Heisei. Knowing the person, knowing the face, but not the heart. Please wake me up a bit. Mikoto and Kuriko quarreled like this, completely ignoring the gazes of the passers-by around them. On the other hand, Lazy and Chuchun stood by and said nothing. Regarding Mikoto's words, the two would rather believe what they have than what they do not. So Laiko and Wiharu maintained a skeptical attitude and distanced themselves from Itachi. At this time, Itachi carefully looked at the four women in front of him, and immediately realized that this was a good opportunity to promote the dimensional restaurant. But first, Itachi had to clear up Mikoto's misunderstanding of herself. Miss, you misunderstood, the people who stayed with me in the morning are all employees of our dimensional restaurant. We are not chasing you to plot against you, but to recommend our restaurant to you and want you to come to our dimensional restaurant. Dining at the restaurant. 
When Itachi said this, he did not forget to pick up the flyer in his arms and hand it to the four people in front of him. Look, this is the flyer we use to promote the restaurant. If you still don't believe it, I can personally take you to our Dimension restaurant to have a look. After Itachi finished explaining, Mikoto froze in place. Yes, thinking about it carefully, although Itachi and Abito rushed towards Mikoto like a group of perverts in the morning, they all rushed out of the restaurant, and they seemed to be employees of the restaurant. After thinking about it, Mikoto immediately became very ashamed and wished she could find a hole to burrow into. She didn't think clearly about this matter, so she made her own judgment. Yes. I'm sorry. I shouldn't speak ill of you. It's my fault. After realizing her mistake, Mikoto directly bowed to Itachi to express her apology. Itachi looked at Mikoto blankly, and silently accepted the other's apology. It doesn't matter, I don't take this kind of thing to heart. If you are really upset, then come to our Dimension restaurant for dinner tonight. You can find our restaurant according to the address on the flyer. After Itachi finished speaking, he ignored the four people in front of him and continued to walk in front of them all. At present, there are not many flyers left in Itachi's hand, and it should not be long before they can be completely distributed. Kuriko looked at Itachi's retreating back and shouted excitedly, Don't worry, brother Itachi. We will definitely go. Chapter 11 As time passed, morning soon became noon. During this time period, Itachi and Jishue had already returned to Guohuang's Dimension Restaurant. All morning, with the support of the girls, Itachi and Shursue finally completed the task of distributing flyers ahead of schedule. None of the flyers that Guohuang gave them were left. Apart from Itachi and Shursue, Abito and Madara were still busy outside and did not come back. Because Abito and Madara's dress and appearance are really indescribable. Abito not only wears a mask, but the whole person looks very strange. Madara, on the other hand, is too domineering, and usually acts as if no one is allowed to enter, as if no one owes him money. So let these two people go out to hand out flyers, and the fate of it can be imagined. When passers-by see them, I am afraid they will not dare to speak to them, and they will definitely stay away from them like escaping from the plague god. Flying out so quickly. Well done. At this time, Guo Huang, who was standing at the front desk, noticed Ji Shui and Itachi. Seeing Ji Shui and Itachi returning empty-handed, Guo Huang smiled. Well, we're all going very well. Ji Shui also smiled at Guo Huang, blushing and scratching his head. The reason why he and Itachi could finish handing out the flyers so quickly was because of the schoolgirl this morning. When I recalled the enthusiasm of the girls, Jishue became a little shy. Although in Naruto world, there are many girls pursuing them, but there is absolutely no crazy girls in the world of magic. If it wasn't for Jishue's refusal, he might even be dragged to the hotel by the girls on the spot. Since the flyers have been distributed, then we will wait for the guests to order. Guo Huang stretched and started to warm up, ready to show off his skills. According to the number of flyers sent by Shirsue and Itachi, many people will definitely come to eat this afternoon. However, just as Guo Huang was warming up, the voice of the system suddenly sounded in the minds of Guo Huang and Achiha. At noon or night every day, the system will count the number of points each person has acquired, and then publish the results. Next, the system will announce the number of flyers distributed by each person. Sending one flyer is equivalent to doing one chores. Detected that Itachi sent 1,000 flyers and received 10 points reward. Detected that Shershue sent 1,200 flyers and received 12 points reward. It was detected that Abito sent 15 flyers and rewarded with points. Detected that Ban has sent 0 flyers, no reward points. Now announce the current employee's total points. Itachi, 110 points. Stop water, 112 points. With soil, 10 points. Spot, 0 points. After the sound of the system ended, Shushue and Itachi were very happy. In just one morning, they earned more than a dozen points, which is equivalent to doing more than a thousand chores. Although there is still a big gap from the final point million points, there is still a long way to go, and they can take it slow. Ha <laughs> ha. In the morning, that Madara also said wildly, wanting to invite us to invite guests, and as a result, none of the flyers have been sent out so far. It's a shame. When Shishue heard that the number of flyers sent by Madara was zero, 
he laughed without shyness. After all, Madara has not returned to the Dimension Restaurant, so Shi Shui is not afraid of each other. And Guo Huang showed a puzzled expression, why didn't Madara even send out a flyer? At the same time, in a remote alley in Academy City. Madara Uchiha was leaning back against the wall, constantly looking around with the corner of his eye. The flyers given by Guo Huang had long been thrown into the trash can by him, so he disdained to use this kind of begging-like method to attract guests. Madara's plan was to use tough means to force passers-by to eat at the Dimension Restaurant. In order to avoid unnecessary trouble, Madara deliberately chose a remote place. In other words, Madara's behavior is a strong buy and strong sell. But this is also in line with Madara's usual style, he is so domineering. As long as this method is used, Madara believes that he will definitely be the first to attract customers for the dimensional restaurant. Regrettably, Madara didn't meet even a single person in the alley after a whole morning. This made Madara feel very annoyed and began to get impatient. But this is also normal, because the alleys of the academy are usually full of hooligans. Ordinary people don't dare to enter the alley at all, so in ordinary life, this kind of alley is basically empty. Cut, it's really bad luck. Madara looked at the empty alley, felt very aggrieved, and prepared to leave here. Obviously came up with such a good idea, but in the end it came back in vain. However, just when Madara wanted to turn around and leave, he suddenly stopped again. Because just now, Madara sensed the breath of strangers around him, and he concluded that someone must have broken into this alley. Humph, finally someone came. Finding someone breaking into the alley, Madara was a group of happy hearts. Finally, a living person came over on the horse. It is really worth the effort, and it is worth noting that I waited for so long. So Madara walked to the middle of the alley and waited patiently for the arrival of the other party. Not long after, a young man with white hair and his hands in his trouser pockets appeared in Madara's field of vision. Moreover, the expression of this white-haired young man was very stinky and looked extremely arrogant. Students who have seen the magic band can recognize at a glance that this person is the number one superpower in the LV-5 of the academy. That is, the legendary Accelerator. At this time, Accelerator was wearing headphones, and he didn't intend to deal with Madara at all, and continued to walk forward on his own. Because he was in a hurry to slaughter Sister Misaka, he had no time to pay attention to other things. Hey, kid over there, stop for me. Seeing Accelerator's attitude so arrogant, Madara immediately stood in front of him, blocking his way. Accelerator only discovered the existence of Madara, and gradually raised his head to look at Madara. Afterwards, Accelerator showed a playful smile and slowly took off his headphones. Accelerator was no stranger to Madara standing in front of him. Because every day there are many small gangsters who come to Accelerator's troubles and want to grab the first place. Accelerator didn't know how many of them were crushed like this kind of awful. But what he didn't know was that Madara in front of him was not a little gangster at all, but a super boss. Chapter 12 Oh, why do you bastards always come to find fault? It's really annoying. In the alley, Accelerator looked at Madara in front of him with a playful smile on the corner of his mouth. Madara, on the other hand, folded her arms around her chest and looked down at Accelerator with a very disdainful gaze, perfectly reflecting her domineering temperament. Hey, you bastard is even more arrogant than Uncle Ben, it's really annoying. Since you want to die so much, Uncle Ben will send you to hell. Accelerator suddenly showed a very grim smile, Madara's attitude had successfully angered him, and he decided to smash Madara's corpse into pieces. So Accelerator activated that ability in an instant, and the whole person rushed towards Madara like a cannonball. From the perspective of Accelerator, he could beat Ban on the ground within a few seconds, and he even began to imagine the scene of Ban on his knees begging for mercy. At this time, Madara watched Accelerator who was rushing towards him, and was a little stunned. Holy crap, this young man, if he doesn't agree, he will start a fight. Are all the people in the forbidden world so reckless? Even a hairy boy who doesn't know where he came from dares to do it to himself. Humph, I really don't know whether to live or die. Facing Accelerator in front of him, Madara didn't bother to do anything, so he turned on the kaleidoscope riding wheel, and activated the original version of Susanoo. Then, Susanoo waved his fist and slammed into Accelerator. Hey hey hey. It's useless. 
Accelerator didn't take Susanoo's attack seriously at all, and prepared to use his reflex ability to forcibly bounce the opponent's fist back. But soon, something that Accelerator could not imagine happened. Susanoo's fist actually ignored Accelerator's reflection and broke through the filter constructed by Accelerator. What? Accelerator suddenly widened his eyes and looked at Madara in disbelief. What the hell is going on here? Why can't it reflect? But before Accelerator could think about it, Susanoo's fist smashed into Accelerator's abdomen. After being hit in the abdomen, Accelerator spurted out a trace of blood, and his entire body fell heavily against the wall. I, I can't even check your calculations, and I can't analyze your abilities. What's going on? Accelerator clutched his injured abdomen, staring at Ban Ban in disbelief, his eyes full of unwillingness. That's right, Accelerator couldn't check and analyze it at all in the face of a strange energy like Chakra. That's why his proud reflex ability was of no use to Madara. You dare to attack me with such little skill. At this moment, Madara let out a sneering sound that was both contemptuous and disdainful as she walked towards Accelerator. After hearing Madara's tone, Accelerator wanted to die. Since he came to Student City, he has always been the only one who bullied others. So far, he has not been so insulted. Cough. Cough, don't be too complacent. When this uncle is familiar with your abilities, I will definitely give you back all the humiliation you have suffered now. Accelerator was lying on the ground and blushed. Even if he was beaten by Fatty, he didn't hesitate at all, and was still threatening Madara. But his threat was just a joke in Madara's eyes. How dare you be stubborn when you are beaten like this? Today's little devils are really annoying. Madara fake kicked Accelerator's chest, kicking Accelerator so hard that he spewed a mouthful of acid water from his stomach. Seeing Accelerator's appearance, Madara showed a satisfied smile. See if you dare to hold a cup in front of Lao Tzu. It really gives you a face. After kicking Accelerator, Madara felt much more at ease. Later, Madara stretched out his hand to lift Accelerator's chin, and looked at the other party's eyes with a very domineering look. Listen to me, kid. In fact, I don't want to take your life. If you don't want to die, just follow me to our restaurant for dinner. As long as you are obedient, I will naturally let you go. After Madara finished speaking, he directly carried Accelerator on his shoulders, intending to return to the Dimension restaurant. Accelerator closed his eyes in humiliation. He didn't expect that he would be coerced one day. However, just as the two were about to leave the alley, the system's voice suddenly came from Madara's head. Ding! It was detected that Madara Uchiha injured passers-by for no reason, and forced passers-by to eat at the restaurant. This system solemnly announces that no employee can hurt others without the permission of the store manager. Because Madara Uchiha made such a mistake for the first time, this system decided to take it lightly. From now on, the system will force Madara Uchiha to quarantine in the restaurant for an afternoon. And no clothes are allowed during the whole process. After the system beep ended, Madara froze in place, unable to recover for a long time, and Accelerator slipped off Madara's shoulder. That's right, at this time, the spots are already stunned, completely stunned. He would never have imagined that the system would not allow forced buying and selling, and use this to sanction himself. Well, even if you don't allow it, why didn't you TM fart earlier? If you had said that a few minutes earlier, I would not have kidnapped this dead white hair in front of you. Thinking of this, Madara's expression was as ugly as eating shit, and she was very annoyed. However, no matter how much he regretted it, he couldn't change his situation. Soon, Madara's body was instantly sucked away by an inexplicable force, and flew quickly in the direction of the Dimension restaurant. Moreover, during the flight, the armor and clothes on Madara's body immediately disintegrated, and the whole person became completely naked. Every passerby walking on the street can see a naked figure flashing by in front of him. Fortunately, due to the speed, people couldn't see Mobin's face clearly. Hello. Did you see a naked person just now? What? You saw that too? I thought I was blinded. Where is it? Why didn't I see it? After Matarabi was far away, everyone gathered to discuss the scene just now. At the same time, Accelerator, who was lying in the alley, was also confused. He couldn't understand why Madara suddenly left him and left. Humph, 
he must have been frightened by the threat of Uncle Ben. Yes, it must be so. Chapter 13 At twelve o'clock at noon, in the Dimension Restaurant. Guo Huang, Itachi, Jishue, and Abito were all staying in the restaurant, chatting with each other. The topic the four of them talked about was naturally about Madara. The sound of the system just now sounded not only in Madara's head, but also in everyone's mind. Therefore, now everyone knows the glorious deeds of Banqiang buying strong selling. Ta, the system's punishment this time really made me laugh to death. It even forced Madara to isolate him, and he didn't even give him any clothes. Shi Shue patted Itachi's shoulder hard and laughed heartlessly. Abito couldn't hold back his laughter, and accompanied Jishue to laugh wildly. Today, Abito worked hard, begging his grandfather to tell his grandmother, and in a low voice, he succeeded in sending out fifteen flyers in a way of giving up his dignity. Not only did Madara not hand out leaflets as humble as him, but she also tried to persecute passers-by by forceful buying and selling, which was simply hateful. So seeing Madara's tragic end, Abito was naturally very happy. Not long after, Madara Uchiha, who came out of the alley, finally flew into the Dimension restaurant. As soon as he came to the restaurant, Madara's body was hung on the wall, and his body was naked. Ha ha ha. Was it really stripped? System bullshit. After seeing this scene, Shirsue and Abito laughed again, and even Itachi couldn't help but chuckle. Madara blushed in anger, and her whole body trembled at the laughter of the three. At this time, Guo Huang laughed and scolded, damn it. How did you do it like this? There will be guests coming to dine soon. You look like this, how can people come in to dine? After Guo Huang finished speaking, he also laughed out loud with everyone. This time, the spot is completely fried. Enough. Stop laughing. Find a way to get me down. Madara roared at the four of them, reminding them to get him off the wall quickly. After listening to Madara's words, Guo Huang began to calm down gradually and calmed down his emotions. According to the current time, it is estimated that there will be customers coming to Dimension Restaurant for lunch soon. If Madara continued to stick to the wall naked like this, she would definitely scare away all the guests. So what Guo Huang has to do now is to let the system lift Ban's punishment before the guests arrive. So, Guo Huang began to ask the system. System, hurry up and cancel Madara's punishment, otherwise he will influence the guests to come to dine here. Can't. Punishing Madara Uchiha is something that must be done, and even the host has no right to cancel it. The system prompt sounded in everyone's mind instantly, and Madara's expression suddenly became very exciting. Guo Huang also shrugged helplessly, saying that he did his best. How can this happen? Can't even the boss cancel this bullshit punishment? Madara didn't want to accept this fact at all, and suddenly became incompetent and furious. If Guo Huang can't get Ban off the wall, then all the guests who come to the restaurant this afternoon will be able to see his body. For Madara, this is simply a great humiliation, and it is better to die. He would rather die than suffer this humiliation. Ban, don't worry about it, isn't it good? You look so hot, maybe you can help us attract female guests. Yes, yes, you don't usually have such a good opportunity to show off your figure. You should cherish this opportunity. At this time, Shirsue and Abito began to unite again to ridicule Madara. The more uncomfortable Madara was, the happier the two of them were, because they had long been unhappy with Madara. Shut up. I am your ancestor. Do you two juniors know what it means to respect the old and love the young? If you dare to laugh again, then I will tear your mouths apart. Madara stared at Shirsue and Abito with murderous eyes, clenching her fists. If Madara could move now, he would definitely punch both of them in the head with one punch. However, in the face of Madara's threat, Shirsue and Abito were not afraid at all. Anyway, they have all died once, who is afraid of who? Okay, okay, the guests are coming, don't make trouble. Stop the water, bring the soil, you can find something to cover the underside of the spot first. Guo Huang stopped the farce in front of him in time, and ordered Jishue and Abito to cover the body for Ban. Although Madara was destined to be unable to come down from the wall, it was impossible for the Dimension Restaurant not to be open. Right now, the only way to help Ban Ban is to cover it up, and then bite the bullet and receive the guests. 
After receiving Guo Huang's order, Shi Sui and Abito could only reluctantly step forward and try to cover Madara's body. I saw Abito took off the orange mask on his face and slowly covered it on Ban Ban's iron rod. Okay, now I'm not afraid of exposing my privacy. Boss, did I do a good job? After doing all this, Abito showed a satisfied smile. Shi Shui applauded Abito from the side and agreed with Abito's idea very much. Guo Huang and Itachi tried their best to hold back their smiles. Only Madara stared at Abito with a murderous look on his face, wishing to slap Abito to death. I hang you MD. Beautiful your sister. Abito. You bastard. Wait for me. Madara's mentality is so bitter, the domineering image he has managed to build up over the years has all been ruined. If I had known that I would end up like this, even if I gave Ban a hundred courage, he would not dare to forcefully buy or sell. That won't work, there are too few blocks, so try to find a way to block it again. Guo Huang thought about it and thought it was still inappropriate, and urged Abito and Jishue to find another way. Oh, what a hassle. In desperation, Abito and Shushue began to try another way to help Madara cover her body. However, just as everyone was discussing a solution, a girl's voice suddenly came from the door of the Dimension restaurant. Hello, is anyone there? Itachi, we're here to find you. What a shabby restaurant, is Jishue really here? After hearing the voice at the door, Guo Huang, Weasel, Jishue, Abito, and Madara were all shocked. They understand that the first group of guests this afternoon have arrived at the Dimension Restaurant. Chapter 14 Mother Throwing Thunder The guest has arrived. Hurry up and block him. Guo Huang listened to the voice outside the door, and hurriedly ordered Abito and Jishue to block Madara immediately. If Madara was seen by the guests like this, he would definitely be regarded as a pervert by the guests. At that time, it will not only scare away customers, but also affect the reputation of the store. At this critical moment, Itachi hurriedly pulled the tablecloth off the table and immediately covered Madara's body. The next second, more than a dozen schoolgirls in school uniforms walked into the Dimension restaurant. Jishue, I finally found you. Itachi, here we come. As soon as the girls entered the door, they immediately surrounded Jishue and Weasel, making that kind of squeaking sound. Some girls even leaned on Abito. Although Abito has been disfigured, his appearance is still not ugly, and he still looks handsome. Guo Huang picked up the menu and stepped forward to the girls. All beauties, you are hungry, hurry up and order some dishes. After Guo Huang finished speaking, he passed the menu in his hand to the girls. Well, okay, thank you little brother. The girls also took over the menu one after another, squinting and smiling. Jishue, you have to accompany me to dinner later. At this time, a little fan girl of Shishue got the menu and began to observe it carefully. There are not many dishes on the menu, there are only a handful of three dishes at present. Including Shredded pork with green peppers. Yen marked. Maple tofu marked. Yen. Chocolate sundae marked. Yen. After reading it, the girl was stunned. What the hell is this TM? Can a broken sundae sell for? Aren't you bullshitting? Just cut us to death as big leaks. After reacting, the girl turned around and glared at Jishue, and threw the menu into Jishue's face. Jishue, you are going too far. The old lady made a special trip to eat in such a crappy place for you, but you actually cheated me of my money with this sky-high menu. After the girl finished her words, Jishue was stunned, this Nima is my business. Guo Huang was also stunned. He didn't expect that just looking at a menu would make the guests angry. At the same time, the rest of the little fans also picked up the menu and checked them one after another. After reading the menu, the girls were all angry. Do you really think we are all taking advantage of each other? How dare you lie to us like this? Jishue, I didn't expect you to be such a person. I misread you. That's right, it's amazing to be handsome. Can you lie to us just because you're handsome? Facing the accusations from the girls, Jishue felt very aggrieved. Are you girls sick? This price is not set by me, I have to go to Guo Huang for evaluation. Don't TM come at me. You misunderstood, in fact, this menu. In order to explain to himself, Jishue hurriedly pointed to Guo Huang. Cough, stop the water, 
you have to think clearly. Guo Huang coughed twice on purpose and glared at Ji Shui, obviously threatening Ji Shui. After seeing this scene, Ji Shui instantly froze. After all, Guo Huang is his boss, and he is Guo Huang's employee. If the boss, Guo Huang, acts behind his back in the future, Ji Shui will definitely not have a good life. Therefore, Ji Shui immediately closed his mouth and could only bear the condemnation of the girls alone. Bah! Damn scumbag! Suddenly, an emotional girl suddenly slapped Shi Shui's face. Puff! Ji Shui suddenly spewed a few drops of saliva, and his mouth was almost drawn crooked. Now Ji Shui really has a feeling of wanting to cry without tears. After the girls finished playing Shi Shui, they still felt that it was not enough, and they still went to fight Itachi. However, when the girls looked for Itachi, they found that Itachi was no longer around. There is no doubt that Itachi must have run away early. In this case, the girls have no choice but to decide not to pursue it. Humph, it's really cheap for him. You two scumbags, don't let me meet you on the street in the future. Yes. Otherwise, I will see you hit you once. Sisters, let's go. The girls put down their harsh words before leaving, and then left the Dimension restaurant one by one, and the atmosphere finally calmed down again. Guo Huang sighed, covered his face and said, Itachi, you can come out. And you bring soil, take off the tablecloth on Ban's body, there is no need to cover it anymore. After listening to Guo Huang's words, Itachi cautiously walked out of the back kitchen. Ji Adima's face was full of resentment, and he glanced at Itachi, thinking to himself, My dear brother, you are so different, you are a real dog. Abito also held back a smile and took off the tablecloth covering Madara's body. Hush, ha. Huh. A few seconds later, Guo Huang quietly lit a cigarette and started smoking. Facing another business failure, Guo Huang was not angry, but appeared very calm. Because since Guo Huang came to the world of magic, he has lost count of how many times the business has failed. Therefore, Guo Huang has long been prepared for this, and he is almost used to this kind of result. Well, get ready to close the door, and try your luck at night. Guo Huang flicked the soot and planned to go back to the room to rest. Anyway, it is estimated that there will be no guests coming, so it is better to have a good sleep first. But just when Guo Huang turned around and wanted to go back to the room, a girl's voice came from outside the door again. Sister, hurry up. I can't wait to see brother Itachi. Heizi, you really are, are you in such a hurry? I saw that outside the Dimension restaurant, Shirai Kuriko, Misaka Makoto, Sat in Laiko, Wihara Shiri were coming from a distance, and they were about to enter the restaurant. After hearing the voices of Haizi and Mikoto, Guo Huang became excited again, and even threw the cigarette in his hand aside. Hurry, hurry. Abito, quickly cover the spot again. Itachi, you also hurry up and say hello to others. Chapter 15 As soon as Guo Huang's voice fell, Abito put the tablecloth over Ban's body again. At the same time, Itachi also stood at the door, ready to welcome Kuriko, Mikoto and others. Although there was a lesson from Shishue, Itachi no longer dared to receive guests. But there is no way, for the sake of points, he can only bite the bullet. Abito and Madara were waiting for Itachi to make a joke, and Shishue also looked at Itachi with a sympathetic look. Even Itachi himself thought that he would definitely be slapped by the guests next. Only Guo Huang smiled and couldn't wait to welcome Misaka Mikoto. As early as in Blue Mercury, Guo Huang had read the catalog of forbidden books on magic, as well as a certain scientific railgun. He knew that Mikoto was a veritable rich woman. As the third ranked powerhouse in Student City LV5, Mikoto's monthly living expenses are unimaginable for ordinary people. So Mikoto will never be the same as the girls before, she will be furious because she can't pay. It didn't take long for Shirai Kuriko, Misaka Mikoto, Satan Laiko, and Wiharu Shirori finally entered the restaurant. Brother Itachi. We meet again. As soon as he entered the door, Kuriko threw himself into Itachi's arms. But in the end, Heizi resisted the urge and didn't pounce. Although Kuriko is a pervert, she is not an idiot. In order to make a good impression. On Itachi, she has to pretend to be reserved, or she will scare Itachi. Juan. Welcome, Miss Heisey, what would you like to eat? Itachi forced a uglier smile than crying, 
and slowly handed the menu to Kuriko. When Kuriko got the menu, Itachi immediately started to guard, ready to protect his face at all times. Because Itachi was afraid that after reading the menu, Kuriko would slap him like the previous girls. But what Itachi didn't expect was that Kuriko didn't pay attention to the menu in his hand, but threw it to the tears beside him. After all, Kuriko came to the Dimension restaurant not to eat at all, but to Itachi. As long as she can be with Itachi, eating or not is completely irrelevant to her. Tears picked up the menu and glanced at it inadvertently. Seeing this, Lazy couldn't move his perspective, and his mouth was wide open. This. Is this dish too expensive? Makoto senpai take a look. Lazy quickly handed the menu in her hand to Makoto, then turned her head and glared at Itachi and Guohuan. Shu, tear your voice down. And Makoto made a shush gesture, signaling tears to not panic. She said it was expensive, and it seemed like she had never seen the world, which made Makoto feel very ashamed. But only a few dishes, how expensive can it be? So, Mikoto calmly glanced at the menu and prepared to order a few dishes. But when Mikoto saw the price on the menu, she was also stunned, her eyes widened instantly, and her reaction was more exaggerated than tears. The cheapest dish costs dot yen. Isn't this an obvious bully? How can you do this kind of business? After reacting, Mikoto was not happy immediately, she pointed at Guo Huang and Itachi, very angry. She has seen a black shop, but she has never seen such a black one. Any dish starts at dot yen, why don't you go to heaven? Even if you cut leeks, you can't cut them like that, so just cut them hard. Although Makoto was a rich little woman and rich, she would never be so extravagant. At this time, Lazy shouted loudly, at a price like yours, unless you are mentally retarded, you will spend so much money to eat your food. Tony Stark. Heisey, let's go. Mikoto was excited by the price, so she grabbed Kuriko's hand and prepared to leave the Dimension restaurant. Just because you still want to cheat on the old lady? There are no doors. But Kuriko broke free from Mikoto's hand and didn't want to leave. What does it matter, sir, isn't your pocket money always going to be spent? You can just take this opportunity to spend it. After Kuriko finished speaking, he stepped forward and hugged Itachi's arm, reluctant to let go. After seeing this scene, Mikoto was stunned again. What the fuck? How can you turn your elbows out, you damn girl? Is it really Plastic Sisters? Actually still Nima speaks for the people who pit us. However, this was the first time Mikoto had seen Kuriko look like this to a man. It seemed that Kuriko really fell in love with Itachi, and he was the one with no cure. Heisey, are you an idiot? Come with me. After realizing this, Mikoto started forcing Kuriko to leave with her. After hearing Mikoto's words, Kuriko was caught in a dilemma. If you really have to choose between Mikoto and Itachi, Kuriko will definitely choose Mikoto in the end. At this time, Guo Huang decided to stand up and make a clearance. Wait a minute. Mikoto, although the dishes I have here are expensive, they are all worth the money. Wait a moment and let me introduce you to the functions of these dishes. When Guo Huang said this, before Mikoto refused, he pointed to the menu. If you eat this mapo tofu, it will strengthen your body. And this chocolate sundae is even more powerful, it can stimulate your brain cells, enhance your mental power, and even improve your calculus ability. As soon as these words came out, let alone Mikoto, even Heisei was dumbfounded and didn't believe what Guo Huang said at all. Lazy and Chu Chun even showed their contemptuous eyes. This person can't even brag B, it's just too bad. Mikoto even felt that her IQ was insulted. She didn't expect Guo Huang to dare to lie with such a crude lie. Do you think I'm mentally retarded? As a result, Mikoto's face suddenly became more ugly, and her whole body was entangled by lightning. If you don't believe me, I can make it for you now. If these two dishes don't have the effect I said, instead of charging you, I'll give you dot yen instead, how about it? Just when Mikoto was about to explode, Guo Huang suddenly said this sentence in a very confident tone. Because Guo Huang understands that no one can refuse his words. What? The next second, Mikoto was stunned on the spot. Who the hell gave you the courage to say such a thing? Chapter 16 Don't take money. Yuan Boss, are you sure? Mikoto confirmed this promise to Guo Huang again, 
she almost suspected that the other party was crazy. Of course, as soon as a word is spoken, it is difficult for a horse to chase. Without any hesitation, Guo Huang nodded to Mikoto. This time, Mikoto showed a disdainful smile. Although Guo Huang had already said so, Mikoto still didn't believe what he said. Not only Mikoto, but also Kuriko, Chu Chun, and Lazy felt the same way. Everyone thought that Guo Huang must be crazy. So, Mikoto glared at Guo Huang's eyes and issued a threat from Sister Pao. Boss, you should know that I am a superpower, right? If you dare to breach the contract, I will definitely let you go. Facing Mikoto's threat, Guo Huang waved his hand indifferently, without the slightest fear. I know, you can sit on the chair and wait for the dishes. Itachi, arrange for them. After Guo Huang finished speaking, he turned around and walked into the back kitchen, ignoring Mikoto. And Itachi immediately walked up to Mikoto, Laiko and the others, pretending to be a very gentleman, and making a gesture of invitation. Miss, please come with me. Itachi withdrew his hand and brought Mikoto, Naiko, and the others to a dining table. Abito and Shershue also took out four glasses of ice water from the platform and put them on the table of the four women. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, Guo Huang sharpened his knife and took out a large piece of meat and tofu, ready to show off his skills. In just one minute, Guo Huang cut all the meat, tofu, and green peppers. Under the blessing of the strongest culinary skills in the system universe, Guo Huang's knife work can be said to be superb, and has reached the realm of supernatural craftsmanship. At this time, Itachi also walked into the kitchen from the hall, quietly watching Guo Huang, he wanted to watch the whole process of Guo Huang cooking again. I saw Guo Huang put the ingredients into the pot and started stir-frying at the big level. On the way of cooking, he also mastered the intake of seasonings freely. In less than half an hour, Guo Huang prepared four courses of shredded pork with green peppers and four courses of maple tofu. Later, Guo Huang began to make chocolate sundaes. This process is much simpler than cooking, and it is easy to make. So soon, Guo Huang made four cups of chocolate sundaes. In the end, all his dishes and sundaes were placed on a large plate, and then he took a lid and placed it on the plate to hide the aroma of the dishes. After finishing all this, Guo Huang nodded with satisfaction and said, Itachi, you can take it away. As soon as the words fell, Itachi stepped forward to pick up the plate, turned and left the kitchen. In the hall, Mikoto was frowning and looked at Abito in confusion. Since she came to the Dimension restaurant, Abito stood there like a telephone pole, motionless. I said, why do you keep standing there stupidly? Isn't it bad to come here and sit? Mikoto pointed to the dining table next to her and motioned for Abito to come and sit. But Abito quickly shook his head and immediately rejected Mikoto's kindness. Just kidding, Madara is still hiding behind him naked. Although the body was covered by the tablecloth, the shape of a human body stood out on the wall, which was very conspicuous. If Abito didn't block the spot, Mikoto, Kuriko, and others would probably see the clue, which would be bad. Sorry for keeping you waiting. This is the dish the boss made for you. At this moment, Itachi walked out of the kitchen with a plate, diverting the attention of Mikoto and the others. Guo Huang also followed behind Itachi and came to the hall with him. Immediately afterwards, Itachi gently placed the plate on the dining table for four, and then slowly stepped back. Since there is still a layer of iron cover on the plate, no one can see the dishes on the plate. I saw that Guo Huang was angry and said, What are you looking at? the dishes you want are here, eat them quickly. When Guo Huang said this, his tone and attitude were very bad. But Mikoto was not to be outdone, her words were even uglier than Guo Huang. Cut, it's quite like that. If the dishes you make really have the effect you said, you can ask me to do anything. Mikoto folded her arms across her chest and pouted her lips in disdain, not taking Guo Huang's words seriously at all. And Guo Huang smiled playfully and said, if that's the case, do you dare to make a bet with me? The reason why I say this is because Guo Huang is determined to deal with Mikoto's temper and character, and plans to ruthlessly pit Mikoto. In order to make Mikoto passive, the first thing he had to do was to stimulate Mikoto with the aggressive method. Guo Huang knew Mikoto's character, and he knew that the other party would definitely take the bait. What are you betting on? Say it. Sure enough, Mikoto instantly fell in love with Guo Huang's trick, and became interested in this so-called bet. It's very simple, 
just bet on my food. If my food doesn't work, then I will not only compensate you. Yen, but I can even give you this restaurant. But if you lose, then from tomorrow, you will come to our dimension restaurant as a waiter and work until I am satisfied before you can leave. How about it, do you dare to play this bet? If you don't dare, hurry up fuck off. Guo Huang stared at Makoto with firm eyes, and his tone was also very serious. Even Makoto was shaken by Guo Huang's firmness, and was stunned for a while. Why is this guy's tone still so confident? Are these dishes really as magical as he said? But thinking about it carefully, Makoto felt that it was too unrealistic, and there was no possibility at all. Makoto believes that this bet must be Guo Huang's bluff, the purpose is to scare himself away. So, Makoto patted the table immediately and agreed to Guo Huang's bet. Okay, who's afraid of who? After Makoto finished speaking, Guo Huang's mouth curled into a conspiracy successful smile, and the fish finally took the bait. After seeing this scene, Shirsui and Nabito both raised their thumbs. Both of them are old fritters of the Uchiha clan, so how could they not see through Guo Huang's aggressive tactics? Guo Huang's hand is really high. It can simply be used to describe. Only Tears and Chu Chun were sweating coldly on their foreheads, and there was always a bad premonition. Holy crap, are you all playing so big? Chapter 17 Betting, betting, who is afraid of who? Mikoto nodded without hesitation, and immediately agreed to the bet made by Guo Huang. She didn't notice the smile on Guo Huang's mouth at all, nor did she notice Guo Huang's sinister intentions. Okay, that's what you said. Seeing that Mikoto agreed to the bet, Guo Huang showed the expression of a successful conspiracy. Little girl, dare to fight with me? You will cry later. Then please take it slow. At this time, Itachi stepped forward and slowly lifted the iron cover on the plate. When the iron cover was separated from the plate, the rich aroma drifted out instantly and filled the entire hall. After smelling the aroma, Makoto, Kuriko and the others turned pale in shock and focused all their attention on the dishes on the plate. Just smelling this fragrance made Makoto feel a surge of appetite, and the greed in her stomach was hooked up. My god, it smells so good. How can it be so fragrant? Lazy, Chu Chun, and Heizi suddenly widened their eyes, staring intently at the shredded pork with green peppers and maple tofu. Even Mikoto almost drooled, but fortunately she swallowed it in time, otherwise it would be a shame. Where is it fragrant? I didn't smell anything. Besides, it's not the smell that determines whether this dish is good or not. You won't know until you eat it. I saw that Mikoto held back her saliva and stared at Guo Huang in dissatisfaction. With a proud personality like Mikoto, she is often duplicitous and likes to talk nonsense with her eyes open. Although she is at a disadvantage in terms of momentum, she will never lose when it comes to being tough. That's right, elder sister, let Kuriko come to taste it for you first. At this time, Kuriko couldn't wait any longer. She picked up a piece of meat with chopsticks and put it in her mouth, chewing it with her pink mouth. Afterwards, Heisei suddenly opened his mouth wide and his eyes became dull. The rich aroma and the taste of shredded meat are constantly impacting her taste buds. Let Kuriko be completely silent in the world of food, unable to extricate himself. Whoa whoa whoa. It's so delicious. Spaghetti. While praising, Kuriko showed a very exaggerated expression, she could hardly describe her current mood. Afterwards, Heisei was like crazy, and started eating like a storm. Any restraint, any image of a lady, were all left behind by her. After seeing this scene, Mikoto, Hatsuharu, and Laiko were dumbfounded. Holy crap, do you want to be so exaggerated? It only took a bite, and it became like this. If the three of them didn't know Heisei, they would definitely suspect that Heisei was invited by Guo Huang. I'll try it too. Seeing Kuriko's reaction, Lazy and Wiharu couldn't help but move their chopsticks. After taking a bite of shredded pork with green peppers and maple tofu, Lazy and Chuchun showed super exaggerated expressions just like Kuriko just now. Ah, this meat is really good, strange chicken. Em, I feel like I'm in heaven, try this Sunday again. When Lazy and Chuchun tasted the dishes, they couldn't help but touting it immediately. Lazy's expression was even more exaggerated than that of Heisei, and her face flushed. The three of them all ate, and they were so greedy with Abitu, Jishue, 
and Weasel that they were itching to see it. Hearing the good reviews around her, Makoto was stunned. How long has it been since you TM had something good to eat? Is it really as delicious as you say? Anyway, Mikoto had a look of disbelief. No matter how exaggerated the expressions of Kuriko, Chu Chan and Lazy were, Mikoto still didn't think Guo Huang's dishes were delicious. Only after tasting it in person can Mikoto be convinced. So, Mikoto quickly picked up the spoon, dug a large piece of tofu into her mouth, and began to taste it carefully. This. This taste. The next second, Mikoto opened her mouth wide, her eyes full of shock. In just a split second, the tofu melted in Mikoto's mouth, bombarding her taste buds. The faint fragrance reverberated in Mikoto's mouth, making her eyes light up. Immediately afterwards, Mikoto followed the demon, unable to stop the chopsticks in her hand, and began to gobble it. Since her birth, Mikoto had never eaten like this, as if she was a starving ghost. Fortunately, Kuriko, Wiharu, and Laiko were all working hard and didn't notice the situation on Makoto's side, otherwise they would have been shocked. No one could have imagined that Makoto, who was always proud and strong, would become like this. But all of this was within Guo Huang's expectations. Just kidding, the strongest cooking skills in the universe can't subdue you little girl. Ah, I'm full, thanks for the hospitality. Soon, Lazy, Chu Chun, and Haizi cleaned up the green pepper shredded pork, maple tofu, and chocolate sundae on the plate, and not even a single residue was left. Mikoto was the last to finish her meal, and when she put down her chopsticks, her face still kept a satisfied expression, and she was still a little unfulfilled. Mikoto burped uncontrollably because she was too full, and she hurriedly covered her mouth in shame. At this time, Guo Huang walked slowly to the dining table for the four of them, and looked at Mikoto playfully. How is it? It tastes good. Guo Huang's words seemed to be showing off his cooking skills. After saying those words, Mikoto nodded subconsciously. That's right, Guo Huang's dishes are really good and very delicious. Even though Mikoto was often duplicitous on weekdays, she had to admit it. It is no exaggeration to say that the taste of these dishes alone is enough to make many people willing to pay for them, because these dishes are really worth the price. Therefore, it is reasonable for Guo Huang to set the price so high. But it doesn't matter, even if Guo Huang's dishes are worth that price. The bet between Mikoto and Guo Huang was not about the taste of the dish, but the effect of the dish. Chapter 18 Okay. Delicious is delicious, but don't forget, we are not betting on the taste of the dish, but the effect of the dish. Mikoto slapped Guo Huang righteously. She has a reason and evidence, and it is useless to let Guo Huang's dishes taste good. However, for the sake of these dishes, Mikoto, who thinks she will win, no longer intends to let Guo Huang subsidize the money. At this time, Lazy also got up and said, Yes, yes. Your food is delicious, but it doesn't have the effect you said, so according to the bet, you still lost to Mikoto Senpai. After being scolded by Mikoto and Lazy, Guo Huang's expression did not change at all, and he seemed very calm. I saw Guo Huang took out a cigarette and put it in his mouth, and said slowly, no effect. Is that so? Seeing Huehue's calm appearance, Mikoto, Laiko and the others were very puzzled. Why does this guy dare to be so confident in front of them? Is it because the brain is not working well? While Mikoto and the others were very puzzled, Guo Huang had already lit the cigarette with a lighter and took a slow puff. When the cigarette burned, Mikoto, Kuriko, Wiharu, and Laiko were all stunned. Because, they found that there was a sudden itching from their temples, and their heads began to become enlightened. What? What's going on? Sister, what happened just now? Haizi covered his head, his eyes full of shock. Mikoto was also a little overwhelmed, she didn't understand what was going on at all, she only knew that her head had suddenly changed inexplicably. After seeing this scene, Guo Huang exhaled a puff of smoke and smiled softly. Don't be afraid, this is the chocolate sundae that you ate before, which is working to improve your brain power. That's right, the reason why Mikoto, Kuriko and the others are itchy is because the chocolate sundae is starting to take effect. At this moment, Mikoto's brain cells are being strengthened, and the chocolate sundae not only activates her brain cells, but also improves her arithmetic ability. Now, as long as Mikoto can use her abilities, it will definitely be more handy and smoother than before. 
Kuriko also gained a lot, and her spatial movement has been improved from the lowest level of level. 4 to the medium level of level. 4. Chu Chun and Lazy even raised a whole level directly, and Chu Chuan's constant temperature preservation was upgraded from the original level. 1 to level. 2. Lazy, on the other hand, was transformed directly from a level. 0 incompetent and became a level. 1 aeronaut. When their superpowers were improved, Mikoto, Kuriko, Wiharu, and Laiko instantly sensed the changes in their bodies. Afterwards, the four of them showed stunned expressions at the same time. Unexpectedly, what Guo Huang said is true, those dishes can really enhance their arithmetic ability, so as to achieve the effect of improving superpower. But this Nima is too mysterious, right? However, it is only a mere dish, and it has such an amazing effect. Incredible. Really TM outrageous. Before that, they had never thought that they could encounter such a good thing, how much virtue they must have accumulated in their previous lives. From this point of view, Guo Huang's price is actually cheaper. For such a dish, let alone tens of thousands of yen, even if it is a few million yen, there will be a lot of people who come to buy it like crazy. Thinking of this, Mikoto's face flushed with shame, and she wished she could find a seam to burrow into. After about a few minutes, the four people slowly recovered from their shock. At this time, Guo Huang flicked the soot and walked over with a hippie smile. Now that you have no objection. Hurry up and settle the bill. Counting the shredded green pepper and pork you ate, as well as maple tofu and sundae, the total is point million yen. After listening to Guo Huang's words, Mei Qin was completely dumbfounded. The number of point million was like a thunderstorm in her mind, leaving her mind blank. There is no doubt that Mikoto doesn't have that much money now. She has accumulated savings for a long time, adding up all the living expenses this month, but only barely enough to raise 1 million yen. But there was no way. Mikoto had to be willing to admit defeat. If she couldn't, she would ask someone to borrow it. With her popularity, she would be able to raise enough money soon. As a result, Mikoto's expression softened a little, and she breathed a sigh of relief. But before Mikoto could relax, Guo Huang gave her another bolt from the blue. Oh, by the way, in addition to checking out, remember to report here tomorrow, and you will customize a set of staff uniforms in this restaurant for you. After saying this, Mikoto turned pale in shock, and she remembered that there was such a thing in the bet. If she loses to Guo Huang, Mikoto will come to Dimension Restaurant every day as a waiter, and she has to work until Guo Huang is satisfied before she can leave. This can't be done. I still have to go to school. I don't have so much time to work here. Mikoto immediately realized that she had been tricked, and hurriedly shouted, she really regretted why she made this bet with Guo Huang. It's okay, you can wait until after school. Facing Mikoto's resistance, Guo Huang showed a smug smile, seeing how dare you, this little girl, be arrogant. Mikoto was immediately speechless by Guo Huang, and could not find any reason to refute the other party. Judging from the current situation, Guo Huang must have made up his mind. At this time, Haizi on the side couldn't stand it anymore, she turned her head and looked at Itachi pitifully. Brother Itachi, for the sake of our taking care of your business, please plead for your elder sister. After Kuriko finished speaking, Itachi shook his head without hesitation and rejected her. Sorry, I'm just an employee under the boss, and I'm not qualified to intervene in the boss's decision. In order to prevent Guo Huang from misunderstanding, Itachi even started to turn around and left, and took the initiative to keep a distance from Haizi. Don't be so heartless, brother Itachi, just help us. But Kuriko didn't give up, instead he stood up and rushed towards Itachi's back. Since Itachi had his back to Kuriko, and he had no defense against Kuriko, he didn't notice the opponent's actions right away. This caused Itachi to be directly attacked by Kuriko, and his entire body fell forward. Fortunately, when Itachi was about to fall, he reached out and grabbed a tablecloth in front of him and used the tablecloth to stand firm. Itachi. Itachi. Looking at the tablecloth in Itachi's hand, Abito and Shushue froze in place at the same time. At the same time, Itachi always felt that something was not right there, so he looked down at the tablecloth in his hand, and found that the tablecloth looked very familiar. Holy shit! Isn't this TM the tablecloth used to cover Madara's shame? Chapter 19 At half past one in the afternoon, 
in Guohuang's Dimension Restaurant. Madara Uchiha was naked, staring blankly at the people in front of him. At this moment, Madara's expression was full of unrequited love, wishing to die immediately. Because just now, the tablecloth Madara used to cover her shame was suddenly pulled away by Itachi. Therefore, his fiery figure is being exposed to everyone's field of vision at a glance. Only the earthy orange mask was still hanging on Madara's iron rod, which helped him hide a little bit of privacy. At this time, Shushue and Abito were stunned. Not only them, but Makoto, Kuriko, Yukon, and Lazy were all stunned, unable to believe their own eyes, and they were all dumbfounded. This this. Itachi stammered to look at Madara, his eyes slightly apologetic. Suri, is it too late for me to say sorry now? Yeah. Perverted. I saw Mikoto and Laiko screaming loudly, and Kuriko and Wiharu also blushed, and they turned around together to escape from the Dimension Restaurant. Obviously, the four girls were frightened by Madara's appearance. However, how could Guo Huang watch them leave? Want to eat Bawang meal in Lao Tzu's restaurant? There are no doors. Don't settle the account, no one wants to leave. So, Guo Huang immediately looked at Uchiha's spiritual boy beside him. With soil, stop water, Itachi, stop them for me. Yes, boss. After receiving Guo Huang's order, Itachi, Shursui, and Abito immediately used the Shunshu technique to disappear in place, appearing in front of Makoto, Kuriko, and the others, blocking their way. Afterwards, Itachi, Shursui, and Abito simultaneously turned on the kaleidoscope writing wheel, and launched a kaleidoscope level illusion on the four girls. After suffering from the illusion, Makoto, Kuriko, Wiharu, and Laiko suddenly stopped. Because their bodies were suddenly unable to move, they couldn't even move, and they couldn't even use their superpowers. How? How? After seeing the methods of Uchiha's spirit boy, Mikoto looked at the other party in shock. She didn't expect that the seemingly weak restaurant employees were so powerful that they could easily subdue them so quickly. Do you think you can leave without my permission? Guo Huang walked slowly to Mikoto's side, revealing a playful look. Aware of the playfulness in Guo Huang's eyes, Mikoto was sweating coldly all over her body, and a chill appeared in her heart. You know, Mikoto can't use her superpowers anymore. If Guo Huang intends to conspire against her, then she has no room for resistance at all, and she can only be at the mercy of Guo Huang. Therefore, Mikoto's mood can be imagined, she must be very scared. You. Don't come here. I warn you, if you dare to do something outrageous to us, then I will never let you go. Under the extreme fear, Mikoto pretended to be calm and shouted fiercely. After being called by Mikoto like this, Guo Huang was immediately stunned. It seems that this little girl seems to have misunderstood herself. Outrageous thing. You think beautifully, I'm not interested in an airport like yours. At this time, Guo Huang mercilessly mocked Mikoto's figure and showed a look of contempt. You. As soon as these words came out, Mikoto froze on the spot, and blue veins burst out on her forehead. What happened to my airport? Did you eat your rice at the airport? Why do you look down on the airport so much? Wiharu and Kuriko on the side also frowned, feeling very angry. Mikoto was not the only one with an airport-like body, but the two of them as well. Only Lazy glanced down at his chest, secretly relieved, fortunately it wasn't the old lady. Okay, if you have time to mess around, it's better to settle the bill quickly, or none of you will be able to leave. However, just when Mikoto was extremely angry, Guo Huang began to force her to settle the bill again. There might be new guests coming to dine later, so Guo Huang didn't have time to continue writing with Mikoto. Hearing the word checkout, Mikoto's inner anger was instantly extinguished. Because she was too ashamed to be angry, she didn't have so much money on her body, she couldn't settle the bill. Arnold, can you give me a day, I can't take out so much cash now. After Mikoto finished saying this, her face was as red as a tomato, and she didn't dare to look at Guo Huang again. Who would have thought that the famous Tokawadai ace, Mikoto Misaka, ranked third in level. 5. Could not even afford a meal. If this kind of thing spreads out, Mikoto will definitely be disgraced. Even in school, people will point fingers at them, and they will be completely shameless. One day's grace. You're thinking of shit. 
The restaurant's policy has always been that no credit will be accepted. If you can't come up with the money today, I'll blow your head off. Instead of agreeing to Makoto's request at all, Wu Huang suddenly started to intimidate Makoto. Want to pay off? Non-existent. If you can't see the money today, I'll smack you in the head. You you. After being intimidated by Guo Huang, Mikoto was incoherent in her speech, her eyes began to turn slightly red, and the aggrieved were about to cry. Mikoto had never been yelled at like this since she was a child. She didn't expect Guo Huang to be so heartless, and she didn't mean to pity Xiangxiu at all. Although her figure is not that good, she is still a beautiful girl in bloom. Even if he can't settle the bill, Guo Huang doesn't need to say such excessive words. At the same time, Haizi, Chu Chun, and Lazy looked at Guo Huang in shock. Damn, this guy is really a dead straight man made of pure steel. Deserving of TM being single. At this time, Mei Qin looked at Guo Huang with tears in her eyes, her heart was full of despair. Now she can't speak reason and can't fight. In this case, Guo Huang said what he said, and Mikoto couldn't even resist. So in the end, Mikoto could only choose to continue to endure, bowing her head and being silent. Seeing Mikoto's desperate expression, Guo Huang finally realized that the other party was not lying. Because according to Mikoto's character, if she had money, she would never default on her debts. Therefore, Guo Huang could only helplessly sigh and make concessions. It doesn't look like you're lying, so let's just give you one day to raise money. Tomorrow afternoon, or at this time, you come to our restaurant to pay the money, and then follow the bet to serve as a waiter in our restaurant. After Guo Huang finished speaking, he winked at Itachi, Abito, and Jishui. The three of them understood in an instant, releasing the illusions on Mikoto, Kuriko and the others. Obviously, Guo Huang was letting them go. You can go now, but remember, if you don't come to pay tomorrow, I will definitely spread today's events to the Academy City and make you stinky for eternity. Before the other party left, Guo Huang did not forget to issue a final threat. Cut, you know that bullying girls is really bad. I saw that Mikoto glared at Guo Huang very aggrieved, did not dare to stay any longer, and immediately left the Dimension restaurant. Without a doubt, today was the worst day that Mikoto had ever been bullied. After Mikoto left, Kuriko, Wiharu, and Laiko quickly followed. Chapter 20 Before I knew it, the afternoon passed quickly. Since Mikoto, Kuriko, Wiharu, and Laiko left the Dimension restaurant, there have been no more customers at the restaurant. It wasn't until dot o'clock in the evening that the Dimension restaurant finally got off work. As night fell, the system also ended Madara's punishment and put him down from the wall. Madara has now put on the red armor again, and is sitting in a chair in a daze in silence. Hey, what's wrong with him? Looking at Madara who said nothing, Shushue asked Abito a little curiously. Who knows, it is estimated that the spirit has been stimulated, and it is crazy. Abito put his mouth against Shushue's ear and muttered softly. However, no matter how quiet Abito's voice was, his words still reached Madara's ears. I hang you MD. Dare to speak ill of Lao Tzu there. Do you really think I have no temper? Thinking of this, Madara clenched her fists instantly, got up and walked towards Abito and Shushue. In fact, Abito was right, Madara was indeed greatly stimulated today and suffered a humiliation that he should not have endured. Because of this, Madara even became a little depressed. So now, he really needs someone to vent his anger. When he was worried that he could not find anyone, Abitu and Jishue just took the initiative to come to the door. If you don't shove your heads into each other's ass today, Lao Tzu TM will not be named Madara Achiha. I lost it. When Abito and Shursui saw the menacing Madara, they both took two steps back at the same time. Although they shout about who is afraid of whom, in fact, they are still very false. After all, this is the legendary Madara Uchiha, the ancestor of the two of them. So Abito and Shursui had to run away consciously, without any intention of discussing with Madara. However, at this moment, Guo Huang and Itachi gradually came from the back kitchen. As soon as he arrived, Guo Huang was frightened by Madara's murderous aura. Damn it, but Nima dares to make trouble in the restaurant. Do you want to go to heaven? Don't make trouble, the dimensional channel will be open soon, and hurry up and get ready to welcome the guests. 
Guo Huang's words prevented this farce from happening in time. Now that the boss's father has spoken, Madara can only hold back her anger and give Abito and Shirsui angrily glances. At this time, the voice of the system suddenly sounded from everyone's mind. Attention all employees. The dimension channel will be opened in three seconds. Whoever successfully receives the first guest tonight will get 500 points. Please work hard to entertain the guests. After the sound of the system ended, a glowing white hole appeared out of thin air in the hall. Itachi, Abito, and Jishue instantly cheered up and rushed to Bai Dong at the fastest speed, ready to welcome the arrival of the guests. Just kidding, this Nima is dot points. How many chores have to be done to earn these points? So, the three of them must be particularly positive. Madara was the only one who still stood there, looking at the three of them with disdain. Obviously, Madara still can't let go of her face and still tries her best to maintain her domineering image. But in fact, Madara's heart was actually bursting into tears. If there were no acquaintances around, Madara would definitely rush up without regard for his face. Madara was already far behind in points, so he was eager to find a chance to turn the offensive. Abito, these dot points must be mine, just wait and see. While waiting for the guests, Chershue did not forget to stimulate the Abito around him. Humph, who doesn't speak big words? I'll convince you of your defeat later. Abito looked at Shirshue with contempt, and his words were full of confidence, as if the hundred points were destined to belong to him. However, just as the two were arguing, a man wearing sunglasses also slowly walked out of the white hole. This man is Tony Stark. After seeing Tony, the three immediately surrounded him and surrounded Tony. Abito, welcome. What would you like to eat? Shirshue, I recommend you to order a chocolate sundae from this restaurant, it is very effective for boosting your brain power. Itachi, hello, I'm a waiter in this restaurant, please let me serve you. The three of them caught Tony in an instant, and crazily recommended the dishes of the Dimension restaurant. For the sake of points, they really left their dignity behind and didn't care about their own face at all. Watfa. What are you doing? Tony was immediately frightened by the eagerness in the eyes of the three, and couldn't help but take a step back. Looking at the other party's posture, it seems that he wants to swallow himself alive. When I came to the Dimension restaurant last time, these people were still very calm. It's only been a short day, why did you suddenly become so enthusiastic? Guys, calm down first, let me order a dish myself, okay? Tony raised his hands above his head, put on a gesture of surrender, and slowly walked out of the siege of the three. Soon, Tony came to the front desk, and Guo Huang was standing behind the front desk waiting for Tony's arrival. After seeing this, Itachi, Abito, and Shirshue hurriedly followed. But it was already too late. Madara was right next to the front desk at this moment. Madara's heart was immediately ecstatic when she saw Tony coming. Holy crap, happiness came so suddenly. So Madara rushed to speak calmly before the three of them arrived, what do you want to eat? As usual, bring me a mapo tofu. When Tony finished ordering, Madara showed a rare smile, and this wave of points stabilized. Ding! Congratulations to Madara Uchiha for successfully hosting the first guest tonight and getting 500 points reward. Current employee points. Uchiha Madara, 500 points. Uchiha Itachi, credits. Uchiha Abido, 100. 5 points. Uchiha Shirsue, 112 points. Listening to the sound of the system, Itachi, Shirsue, and Abido all showed incredible expressions. Madara's wave of waiting for the rabbits was really unexpected, it was simply a piece of shit luck. Chapter 21 In the Dimension Restaurant, Guo Huang is staying in the kitchen to make mapo tofu for Tony. Itachi, on the other hand, stood aside, observing Guo Huang's entire cooking process with his riding wheel. At the same time, in the hall. Tony sat in a chair, playing with his phone while waiting for Guo Huang's dishes. Madara came over with a glass of ice water and put the ice water on Tony's table. At this time, Abito and Jishue, who were standing in front of Bai Dong, looked at Madara in disgust. It should be the two of them who were supposed to take care of Tony there, and even the dot points should be theirs. Unexpectedly, in the end, Banana picked up a big bargain and entertained Tony one step ahead. 
It didn't take long for Itachi to walk out of the kitchen with steaming maple tofu, and came to the hall with Guo Huan. Please enjoy. Itachi put the maple tofu on Tony's table, then turned around and went back to the front desk, waiting for the next guest to arrive. Hey boss, come and sit, I have something to talk to you about. Tony didn't move his chopsticks at first, but waved at Guo Huang and invited Guo Huang to chat. Since it was an invitation from a guest, Guo Huang did not refuse, and soon sat down on the chair next to Tony. Looking at Guo Huang in front of him, Tony immediately became excited. Because since Tony came home last night, his stamina and strength have skyrocketed, and his physical strength has been greatly enhanced. At the beginning, Tony didn't care too much, until he knocked the sandbag flying with one punch, and he was shocked. Tony understands that the reason why his strength can be improved so much is because of Guo Huang's maple tofu. Dude, so you really didn't lie, your tofu does have the effect of strengthening the body, which is really incredible. I saw Tony holding Guo Huang's hand excitedly, his eyes full of thirst for knowledge. Tony would really like to know the mystery if he could. He wanted to know why Guo Huang's tofu had such a miraculous effect. But Tony knew that Guo Huang would definitely not sell this kind of technology, so he had to give up the idea temporarily. And Guo Huang is too mysterious for Tony. First, the mysterious and unpredictable dimensional channel, and then such a magical dish, so that Tony can't see through the details of Guo Huang at all. All of this made Tony not dare to have crooked thoughts about Guo Huang. Mr. Stark, calm down. My dishes not only have the effect of strengthening the body, but there are more benefits waiting for you to try, you can try other dishes. Guo Huang showed a sinister smile, beguiling Tony to continue to order other dishes. As soon as these words came out, Tony became even more excited, and he couldn't wait to explore the effects of other dishes. Oh my ka. Then what are you waiting for? Hurry up and bring all the dishes on your menu. Tony, showing the attitude of a nouveau riche, ordered all of Guo Huang's menus in one go, and didn't bother to ask what the effects of these dishes were. Whatever it does. Anyway, I will eat them all. Okay, then wait a moment, I'll be right back. Guo Huang made an okay gesture, turned around and walked back into the back kitchen, ready to cook for Tony. Tony, on the other hand, was lying on the chair happily, waiting for his food with anticipation. After seeing this scene, Itachi, Abito, Shirsue, Madara all showed envious expressions. Alas, rich people are good, and they can spend whatever they want. It's a pity that they are all paupers, otherwise they would have to order all the dishes on the menu. However, just as Tony waited patiently for the food, another man came out of the dimensional passage. The man was tall and mighty, wearing golden armor. He is more than two meters tall, and his skin is purple all over his body. That's right, this man is Thanos in the Marvel movies. I saw Thanos watching the restaurant in front of him with a very confused expression, just like when Tony first came to the Dimension restaurant. Originally, a few seconds ago, Thanos was still in his space battleship, ready to continue to fight on the next planet, but the Dimensional Channel suddenly appeared in front of him. Out of curiosity, Thanos didn't hesitate for too long and walked directly into the Dimension Passage, so he came to Guo Huang's restaurant. As soon as I came to the Dimension restaurant, Thanos felt that it was not easy here. Because of the atmosphere here, Thanos feels very unfamiliar. Thanos' intuition tells him that this does not seem to be his original world. At this time, Tony also discovered Thanos, and he was very surprised by what Thanos looked like. What kind of fairy is this strange flower that looks like a purple sweet potato? Looks good TM scary. Since Tony hasn't become Iron Man yet, he doesn't know Thanos at all, and Thanos doesn't know Tony. Hello guest, welcome to Dimension Restaurant, please let me take you to order. After seeing Thanos, Shirsue and Abito hurried up to take care of each other enthusiastically. And Thanos stared at Shirsue and Abito in front of him, and took a step back subconsciously. As a battle-hardened powerhouse, Thanos has always had a keen intuition. He could see at a glance that Shirsue and Abito were definitely not ordinary people, and both had a dangerous aura about them. In particular, Madara, who was standing in place, brought the strongest sense of crisis to Thanos. You know, the current Thanos doesn't have the Infinity Stone yet, so he doesn't dare to be arrogant at all, he can only follow Jishue and Abito. Soon, he was brought to the front desk by the two of them and came to Itachi. 
Itachi handed the menu to Thanos and said, please order. When the menu was taken over by Thanos, the yen marked on it instantly turned into a U.S. knife. Shredded pork with green peppers, U.S. Maple tofu. Chocolate sundae. After reading the menu carefully, a series of black question marks appeared above Thanos' head. U.S. knife. What it is. The current Thanos hasn't been to Earth yet, so he doesn't know what a U.S. knife is. Chapter 22 Thanos looked at the menu in his hand, his face full of confusion, he didn't even know what a beautiful knife was. So, Thanos looked at Itachi with some doubts. What is a knife? After listening to Thanos' question, Itachi was also stunned. Don't talk about Thanos, even he doesn't know what the so-called beautiful knife is. However, the two of them didn't know, which didn't mean that Tony on the side didn't know. What? Dude, you don't even know the US knife. Tony looked at Thanos, and suddenly understood that the other party was definitely not a person from Earth. In this case, he might as well be a good friend and arrange Thanos. From a businessman's point of view, having an extraterrestrial friend would not do Tony any harm at all. Well, waiter, I will pay for his money. You can let him order whatever you want. Thinking of this, Tony directly threatened to pay for Thanos, very arrogant. With Tony's words, Itachi nodded and agreed with Tony's proposal. Thanos was also attracted by Tony's words, and turned his head to look at Tony behind him. Through observation, Thanos found that Tony did not make him feel the same sense of crisis as Itachi, Madara, Abito, and Shursue. The other party should be just an ordinary person. Thank you. Even so, Thanos thanked Tony. Although he is a bloody and brutal overlord of the universe, his usual cultivation is actually quite good. When it came time to say thank you, Thanos would never be vague. Sir, this way please. At this time, Jishue came over and brought Thanos to the dining table next to Tony. Thanos slowly sat on the chair, constantly looking at the Dimension Passage and the surrounding restaurants. He never imagined that a small restaurant could have such amazing technology. Also, there is not a single weakling among the staff in the restaurant. If Madara, Itachi, Shursue, and Abito unite, they might not even be their opponents. Facing such a mysterious restaurant, Thanos raised a strong curiosity in his heart. Hi man, my name is Tony Stark, what's your name? Suddenly, Tony turned from his chair to face Thanos. This was the first time he had encountered aliens, so he really wanted to know about Thanos. At this time, Tony had already finished the maple tofu on the plate and was waiting for Guo Huang to serve other dishes. Anyway, if you are idle during this period, you are idle. It is better to chat with Thanos. I'm Thanos. Looking at Tony who greeted him, Thanos responded lightly. No matter how you say it, you can also treat yourself to a meal, so you can't ignore them. Thanos. Well, that's a cool name. Tony nodded slightly, remembering the name Thanos. However, at this moment, Guo Huang also came out of the kitchen with shredded green pepper and chocolate sundae. Tony, your dishes are ready. After Guo Huang put the dishes on Tony's table, he originally wanted to turn around and leave, but he accidentally glanced at Thanos out of the corner of his eyes. What the fuck? Why does this purple sweet potato head look so familiar? Is it a bit like Thanos? After reacting, Guo Huang immediately turned to look at Thanos. Lying in a big slot. Really Thanos? When Guo Huang saw what Thanos looked like, he couldn't help exclaiming. How come all the people from the Marvel world came here tonight? This is too coincidental. And it's just Tony and Thanos who came. It's really a narrow road for enemies. You know me. Hearing Guo Huang calling his name, Thanos felt a little puzzled. I saw Guo Huang affirmed, I not only know you, I also know everything about you. When he heard this, Thanos was stunned, how could this guy know me? Threatened to know me? Did I guess wrong just now, in fact, this is my original world? Seeing Thanos' puzzled expression, Guo Huang immediately saw through the other party's mind. Therefore, Guo Huang planned to explain the rules of the Dimension Restaurant to Thanos first, and the other party in the province would break the rules later. Since you are so confused, let me explain to you. This is my restaurant. Whenever it is night, the restaurant will open a dimension channel to go to other worlds to find guests. I just found you tonight. 
Since the moment you stepped into the Dimension Passage, you are no longer in the Marvel world, but don't worry, you can return to your original world when you finish your meal. During this period, as long as you eat well and don't do anything in this restaurant, we won't do anything to you. When Guo Huang explained it, Thanos finally had a certain understanding of the Dimension Restaurant. Knowing that Guo Huang was not hostile, he secretly breathed a sigh of relief. On the other hand, Tony was stunned by what Guo Huang said, and his eyes were full of shock. It turns out that Guo Huang has such a powerful technology. You can even pull customers across the world. No wonder other people's dishes can be so effective, even aliens come to taste it. From this point of view, the technology of Marvel World is a drop in the bucket compared to Guo Huang's restaurant. At this time, Tony has regarded the ability of the dimensional restaurant as technology, and cast his adoring eyes on Guo Huang. He didn't know that the reason why Dimension Restaurant could cross the world was entirely by the power of the system. However, just as Tony was shocked, Itachi suddenly interrupted his train of thought. Boss, Mr. Tony just contracted Mr. Thanos' expenses, and now all the dishes ordered by Mr. Thanos are counted on Mr. Tony. After listening to Itachi's words, Guo Huang couldn't help laughing. I didn't expect Tony to care about Thanos so much. This is really good luck. Recalling the scene where Tony and Thanos perished together in the movie, Guo Huang couldn't help sighing. Okay, then let Tony pay for the money, Thanos, wait a moment, I'll cook all the dishes on the menu for you. After Guo Huang finished speaking, he turned around and walked into the kitchen again, unwilling to be the light bulb between the two. Chapter 23 Looking at the background of Guo Huang's departure, Thanos' eyes looked a little frightened. According to Itachi, Guo Huang is undoubtedly the owner of this restaurant. Even ordinary employees are so strong, how strong is the boss Guo Huang? Thinking of this, Thanos sighed in frustration. Originally, Thanos thought he was already very strong, but now it seems that there is a heaven outside the sky, and there are people outside the world. Dude, according to the boss, you must be an alien living in another world, right? I wonder what kind of planet you live in. Taking advantage of Guo Huang's cooking time, Tony began to chat with Thanos again. Since Tony doesn't know Thanos now, he doesn't know that Thanos lives in the same world as him. Not only Tony, but Thanos also thinks Tony doesn't belong in the Marvel Universe. I've never settled on any planet, and I've been living in my own spaceship all these years. But I've found a cozy garden, and maybe I'll go there when I'm done with my mission. Old Age Thanos answered Tony's question very plainly, closed his eyes and fell into contemplation, as if imagining his life after completing his mission. Tony, on the other hand, was attracted by the words of Thanos, and once again had a strong curiosity. My god, this alien called Thanos actually owns a space battleship. Sounds like a tough character. And the mission that the other party said? What exactly does that mean? If you don't recommend it, can you tell me what your mission means? I saw Tony began to ask questions again, wanting to know more about Thanos' mission. Realizing that Tony wanted to talk, Thanos narrowed his eyes and became vigilant. But on second thought, Tony didn't live in the same world as him anyway. And just now, they invited me to a meal, so I have nothing to hide, so I just tell Tony directly. So, Thanos began to tell Tony about his experiences over the years. My mission is only one, but it is very difficult to accomplish. In the world I belong to, the population is already full and the resources are poor. So I will destroy half of the life in the entire universe and reduce the population. In this way, the entire there will be peace in the universe. For this goal, I have been fighting for many years. During this period, I have visited many planets and killed many people. But even so, my progress is still very slow. I need to slaughter more planets and kill more people. At this rate, I'm afraid it will take hundreds of years before I can truly complete my mission. However, I don't want to wait so long. Recently, I'm looking for a treasure. As long as I can collect all this treasure, I can instantly gain unimaginable power. At that time, I only need to snap my fingers, and the universe to which I belong will instantly die of hundreds of millions of people, completely erasing the other half of life in the universe. When Thanos finished his past glorious deeds, Tony had already widened his eyes, his eyes full of shock. In addition to Tony, the Uchiha spiritual guys were also frightened. Didn't expect that the other party's mission was to slaughter hundreds of millions of living beings. 
really tm outrageous. Even the freckles felt a little shocked. I saw Madara look at Thanos with complicated eyes, and the purple-skinned guy in front of him was exactly the same as his character. Back then, Madara also took over everything alone, ready to use the sacrifice of a few people in exchange for the peace of the majority. Unfortunately, Madara's path proved to be a failure in the end. As for the tyrant, that's hard to say. Oh my. Dude, are you so fierce? At this time, Tony looked at Thanos with obvious fear. Holy shit. Unexpectedly, this ugly bee, who looks like a purple sweet potato, is so popular. Kill half of the life in the universe. It's just too scary. And listening to Thanos' tone seems to be confident, as if destined to accomplish this feat at this time, Tony couldn't help but secretly rejoice, fortunately, Lao Tzu and this butcher are not from the same world. Otherwise, wouldn't he be shot dead by the opponent's snap of his fingers? Thinking of this, Tony showed a schadenfreude smile. People who live in the same world as Thanos are really a bunch of unlucky bastards. No, like this big guy, he must have a good lick. If you are fortunate enough to make friends with such a big guy, you will have the capital to brag about in the future, right? Tony has even begun to imagine the scene where he is bragging in front of others. I have a friend, but he is a ruthless man who can instantly destroy hundreds of millions of living beings with a snap of his fingers. How about it? Hang or not? Are you envious or not? If you can know such an awesome boss, you will wake up laughing even from a dream. However, just when Tony fell into imagination, Guo Huang suddenly walked out of the kitchen with the dish. Before Guo Huang reached the dining table, Thanos could smell the aroma of the food. As a result, his appetite was immediately stimulated by this fragrance. Oh my god! What is so fragrant? I saw Thanos staring straight at the dish in Guo Huang's hand, and swallowed suddenly. This is for you, try it. By the time Guo Huang put the dishes on the table, Thanos couldn't wait. Since he didn't know how to use chopsticks, Thanos reached out and grabbed a large handful of maple tofu, which he couldn't wait to put into his mouth. What? The soft taste and the charming taste made Thanos close his eyes comfortably. Afterwards, Thanos couldn't stop at all. He grabbed the dishes from the plate in large quantities, and the food became gobble and very barbaric. Itachi, Madara, Jishue, and Abito are all greedy and crying. Why do these people look so good? Makes them want to eat too. You know, since they came to the Dimension Restaurant, they haven't eaten the dishes made by Guo Huang. At the same time, after seeing Thanos eating appearance, Tony's eyes suddenly lit up. Isn't this a good opportunity to kneel and lick the boss? So, Tony turned around and looked at Guo Huang. Boss, give Thanos a few more dishes, and I will cover all the expenses. After listening to Tony's words, Guo Huang forcibly suppressed his smile and nodded. Cough, okay, I'll do it for you right away. Chapter 24 Four hours later, in the Dimension Restaurant. Brother Thanos, have you eaten so much since you were a child? Tony stared at the gobbling Thanos, his eyes changed from calm at first to surprise. From the beginning to the present, Thanos has eaten for four full hours. During this period, as many dishes as Guo Huang cooked, Thanos ate as many dishes. The plates on the dining table have long piled up into mountains, which looks very exaggerated. This purple sweet potato giant is too edible, right? Tony is really curious how Thanos' stomach grows. Well, our titan's food intake is much larger than that of ordinary creatures. Thanos put the last piece of maple tofu into his mouth, showing a very satisfied expression. After four hours of binge eating, Thanos finally had his fill. He enjoyed this meal very much and was very comfortable. At the same time, in the process of enjoying the food, Thanos also felt a long-lost relaxation and pleasure. Since the moment Thanos embarked on his journey, he hadn't been as happy as he was now. So, Thanos turned around and cast a grateful look at Guo Huang. Thank you, your boss, your dishes have relieved me a lot of stress. Compared to yours, all the things I've eaten before are just shit. If it's not recommended, I'll be back tomorrow. Thanos sincerely thanked Guo Huang, and thanked Guo Huang for being able to cook hard for himself for four hours. Then, Thanos turned his head to look at Tony who was on the side. Thanos knew that the person he should be most thankful for was actually Tony. 
If Tony hadn't paid for his meal today, Guo Huang probably wouldn't even look at him. So, Thanos decided to thank Tony too. Moreover, this thank you must not be a verbal thank you, Thanos must take out a substantive thing to repay Tony. However, because he came in a hurry, Thanos didn't go out with treasures on him, and there was nothing to give to Tony. The only thing that can be taken out is the weapon behind Thanos. Tony, thanks to you I was able to relax today after a long absence. In return, I'm going to give you a nice gift. As Thanos spoke, he pulled out the double-edged sword behind his back and put it on the dining table. The length of this knife is more than two meters, and it is very heavy, and it creaks the dining table in an instant. That's right, this knife is exactly the one in the hands of Thanos in Women's Federation 4. Its name is Tyrant Sky Blade, and it was discovered by chance when I bloodbathed the planet Gamora. Tony, it belongs to you now. After Thanos finished speaking, Tony immediately looked at the double-edged sword carefully. Just looking at the knife made Tony feel uncomfortable, because there was still a trace of blood on the blade that had not been wiped dry. Obviously, Thanos must have slaughtered many people with this knife, and I don't know how many innocent lives have been contaminated. But as a businessman, Tony saw at a glance that this knife was not ordinary. The knife sent by the boss, can that be bad? Absolutely good stuff. With this double-edged knife alone, Tony felt that the money was not spent in vain tonight. Okay, since it's brother Thanos' intention, then I'll accept it. Tony calmly accepted Thanos' return gift, then reached out and patted Thanos on the shoulder lightly. And Thanos didn't care about Tony's intimacy, and a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. After this meal, Tony and Thanos gradually became familiar with each other. Okay, I've been here long enough today, it's time to go back. I saw Thanos suddenly stood up and was about to leave the Dimension restaurant. If he doesn't go back, his troops will be anxious. Seeing that Thanos was about to leave, Guo Huang immediately reminded, after entering the dimensional channel again, you can return to your original world, welcome to come next time. Well, I will. Thanos nodded, then walked into the dimensional channel without looking back, and was teleported to the Marvel world. After Thanos left, Guo Huang looked at the Uchiha spiritual guys next to him. Itachi, do the bill and see how much our dear Tony spent today. When Guo Huang said this, he couldn't help but let out a hearty laugh. After all, Tony made him a lot of money today. Forget it, Mr. Tony spent a total of point million tonight. Itachi glanced at the list in his hand and quickly responded to Guo Huang. Hearing the figure of point million, Tony's expression didn't change in the slightest. He didn't take the small money seriously at all, he took out a bank card and threw it at the front desk. Boss, you can swipe this card as you like, and the finance department of Stark Industries will send money to it every week. In the future, all the expenses for my meals in the restaurant will be counted on this card. These words were said by Tony in an understatement, as if the money was brought by the wind. But that's normal. For billionaire Tony, money is just a bunch of numbers. Readily. At this time, Guo Huang also took Tony's bank card, and he smiled happily. Sure enough, Tony's work is efficient, and things that can be solved with money never procrastinate. It's completely different from that guy Makoto, that woman is so cunning, she can't even pull out a mere point million yen. Ding! The US dollars in Tony Stark's bank card have been automatically deducted, congratulations to the host for adding another point million US dollars to the personal warehouse. The moment he picked up Tony's bank card, a system prompt sounded in Guo Huang's mind. Guo Huang nodded with satisfaction, then put the bank card into the cashier at the front desk. When Guo Huang has been operating in the magic forbidden world for a month, the money in his personal warehouse will be converted into points by the system. Every dollar can be converted into points. This dollar, whether it is Japanese yen, US knife, soft sister currency, bailey, or the value of the currency, is all points. Point million is equivalent to dot points. However, just when Guo Huang was secretly happy, Tony had already walked to the Dimension Passage. I saw Tony forcibly carrying a double-edged sword more than two meters long, his face flushed. If it hadn't been for Guo Huang's Meipo Tofu, the former Tony wouldn't have the strength to lift the knife. Boss, I'm leaving too. I'll come back to your business another day. After saying hello to Guo Huang, Tony stepped into the Dimension Passage with difficulty and returned to his mansion. 
When Tony left, the Dimension Channel just closed. Without customers, the restaurant can finally close. Bring the soil, stop the water, don't forget to clean up the table, the two of you, I'm going to rest. After Guo Huang finished speaking, he yawned and prepared to go back to sleep. Today, he has been busy for a long time, and he is already exhausted. But Itachi and Madara suddenly stood in front of Guo Huang, blocking his way. Itachi, boss, please wait a moment, didn't you say in the morning that whoever can help the restaurant get the first customer will cook the staff meal for that person in person? Madara, not only Itachi, I also helped the restaurant to attract a big customer like Tony today, and help the boss to make a lot of money for you, why don't you make a copy for me too? After the two finished speaking, they looked at Guo Huang with anticipation, and couldn't wait to eat Guo Huang's fried dishes. But Itachi and Banana did not expect that Guo Huang had no intention of cooking for them at all. No, I'm too tired today, let's talk about it tomorrow. I saw Guo Huang casually said something to the two of them, then walked up the stairs and returned to his room. Itachi, dot. Spot, dot. I hang you md. I waited so hard for so long, but you actually told me that I was too tired. However, although both of them were very angry, there was nothing they could do about Guo Huang. Who let others be the boss and himself the employee? So, Itachi and Madara sighed helplessly and went to help Shirsui and Abito to clean up the restaurant together. Chapter 25 In the early morning of the next day, the door of the Dimension restaurant was gradually opened by Shirsui and Abito. As soon as the door opened, the four of them started busy with their work. Itachi rubbed his eyes and stood behind the front desk waiting for the arrival of the guests. Madara crossed her chest with her arms, and walked to the door to stand guard with a cold face. On the other hand, Shirsui and Abito walked out of the restaurant with a large pile of flyers, ready to go outside to distribute flyers. Since there are not many customers in a Dimension restaurant at present, Abito doesn't need to deliver food now, and can help Jishui to promote the restaurant in his spare time. Stop the water, we will act separately. Well, see you in the afternoon. After talking to each other, Shirsui and Abito began to walk in different directions. As for the places to distribute the flyers, Shirsui chose the overcrowded downtown blocks, while Abito chose schools and shopping malls in Academy City. At present, if you want guests to come to eat, you can only deposit your hope on the leaflets of Shirsui and soil. Because the area where the Dimension restaurant is located is very remote, there are basically few passers-by in this kind of area where birds don't shit. Humph, another boring day. After the two left, Madara looked up at the sky, feeling very bored. It's also impossible. Who would let the restaurant open in such a place? Itachi counted the money in the cash register, sighed softly, and counted the yen in his hand carefully. After all, being idle is also idle, so it is better to find something to do for yourself to kill time. At the same time, in the room on the second floor, Guo Huang was lying on the bed and sleeping soundly. Because he was really busy last night, Guo Huang has not been able to get up until now. And Itachi, Madara, Abito, and Shishui didn't even think about calling Guo Huang to get up. Anyway, there wasn't even a single customer in the restaurant. Even if Guo Huang got up, he would have nothing to do. It might be better to let him sleep for a while. At the same time, in a small alley in the Academy City. Accelerator was standing on the roof with a playful face, holding a blood-stained arm in his hand. Below him, there was a girl exactly like Misaka Makoto, staring blankly at Accelerator. That's right, this girl is the clone of Misaka Makoto, that is, Misaka's sister. At this time, Sister Misaka was wearing military night vision goggles and holding a revolver. It is worth noting that one of her arms has been broken, and the wound is bleeding continuously. Obviously, Miss Misaka and Accelerator are carrying out an experiment in the evolution of absolute abilities. I saw Miss Misaka raised her only remaining arm and fired several shots at Accelerator. But her bullets were deflected by Accelerator's reflexes, and instead hit her in the head. Afterwards, Sister Misaka fell to the ground and lost her breath of life. Come on, it's really boring. Accelerator looked at Misaka's sister who was lying on the ground with a contemptuous look. The Misaka sister in front of her was the 8,000th Accelerator killed. According to the researchers, as long as he kills another six Misaka sisters, he can become an unprecedented level. Absolute ability. 
At the very beginning, Accelerator's attitude was still reluctant, he didn't have the special hobby of being a cold-blooded murderer. But the researchers told him that Sister Misaka was just a clone bred with cheap nutrition and protein. It is a toy that can be cloned for only dot yen without any human emotion. In addition, Accelerator really wanted to become stronger, so he was slowly persuaded by this group of inhuman researchers and began to slaughter Sister Misaka. After a long period of massacre, Accelerator's attitude has gradually changed from initial reluctance to numbness. He believed what the researchers said, and regarded Sister Misaka as a toy that could be tortured and killed at will. Because in the process of Accelerator's killing, none of Miss Misaka showed a painful expression. Like a robot, it never shows fear or runs away. So Accelerator let go of all concerns, and from then on, he killed these Misaka sisters at will. Every day, he kills at least three Misaka sisters. Alas, how long is this boring life going to end? At this time, Accelerator sighed wearily and prepared to leave this alley. The dead Misaka sister does not need him to deal with, and the rest of the Misaka sisters will come to recover the body. However, just as Accelerator was about to leave the alley, a man suddenly rushed towards him from the other side of the roof. This person was wearing an Xiao organization costume and an orange mask on his face, and it was Abito who rushed to the mall to distribute leaflets. In order to hurry, Abito deliberately found a shortcut and set off from the roof. After discovering Accelerator, Abito was a little puzzled, why is there still someone on the roof? And the other party looks like a young kid. Going up on the roof by himself is to hurry, what is this bear kid thinking? However, as Abito got closer and closer to Accelerator, his eyes gradually became serious. Because Abito smelled a faint fishy smell nearby. As an intuitive ninja, Abito immediately sensed the smell of blood. So, Abito subconsciously turned on Sangyu's riding wheel and looked at Accelerator. After observation, Abito quickly discovered the amputated limb in Accelerator's hand, and he was surprised. What the hell? Are all the bear children so fierce now? How dare you kill someone in broad daylight? Did you amputate your limbs afterwards? However, while Abito was observing Accelerator, the other party was also looking at Abito carefully. After seeing the writing will eyes in Abito's eye sockets, Accelerator's pupils shrank suddenly. It was this eye, exactly the same as Madara who defeated him before. This means that Abito and Madara must be the same group. After realizing this, Accelerator's anger immediately soared to the extreme. Chapter 26 It's the eyes. Accelerator stared at Abito's shaker, showing extremely angry eyes. It was this eye that he would never admit wrong. The bastard who beat him yesterday had eyes like this in his eye sockets. At this time, Abito immediately noticed the change in Accelerator's expression. What happened? What's up with this dead white hair in front of you? Why did you suddenly become so angry? You don't seem to have provoked this bare child, do you? So, Abito stopped and planned to wait and see what Accelerator wanted to do. And while staying, Abito also used the corner of his eye to observe the surroundings. After careful observation, Abito finally found Miss Misaka lying in the alley. At this time, Miss Misaka had a blood hole on her forehead and one arm was missing, and she had long since turned into a cold corpse. Abito frowned immediately after seeing Misaka's sister's body. It seems that he guessed right, this kid really did kill. Hey, are you the same as yesterday's bastard who came to trouble the Uncle Ben? I saw Accelerator staring at Abito fiercely, his eyes filled with endless murderous intent. Thinking back on what happened yesterday, Accelerator couldn't contain his anger. I believe that as long as Abito dares to say something that doesn't go his way, he will attack Abito without hesitation. After listening to Accelerator's words, Abito's face was filled with confusion. Yesterday's next three abuse. Looking for trouble. What is this TM all about? Why can't I understand a word? Child, I don't understand what you're talking about. Also, about your murder, I'm not interested in paying attention to it. Just pretend you haven't seen me. Abito did not intend to entangle with Accelerator, and was ready to continue on his way. His main goal now is to distribute flyers, and he doesn't want to pay attention to Accelerator's neuropathy, so he doesn't need to cause unnecessary trouble for himself. However, even though Abito had already said so, Accelerator still had no intention of letting Abito go. 
Stop talking nonsense. Do you think you can escape? Go to hell. After discovering Abito's move to leave, Accelerator immediately activated his abilities. With just a slight stomping, the entire roof began to collapse in a large area. What? Because the roof collapsed too suddenly, and Abito was completely unprepared, he almost fell from the roof. After reacting, Abito immediately used the teleportation technique to hide in the distance, and looked at Accelerator in disbelief. Holy shit! Didn't expect this nervous little devil to be so powerful. It really is unbelievable. Ha 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 ha. Don't run so fast. Let this uncle be so happy. Accelerator looked at Abito in the distance with a playful gaze, thinking that the other party was about to escape. So he directly created four strong tornadoes behind him, and using the wind generated by the tornadoes, he quickly flew into the air and chased towards Abito. Cut, tough kid. Abito looked at Accelerator in the sky and prepared to use Kemui to evacuate. He still has to rush to distribute flyers, and he has no time to entangle with the other party. But just as Abito unleashed his divine power, Accelerator suddenly manipulated the surrounding air flow, creating a huge gale to attack Abito. Its strength is comparable to a level ninjutsu, which is very exaggerated. After seeing this, Abito hurriedly activated his incarnation ability to protect himself. The strong wind passed directly through Abito and bombarded the ground, causing a lot of dust to be raised on the ground, causing a lot of movement. When the strong wind dissipated, although Abito's body was unscathed, the flyer in his hand was all torn apart by the strong wind just now. Looking at the debris in his hand, Abito was finally completely irritated. Did Lao Tzu TM give you face? I didn't want to know you in general, but you are still addicted to Nima. If I don't teach you a lesson today for this dead white-haired man, how can I go back to the Naruto world to be a fool in the future? Hey! Hey, ha ha ha! You know how powerful this uncle is. You bastard! At this time, Accelerator looked down at the big pit under his feet and showed a smug smile. Since the ground was already surrounded by a lot of dust, he was temporarily unable to observe the situation below. However, just as Accelerator was smiling, a black vortex suddenly appeared behind him. Afterwards, Abito, who had a seal with both hands, jumped out of the vortex and appeared behind Accelerator. Fire escape, the storm dances wildly. Abito spewed several flames from his mouth, and the raging flames instantly wrapped Accelerator. Hey, it turns out that your superpower is to control flames, but it's useless. These little flames can't hurt me at all. Accelerator's expression is still calm, because he can control all the heat energy and can easily change the direction of the flame. But in the next second, Accelerator's face changed dramatically, because he found that he couldn't control the flames around him. Why? I have already calculated the flow direction of the flame, why can't I control it? Accelerator couldn't figure out what was going on, and his own calculation results became invalid again. This situation is exactly the same as when he played against Madara Uchiha yesterday. Accelerator could vaguely perceive that there seemed to be some unknown energy hidden in these fireworks, and it was still energy that did not belong to this world. And this so-called energy is chakra. Just like in the original book, when Accelerator fought against Emperor Kakin, the ability that Accelerator used was also a power that Accelerator couldn't understand, so he couldn't reflect the opponent's attack. At this critical moment, Accelerator used the tornado wings behind his back to push his body out, freeing himself from the flames. Damn it! I'll never lose to a scumbag like you. After returning to the ground, Accelerator activated his ability and threw all the gravel on the ground into the sky, smashing it hard at Abito. However, all of these rubble passed through Abito's body and failed to cause him any harm. Where? Penetrated? This time, Accelerator was completely stunned, showing an extremely shocked expression. I am not wrong, right? This person can actually ignore physical attacks. What a hell! In the face of this kind of rude trick, what do you expect to win against the opponent? This Nima is simply outrageous. Chapter 27 Hey, sleep well. At 12 o'clock at noon, in the Dimension Restaurant. Guo Huang yawned and walked from the second floor to the lobby. Apart from Itachi, there were still no traces of guests in the hall. However, Guo Huang was not disappointed, but sat on the chair very calmly and smoked a cigarette very calmly. 
the current business conditions of the restaurant are all expected by Guo Huang. Boss, have a cup of tea. At this time, Itachi handed Guo Huang a cup of tea. Well, thanks. Guo Huang took the tea and took a sip. Immediately afterwards, Guo Huang gradually fell into contemplation, thinking about how to bring guests to the restaurant to eat. There are only two problems facing the dimensional restaurant now, but they are also the two most deadly. One is the remoteness of the area, and the other is that there are too many colleagues. These two problems, even if Guo Huang can solve one of them, can make the business of Dimension Restaurant percent hot. The problem of the remoteness of the area cannot be solved. After all, the location of the restaurant is selected by the system, and Guo Huang cannot intervene. The only ones who can think of a solution are the colleagues who also opened restaurants in Academy City. So, Guo Huang couldn't help sighing, alas, it would be great if only one of our restaurants was open in this city. After Guo Huang finished speaking, he took a sharp puff of the cigarette in his hand and sat there worrying. In this case, Guo Huang just said it casually, and did not expect it to be realized. Because the colleagues who opened the restaurant in the Academy City, it is impossible to close the door for no reason. However, Guo Huang did not expect that his words unexpectedly alarmed Ban, who was standing guard. Only one of our restaurants open. Well, that's a good idea. Madara murmured this sentence repeatedly, as if inspired, and a sinister smile gradually rose from the corner of his mouth. Since there are so many peers in the Academy City, I will find a way to keep them from driving, so that the problem of peers will not be solved. Obviously, Madara has already planned his plan in his heart, and intends to implement it within these two days. Meanwhile, in the alley. After the battle between Abito and Accelerator, the originally intact alley has long since been turned into ruins. In this battle, Abito finally defeated Accelerator, and it was almost a victory in the form of crushing. I saw Accelerator lying on the ground with a bruised nose and a swollen face, looking very embarrassed. During the battle, Accelerator could not hit Abito's body or hurt Abito in the slightest no matter what attack method Accelerator used. On the other hand, Abito can attack Accelerator unscrupulously, and Accelerator can't reflect Abito's attack, and can only be hung up and hit by Abito like a living target. This kind of battle is really too suffocating, and Abito's sloppy skin makes Accelerator feel like crying without tears, very unwilling. So the final result can be imagined, Accelerator was abused especially miserably. Humph, it really doesn't take a beating. At this time, Abito slowly walked in front of Accelerator and let out a cold snort of disdain. LOL. Why don't you laugh? What about that arrogance just now? Who? Let you pretend to be B, you deserve it. You. Don't be complacent. If your body hadn't been able to ignore the attack, you would have been killed by me long ago. Accelerator stared at Abito with hatred on his face, showing a very unconvinced expression. In his heart, Abito is a complete old man, and in such an unfair game, Abito is obviously invincible. Yeah. How dare you talk hard. When Abito heard this, he even laughed angrily, and when he went up, he kicked Accelerator's waist. What happened to Lao Lai? It is also a kind of ability for Lao Tzu to be so rude. If you have the ability, you can also give me one. Besides, Lao Tzu can't control his own abilities. He is so rude by nature, what can I do? What? After Accelerator was kicked by Abito, he let out a pained cry and passed out. He didn't like to exercise since he was a child. His body was very delicate, and he couldn't bear the devastation of Abito. Seeing Accelerator fainted, Abito also stopped the movement on his legs in time. The reason why Abito fought Accelerator was simply because he was upset and wanted to teach him a lesson, but he didn't intend to take his life. Because in Abito's eyes, Accelerator is a stinky brat with a mental illness, and he doesn't bother to kill such a person at all. Now that Abito has finished beating up and who should be vented, it's time to go back. Before leaving, Abito didn't forget to look back at Accelerator. I finally came out and sent out a flyer. I originally wanted to earn some points, but it was mixed up by Accelerator. How unlucky. Every day, it's easy for me. At the same time, in Tokuwadai Girls' School, the school bell rang loudly. It didn't take long for Misaka Makoto to walk out of the school gate with a frustrated expression on her face. 
since Mikoto left Guo Huang's restaurant yesterday, she has been borrowing money from her acquaintances. In order to borrow money, Mikoto even gave up her dignity, kept her mouth low all night, and finally collected enough point million yen. However, none of this bothered Mikoto the most. What Mikoto didn't want to accept the most was the fact that she was about to become a waiter. Thinking of Guo Huang's threat yesterday, Mikoto felt very humiliated and angry at the same time. But there was no way, who made her make that bet with Guo Huang yesterday, and the bet was her own. So Mikoto is completely pitting herself, and this is the reason why Mikoto is really upset. Sister. At this time, Kuriko suddenly teleported in front of Mikoto, stepped forward and threw herself into Mikoto's arms. Heizi. Why are you here? Mikoto didn't push Kuriko away this time, but let Kuriko take advantage of her. Of course it's coming. Aren't you going to be a waiter in Brother Itachi's restaurant, Mrs. Kuriko? Surely Kuriko can't bear to let you go alone. So Kuriko decided to accompany her to advance and retreat together, so let's go together. Be a waiter at Dimension Restaurant. In this way, Kuriko can accompany her elder sister. Kuriko hugged Mikoto and said these words in a provocative tone. After hearing Kuriko's words, Mikoto was moved incoherently. As expected, the person who cared about her the most was Kuriko. Hey! Kuriko, you! You're so stupid, there's no need to get on your own just to accompany me. I saw Mikoto wrap her arms around Kuriko's shoulders excitedly, and even her eyes became a little rosy. Seeing that Mikoto was so excited, Kuriko scratched her head a little embarrassedly. Hee hee, it's not just for the sake of my elder sister, but mainly because I stay in the restaurant and see Brother Itachi every day. And when I think of Brother Itachi's face, Kuriko feels filled with happiness in his heart. Full. After Heisei finished speaking, his face was flushed with shame, showing a very exaggerated expression. The next second, Mikoto was completely dumbfounded, her eyes widened and she froze in place. After reacting, Mikoto's face instantly flashed fierce, and electricity flashed all over her body. Kuriko. Ah. Big Sister Loves Whipping. Strange Chicken. Chapter 28. At four o'clock in the afternoon, in the Dimension Restaurant. Guo Huang sat in a chair, smoking and playing with his mobile phone. In the afternoon, a few casual passers-by patronized the Dimension Restaurant. But in the end, everyone was scared off by the sky-high menu prices in the restaurant. Shirsui and Abitu had returned to the store long ago, standing at the door doing nothing, dazed with Madara. Although it will take another two hours, the Dimension restaurant will not be able to get off work. But during this period, everyone does not expect to have guests. At this moment, the system's prompt sound suddenly sounded in everyone's mind. Ding! Now start to settle everyone's points acquisition today. It is detected that Itachi did not entertain guests and cannot get points reward. It is detected that Madara stands on a post once, and points are obtained. It was detected that Abito did not send out flyers, so points cannot be awarded. It was detected that Shershue sent 13 flyers and got dot points. Current employee points. Uchiha Madara, 500. 001 points. Uchiha Itachi, 110 points. Uchiha Shirsue, 125 points. Uchiha Abido, 100. 5 points. After hearing the point acquisition situation announced by the system, Jishue laughed immediately, counting the most points he earned today. Madara's eyes widened, staring at the system panel in her mind in disbelief. Lao Tzu has worked so hard to stand on the post for a whole day today. If it were an ordinary person, the skin would be cracked. In the end, I earned mere points in the end. What a joke. Such a thankless chore. I will never do it again. Boss. This system of earning points is so unfair to me. I only earned so many points after standing on duty for a day today. You should give me another job. I saw that Banana looked at Guo Huang with a very ugly face, and wanted Guo Huang to change her job. Hey, you can be content. I've been busy for so many days, and it's harder than you. I haven't even earned a point. Guo Huang pretended to be aggrieved and rejected Madara's opinion. Hearing this, Ban suddenly froze in place, speechless. 
Yes, it seems that Guo Huang is indeed worse than himself, because the system has never said that Guo Huang has obtained points. But shouldn't it? The other party is obviously the owner of the restaurant, how can he earn less points than the employees? Madara was very suspicious of Guo Huang's words, but he couldn't find any reason to refute Guo Huang. In fact, Guo Huang's words are not lies. From the opening of the Dimension Restaurant to the present, he has indeed not earned any points. But he also concealed a part, that is the currency earned by the Dimension Restaurant. Although Guo Huang earns less points, he earns more money. When the Dimension Restaurant has been working for a month, the money earned will be automatically converted into points and fall into Guo Huang's pocket. That is to say, the boss who gets the most points in the Dimension Restaurant is Guo Huang. Okay, let's clean up the restaurant. It's almost night, and we're ready to welcome guests from other worlds. Guo Huang yawned lazily, preparing to go back to his room to rest. However, at this moment, Mikoto and Kuriko suddenly entered the door of the Dimension Restaurant. Brother Itachi, here we come again. As soon as he arrived at the restaurant, Kuriko quickly walked to Itachi's side and hugged Itachi's shoulder involuntarily. Seeing Kuriko visit the restaurant again, Itachi felt helpless. And Guo Huang, Jishue, Abido, and Madara cast contemptuous glances at Itachi. You are in your twenties, why are you entangled with a little lowly all day long? After seeing everyone's eyes, Itachi's expression was as ugly as eating shit. Yo, you're finally here, have you brought enough money? At this time, Guo Huang stretched out a hand and asked Makoto for yesterday's meal. Che, of course, I'm not the kind of person who doesn't keep promises. Mikoto took out a bank card from her pocket and handed it to Guo Huang reluctantly. In this card, all her savings are stored. Ah, very good. Guo Huang took Mikoto's bank card, nodded with satisfaction, and instantly withdrew the money in the card into the system. Since you've already received the money, don't make it difficult for me. I have to go to school every day, and I don't have time to come to you as a waiter. Seeing Guo Huang accepting the bank card, Mikoto began to let go of her arrogant character and discussed with Guo Huang in a tone similar to begging for mercy. According to Mikoto's idea, the previous bet must have been Guo Huang's anger at that time. As long as she settles the bill, Guo Huang will not let her execute the bet that is equivalent to the contract of sale. But it turns out that Mikoto still thinks Guo Huang too well. You're thinking about farting. Guo Huang's simple words caused Mikoto to be stunned on the spot. After reacting, Meiqin's forehead burst into blue veins, wishing she could swallow Guo Huang alive. Whoa! How can you say such a rude thing to a girl? It's so rude. Besides, your restaurant has no customers at all. Even if I were a waiter with you, I wouldn't be of any use. I saw Mikoto staring at Guo Huang angrily like a kitten with fried fur, looking very cute. It doesn't work. No, you're wrong. I promise you, within a week, my restaurant will become the hottest restaurant in the entire student city. Because my restaurant is most in need of repeat customers. As long as it is a guest who comes to the restaurant to eat, he may not be able to live without my dishes. By that time, the restaurant will naturally need more waiters. With a very confident tone and attitude, Guo Huang sternly replied to Mikoto. As soon as these words came out, Mikoto closed her mouth immediately, without any suspicion that Guo Huang was amplifying her words. Because Mikoto had eaten Guo Huang's food, she knew how delicious Guo Huang's food was. That kind of taste can really make people addicted, so there is nothing wrong with this statement. In the end, Mikoto lowered her arrogant head as if accepting her fate. After being deflated many times, Mikoto finally couldn't stand up in front of Guo Huang. Then how long are you going to let me work here? Didn't I say before, work until I'm satisfied? Looking at Mikoto in front of him, Guo Huang showed a very satisfied look. Little girl, see if you dare to fight with me again. Chapter 29 After Guo Huang hit the perfect piano, he turned to look at Haizi again. Mikoto came here as a waiter, why did she bring Kuriko with her? So, Guo Huang said with some doubts, by the way, what are you doing here? After listening to Guo Huang's words, Haizi immediately left Itachi and walked in front of Guo Huang. Boss, I'm here to accompany my elder sister to be a waiter here. Please grant my request. I saw that Haizi first bowed to Guo Huang, and then said his request. Kuriko's purpose is very simple, 
she came here to run towards Makoto and Itachi. Last night, Heisei thought. About it all night, and was very distressed about his half-heartedness. She likes Makoto and doesn't want to give up Itachi. If he had to choose between the two, Kuriko would definitely choose Makoto. But then again, why did she have to make a choice? Isn't it good to have two boats on your feet? It just so happened that Makoto was going to work in Guo Huang's shop recently, so she could go with Makoto. At that time, she will not only be able to see Itachi all day, but also continue to eat Makoto's tofu. How happy is such a life? So in the end, Kuriko showed a foolish smile and gave up the choice. Mikoto and Itachi, she's not going to let any of them go, she wants them all. After listening to Heisei's words, Guo Huang couldn't help but chuckle softly. This guy actually took the initiative to bring it to the door, and there is such a good thing. Guo Huang must agree to a request like this. A free employee who is delivered to your door for nothing, and she is still a cute girl, not a fool. Okay, I promise you, from today, you and your elder sister will officially become employees of our restaurant. Guo Huang readily agreed to Heisei's request, and raised his thumb to Itachi next to him. Kuriko is willing to come to the restaurant as a free coolie, and it must be thanks to Itachi. Looking at Guo Huang's thumb, Itachi's eyes twitched and he wanted to curse. Although he has not been with Kuriko for a long time, Itachi has basically completely figured out Kuriko's perverted character. In the days to come, he was sure he would face endless harassment. But there is no way, who let this be Guo Huang's decision. Humph, Heisei, let's go. Seeing Guo Huang smile, Mikoto felt very unhappy in her heart, and turned around to leave the Dimension restaurant. Since she accepted this bet, Misaka Mikoto will never break her promise. When school is over tomorrow, she will come to work for Guo Huang. However, just as Mikoto was about to leave the restaurant, Guo Huang said, Wait a minute, did I tell you to leave? As soon as she finished speaking, Mikoto turned her head and glared at Guo Huang, and asked, I've settled the account and promised you the bet, why can't I leave? Guo Huang smiled, pointed to the clock on the wall, and continued, The restaurant doesn't close until 12 o'clock. The two of you are the waiters in the restaurant now, and you can't leave until the restaurant closes. After listening to Guo Huang's words, both Mikoto and Kuriko were stunned. Do you have to wait until after 12 o'clock? When we go back, we will not be scolded to death by the school warden. Aren't you bullshitting? And people who live in the academy city basically don't go out after 10 o'clock. So every shop is closed at night because there are no customers at all. In other words, in the entire academy city, if you are alone in opening a shop at night, you are simply sick. So, Mikoto was about to reject Guo Huang, but Guo Huang opened her mouth one step ahead of her. Don't rush to refuse, don't worry, we have guests at night. And I won't let you work in vain. When your work is over, I will make a chocolate sundae for both of you as payment for overtime. Hearing this, Mikoto's words that she wanted to refuse were immediately swallowed in her stomach. Two chocolate sundaes. According to the price on Guo Huang's menu, that's dot yen. And after eating chocolate sundae, it can also enhance brain power, so as to achieve the effect of enhancing superpower. Mikoto and Kuriko couldn't refuse such a reward. If you go back late, you will be scolded at most, but staying here can improve your superpowers. After such a comparison, Mikoto and Kuriko made a choice in an instant. Although. I don't really want to, but you asked me like this, so I'll stay for a few more hours. I don't have anything to do at night anyway. Hey. Kuriko is also. Since the elder sister has stayed, Kuriko can't leave the elder sister alone. The next second, Mikoto and Kuriko agreed to Guo Huang's request at the same time. After that, Mikoto blushed in embarrassment. She had insisted on rejecting Guo Huang's unreasonable request just now, but in the face of the chocolate sundae, she could only shout in her heart that it was really fragrant. Guo Huang pouted when he saw Mikoto's appearance. She is complacent in the open and secret, but she puts on a reluctant expression on the surface. She is really a helpless and arrogant girl. Okay, don't pretend, you two can find a place to sit down. It won't be long before guests from other worlds will come, and then you must entertain them well. After Guo Huang finished speaking, he ignored Mikoto and Kuriko, turned and walked to the second floor, ready to rest. And Mikoto and Kuriko have black question marks all over their faces, 
What do you mean by guests from other worlds? Chapter 30 A few hours later, it was nine o'clock in the evening. In the Dimension restaurant, Makoto and Kuriko were lying on the table with sleepy faces, as if they would fall asleep at any time. After several hours of waiting, Makoto and Kuriko were very suspicious of whether Guo Huang was playing with them. Didn't you say there were guests tonight? What time is TM now, and I can't even see a single person on the street? If it weren't for the chocolate sundae's face, Makoto would have turned around and left with Kuriko. Boss, I want to go out and come back soon. At this time, Madara greeted Guo Huang and walked towards the door of the restaurant. Ha! Huh. The Dimension Channel will be open soon, won't you stay to entertain the guests? What are you going to do this evening? Guo Huang looked at the back of Madara leaving, feeling very puzzled. The same goes for Shirsui, Abito, and Itachi, no one knows what Madara is going to do. At this moment, Madara suddenly stopped and turned to look at Guo Huang. Isn't there those two female dolls here? Leave it to them to greet the guests. As for what I'm going to do. Of course, I'll do what you said this morning. After Madara finished speaking, she showed a meaningful smile to Guo Huang. That's right, what Madara is going to do tonight is to destroy all the restaurants in the Academy City. In this way, the peer problem is completely solved. In the future, if people want to eat, they can only come to Guo Huang's restaurant to eat. That thing I said in the morning. Did I say anything in the morning? Guo Huang was confused by what Ban said, why didn't he remember what he said this morning? So, Guo Huang began to carefully recall the words of the morning. He seemed to have said that it would be great if all his colleagues disappeared. And many more. Make your peers disappear. After thinking about it, Guo Huang quickly noticed something, and his eyes widened. Fuck. Madara. Are you thinking? After reacting, Guo Huang looked at Madara in disbelief. He just said it casually at the time, but Madara took it seriously. Ah, that's what I planned. Spot nodded, no longer hesitated, turned and left the dimensional restaurant. Guo Huang originally wanted to stop Madara, but after thinking about it carefully, Madara's plan doesn't seem to be impossible. If there is only one place to eat in the dimension restaurant in the Academy City, it will be difficult for business in the future. It must be percent explosive. Thinking of this, Guo Huang was actually a little excited. Forget it, just go with the spot, anyway, I have nothing to lose. Ban, remember to cover your face. Try not to let people recognize you. To be on the safe side, Guo Huang even reminded him of Zhuoban's back. Madara did not respond, and gradually disappeared into the night. This made Guo Huang unable to bear some doubts, is this guy reliable or not? However, it was during Guo Huang's conversation with Madara. Shirsui, Abito, Itachi, Kuriko, and Mikoto were all dumbfounded the whole time, and none of them understood what Guo Huang and Madara were talking about. Abito on the side couldn't help but wonder, boss, what is Madara doing? Guo Huang shook his head mysteriously, and said, let's not mention this, you will naturally know tomorrow morning. After listening to Guo Huang's words, everyone showed contempt. I'm really sick of it being such a mess. Ding! Attention all employees, the Dimension Channel will be opened in three seconds, please be ready to welcome guests. At this time, the system prompt sound suddenly sounded in the minds of Guo Huang, Jishue, Abito, and Itachi. Then, a white hole appeared beside Kuriko and Mikoto out of thin air. Eh! What is this? Kuriko was immediately taken aback by the appearance of the Dimensional Channel, and stood up from the chair. Mikoto couldn't figure out what the white hole in front of her was, but she could sense that this white hole seemed to be composed of some unknown energy. However, before Mikoto could take a closer look at the dimensional passage, Thanos in the golden armor walked out of the dimensional passage. Yeah. What? After seeing Thanos, Mikoto took a few steps back abruptly, thinking she had seen a ghost. Heisei even subconsciously pulled out the long needle on his leg, ready to attack Thanos. Fortunately, Itachi and Shirsui stepped forward in time and directly held Kuriko's wrist. Stop Kuriko, this gentleman is a guest from another world. After listening to Itachi's words, both Mikoto and Kuriko's faces were full of shock. Guests from other worlds? What a joke! 
This kind of thing is simply too unbelievable, even if you make up a story, it is not like you made it up. Follow me. Itachi grabbed Mikoto and Kuriko by the arms and pulled them both alone to the corner of the dining room. Listen, every time it's night, people from other worlds will come to the restaurant to dine through the dimension passage. For example, the gentleman you saw just now, these people came to this restaurant specially for dinner. Soon, Itachi explained to the two and told them the secrets of the dimension restaurant. Brother Itachi, are you telling the truth? Kuriko stared at Itachi in disbelief, feeling very unreal. Even though Itachi had explained it, she and Mikoto were still reluctant to believe such a thing. At this time, Jishue also came up and said, Of course it's true, have you ever seen purple-skinned people in your daily life? And it's not just the Mr. Thanos just now who came to eat in this restaurant. There will be more people from other worlds coming to dine soon. This. Is this unscientific? How could there be other worlds in the universe? Mikoto couldn't accept Shirsue and Itachi's statement at all, her head was buzzing with melon seeds, and she was completely stunned. If Itachi and Shirsue say Thanos is an alien, Mikoto might still believe it. But if Thanos came from another world, then Mikoto couldn't believe it. Because in Mikoto and Kuriko's cognition, they only have one world, and that is the forbidden world. However, just when Mikoto and Kuriko doubted life, Tony also walked out of the dimensional passage. Chapter 31 Hi guys, good evening, here I am again. Tony, who was wearing a brand name suit, greeted Guo Huang and Thanos as soon as he arrived. Sorry Tony, I'm going to invite you again this time. Thanos smiled softly and reached out to pat Tony on the shoulder. Oh man, you mustn't know what I'm doing, don't worry, it's all little things. Tony also responded to Thanos with a smile, and the two walked to the same table and sat down together. Seeing the two of them sit down, Abito hurriedly walked to the dining table of the two with a pot of tea. You two, what would you like to eat? After Abito put down the tea, he asked Thanos and Tony in a respectful tone, with a very correct attitude. Guo Huang walked from the front desk to Mikoto and Kuriko and pointed to Abito. Have you seen it? Take this opportunity to learn more from others, and you too will use this tone and attitude to receive guests in the future. After listening to Guo Huang's words, both Mikoto and Kuriko nodded subconsciously. No way, people have to bow their heads under the eaves. Like Mikoto, the once famous Tokawatai ace, now she can only obey Guo Huang Yan. After seeing this scene, Guo Huang showed a satisfied smile and returned to the kitchen to prepare dinner for Thanos and Tony. In less than half an hour, he came out with the steaming fried vegetables and put the vegetables on the dining table of the two of them. But at this moment, the dimensional channel suddenly changed. Then, a slim girl in ancient costume walked out of the dimension passage. This woman has two furry animal ears on top of her head and nine tails behind her. Guo Huang recognized the girl's identity just by looking at it. Isn't this Ari in Valoran Continent? When he was in Shui launching before, Guo Huang had played LOL a lot, and he was very impressed with Ali. After all, Ari is a top beauty, a top stunner. Now that I have seen it with my own eyes, Ali's appearance is indeed well deserved, and his figure is also very strong. As soon as he appeared on the stage, he attracted the attention of everyone present, both male and female. Not only her looks, she also exudes a wild beauty all over her body, and her temperament is very unique. It looks very coquettish, and it can make people addicted to it unconsciously, unable to extricate themselves. This is the natural charm of Ari. Ha! Huh. Where is this? I saw Ali looking at the surrounding restaurants with a very suspicious look. A few minutes ago, Ari was still looking for his prey in Ionia, and he came across the dimensional tunnel inexplicably. In the end, Ali was out of curiosity, walked in carefully, and then came to the Dimension Restaurant. Omega, this woman is so delicious. Tony looked at Ali in front of him, his eyes almost straight. Since Tony has not yet experienced the plot of the Women's Federation, he still maintains the character of a playboy, and he can't walk when he sees beautiful women. Not only Tony, but also Thanos, Shirsue, Abito, and Itachi on the side were shaken by Ari's beauty, because Ari's ability to charm is irrespective of race. Humans, aliens, no matter what kind of creatures. As long as they see Ari, they will immediately fall in love with him. 
only people with firm consciousness can be affected slightly weaker. Just like Thanos, Shursway, Abito, and Itachi, although they were temporarily charmed by Ari, they soon recovered their sanity. This auntie is so pretty. At this time, Mikoto also stared at Ari dumbfounded, she had never seen such a perfect woman. Yeah. Yeah, she's the third person who can make Kuriko's heart fall apart from Big Sister and Itachi. Kuriko next to him agreed with Mikoto without thinking, admiring Ari's beauty, and Kuriko almost drooled. After hearing what Kuriko said, Mikoto gave Kuriko an electrotherapy on the spot. Among the people present, only Guo Huang was not charmed by Ali. Although Guo Huang was also amazed by Ali, he did not have such an exaggerated reaction like the others. What's the matter? Could it be that my vision is too high? Guo Huang was very puzzled and secretly guessed, is it because he has been single for too long and has no interest in beautiful women? However, just when Guo Huang was puzzled, the system immediately helped Guo Huang to answer his doubts. Don't think too much about the host, the reason why you are not affected by Ari's charm is because the system has immunized the host against the charm effect. As long as the host stays in the dimensional restaurant, any type of attack will not have the slightest effect on the host, including Ari's psychic-like charm. After the system beep ended, Guo Huang nodded with satisfaction. That is to say, as long as Guo Huang stays in the dimension restaurant, it is equivalent to an invincible existence. No one can hurt him in the slightest. As expected of the system, this gold-fingered bullshit. Ha! Huh. What's the smell? It smells so good. At the same time, Ali suddenly smelled a strong aroma in the air. After looking around for a while, Ali finally settled on maple tofu and shredded pork with green peppers. Hey, Thanos, see that? That chick is spying on me. Tony immediately noticed Ari's gaze and proudly showed off in front of Thanos. Then, Tony took out a mirror very smugly and fiddled with his hairstyle. As everyone knows, Lee is not looking at him at all, but the dishes on his table. Chapter 32 Good. Good smell. Ollie looked at the delicious food on the table and subconsciously swallowed. Although I haven't eaten it yet, Ari is sure that these dishes are absolutely delicious. As a result, Ali's eyes were immediately filled with longing, and she really wanted to taste the taste of these dishes. Brother Thanos, that chick is still looking at me, I guess she's definitely in love with me. Tony observed Ali's eyes, and the corners of his mouth began to rise slightly. He smiled proudly at Thanos, thinking that Ari was looking at himself. So Tony prepares to strike first, to hook up with Ari. To be honest, since childhood, Tony has never seen such a superb as Ali. Whether it's a blonde in a magazine or a wavy actress in the entertainment industry, no one can compare to Ari. Regardless of his appearance, body, and temperament, Ali is the most perfect Tony has ever seen, which makes him a little excited. Dude, wait here for a while, I'll go get that chick first, and let her come over and have a couple of drinks with us. I saw Tony tidied up his collar, then put on his sunglasses, got up from the chair and walked towards Ali. And Thanos sat in the chair without moving or speaking, intending to quietly watch Tony's next performance. However, just as Tony was walking towards Ari, Ari also suddenly started walking towards Tony. After seeing this scene, Tony is more convinced of his judgment. This girl really came to find me. It seems that the charm of my playboy is still the same as before. Hey miss, my name is Tony Stark, are you interested in getting to know me? When Tony walked in front of Ali, he put his hands in his trouser pockets, put on a pose he thought was handsome, and extended a hand to Ali very gentlemanly. Originally, Tony thought Ari would immediately hold his hand and have dinner with him. But who knows, Ali has no intention of paying attention to Tony at all. Go away, uncle, don't get in the way. Facing Tony in front of him, Ari dodged directly around him, and then continued to walk towards the dining table on Thanos' side. After the two passed by, Tony froze in place, his expression full of embarrassment. Tony didn't expect that Ali didn't even look at him, and even called him uncle. He is only 35 years old this year, how did he become an uncle? When Thanos saw Ari bypassing Tony and walking towards him, he subconsciously revealed a surprised look. Could it be that what this woman was looking for was actually him? Thinking of this, Thanos felt a little excited in his heart. Afterwards, he quickly hid this emotion and turned his attitude into seriousness. No. 
I am the overlord of the universe, how can I be so rude in front of a woman? Later, if this woman comes to strike up a conversation, I have to maintain the demeanor of the overlord of the universe and try to be as cold as possible. That is it. After Thanos made up his mind, he sat confidently where he was, waiting patiently for Ari to arrive. It has to be said that Ari's charm ability is indeed terrifying, and even Thanos was more or less affected. After seeing this scene, Tony couldn't believe his eyes. What the fuck? I am not wrong, right? Did this girl go to Thanos? She actually abandoned my son to find that purple sweet potato? Girl, are you blind? Can't you tell who is handsome? At this time, Tony began to become furious, looked at Thanos with envy, and shouted fake squid wildly in his heart. However, while Tony was mad, Ari also successfully came to the table in front of Thanos. Wow! Those aromas really come from these dishes, and they look delicious. I saw Ali staring at the green pepper shredded pork and mapo tofu on the table, drooling with greed. Upon hearing this, Thanos and Tony, who were still thinking about it, were stunned at the same time. It turns out that the reason why Ali ran towards them was just for Guo Huang's dishes, not for them. That is to say, the two of them have been in love with themselves just now. After realizing this, Thanos' expression was suddenly full of embarrassment, just like Tony before. Puff. When Guo Huang saw the embarrassed expressions of Thanos and Tony, he couldn't hold back for a while, and laughed outrageously. At the same time, Ali couldn't help but stretch out his hand, trying to grab the dishes on the table. Guo Huang immediately sensed Ari's intention, and wanted to steal vegetables in front of Lao Tzu. There are no doors. So, Guo Huang quickly began to order a bido and Itachi around him. Ji Shui, bring soil, you quickly pull that woman over, don't let her eat the guest's dishes. Yes, boss. After receiving Guo Huang's order, Shi Sui and Abito immediately launched the teleportation technique and instantly appeared on the left and right sides of Ari. Miss, our boss asked you to come over. Immediately afterwards, Shi Sui and Abito directly grabbed Ari's wrist and pressed her towards Guo Huang's side. Ha! Huh. What are you doing? Let me go. After Ali was subdued, he desperately twisted his body, trying to break free from Shirsue and Abito's control. But her strength was far less than the two of them, and she couldn't break free. Hey guys, that doesn't seem right for a lady. Tony saw Ari being dragged away, and seemed to want to help Ari out of the siege. Although Ari ignored him just now, he didn't give up and wanted to continue soaking Ari. Don't worry about that ignorant woman, Tony, come over and continue to eat. At this time, Thanos stopped Tony. Because Ari just caused Thanos to lose face, so this caused Thanos to lose interest in Ari. After listening to Thanos' words, Tony also dismissed his thoughts. During this period of time, he finally got acquainted with the big guy Thanos, so he can't offend the big guy for a woman, right? Chapter 33 What are you doing? Let me go. Ali stared at Shershue and Abito beside him, revealing a pair of sharp little tiger teeth, looking very cute. No matter how hard she tried, she couldn't break free from the shackles of Shershue and Abito. So, Ali began to use his magic, and a palm-sized blue orb was immediately summoned by Ali. As soon as it came out, the surface of the blue orb was covered with a layer of magic, and it smashed towards Shershue and Abito. But neither of them was in the slightest panic, and they directly turned on Shirinyan and performed illusions on Ali. After suffering from the illusion, Ali's body was immobile, and he became much more honest. Even the magic power could not be used, and the blue orb was also dissipated. You. What did you do to me? After Ali lost the ability to move, fear finally appeared in his eyes for the first time. He didn't expect the two humans in front of him to be so strong. Now Ali has begun to regret it. It's really curiosity that killed the cat. If I knew she would not enter the dimensional channel. Since he couldn't move, Ali was soon pressed by Jishue and Abito to Guo Huang's side. Looking at Ari in front of him, Makoto and Kuriko were both shocked and incoherent. They had all seen the blue orb summoned by Ali just now, and they knew that the energy contained in the orb was by no means a superpower. First, Thanos, who looks like an alien, and then Ari, who has animal ears and nine tails. All of this made Makoto and Kuriko completely believe what Itachi and Shirsue said. 
It turns out that there really are other worlds in this universe, and Guo Huang didn't lie to them before. At this time, Guo Huang carefully looked at every corner of Ali's body, and couldn't help but fall into obsession. Up close, Ari became more attractive. On the other hand, Ali stared at Guo Huang nervously, with a hint of fear in his eyes, and did not dare to say a word. What is this man going to do to himself? Do you want to rectify yourself on the spot? Host, don't have crooked thoughts. If the host does something frivolous to the guest, the system will deduct the host's points as a punishment. It seems that Guo Huang's evil thoughts were detected, and the system immediately began to remind Guo Huang. After listening to the system's words, Guo Huang immediately reacted and put away his bad thoughts. Darling, Ari's charm is simply too powerful, even with the immunity given by the system, Guo Huang couldn't help but be fascinated. Ari, right, Itachi, tell her the rules here. Guo Huang tried his best not to peek at Ari's beautiful face, and ordered Itachi to explain the rules of the Dimension Restaurant to the other party. Yes, boss. Itachi immediately took Guo Huang's instructions and began to explain to Ali Cope why she came here. Hello miss, my name is Itachi Uchiha, this is Guo Huang, the owner of our restaurant, we have no ill will towards you. The following words are too watery, omitted. In less than a minute, Itachi told Ari all the secrets of the Dimension Passage and the restaurant. Eh. So I'm no longer in Valoran. Ari quickly believed Itachi's words and accepted Itachi's words. Because in Valoran, such strange things often happen, and Ari is not surprised. In Valoran alone, there is more than one world, such as worlds like Void Land and so on. Then why didn't you say it earlier? The mother who hurt was almost scared to death just now. After learning that Guo Huang and others had no ill will towards him, Ari pinched his waist angrily, a little dissatisfied with what Shi Shui and Abito just did. Shi Shui scratched his head and said, I'm sorry, it was indeed our negligence just now. Abito also handed the menu to Ari and said, compared to this, you should order something first. Facing Ari, Abito was not polite at all, unlike Thanos, Tony and others. Because Abito already has his own sweetheart and his will is very firm, Ari's charm basically has no effect on him. The moment Ari took over the menu, the US knife on the menu was automatically converted into the common currency of Valoran. What? 100,000 silver coins for any dish. Do you think I'm a fool? After reading the menu, Ali's expression changed greatly, and he threw the menu to the front desk in great anger. This time she came to Dimension Restaurant, not to mention silver coins. She didn't even bring a copper coin, so she couldn't eat the dishes on the menu at all. I'm sorry, that's what the restaurant's rules are. Although the food is expensive, it's definitely worth the money. You'll know when you eat it. While admiring Ali's angry look, Guo Huang explained to Ali in a strong tone. As soon as these words came out, Ari's anger subsided a little, because the dishes on the table did look delicious. But no matter how delicious it is, it can't be so expensive. Aren't you trying to steal money? Boss Guo Huang, I. I don't have any money on me, but I'm really hungry right now. Why don't you make a dish for me first? In the end, Ali lowered his head and nodded, trying to pretend to be pitiful in front of Guo Huang. Because Ali really wants to eat the dishes on the menu, she is a very greedy fox. If others saw Ali's appearance, they would agree without hesitation. But Guo Huang doesn't eat this set at all, because he has a systemic immunity and can ignore Ari's charm ability. As soon as he heard that Ali had no money, Guo Huang's attitude changed a lot in an instant. No money. You dared to be so arrogant just now without money. Do you want to eat shit? Don't do it. Guo Huang decisively refused Ali's request, and he was an old straight man as soon as he opened his mouth. Ali froze in place for a while, and raised his head in confusion. What the hell? Is this guy too straight? Wouldn't be gay. I saw Ali staring at Guo Huang at a loss. Her trick of pretending to be pitiful was always easy. All along, no man could refuse Ari's request. Guo Huang is the first man who can ignore Ari's charm so much. But Ali didn't believe in evil, so she decided to use more tempting tactics to deal with Guo Huang. Chapter 34 Cough, old rule, look at the picture first and then read the text. Oh, little brother, don't speak so harshly. 
for the sake of sister's beauty, you should make a copy for her. Ali put on a particularly sultry pose towards Guo Huang, with a very seductive expression, raised his lips and blew a kiss to Guo Huang. In the face of such Ali, even if Guo Huang has absolute immunity of the system, he couldn't help but stare. Ah! Hei Zi on the side looked at Ali with bright eyes, and there was even a nosebleed from his nostrils. A pervert like Kuriko can't stand Ari's charm at all. Itachi, Jishue, and Abito closed their eyes to avoid looking at Ari. After seeing this scene, Ali showed a proud smile. At this time, Ali thought that she was bound to win this time, and she would definitely make Guo Huang kneel at her feet. But who knows, Guo Huang actually survived by virtue of the system's immunity. No. Don't do it. Rules are rules. Want to eat Ba Wang's meal? It doesn't exist. Guo Huang decisively rejected Ali's request again, showing the straight man's character vividly. Moreover, Ali's name for Guo Huang made Guo Huang feel very uncomfortable. Big sister, as a demon fox, you have to live for hundreds of years. Is it appropriate to call me little brother? But this is just Guo Huang's subconscious thought. In fact, Ali's age is really not very old. Because before turning into a demon, Ari was a young fox living in the mountains, only four years old. Up to now, Ali has been a monster for more than ten years, and he is only in his twenties. And Guo Huang's age is equivalent to a sophomore student, who just turned nineteen this year. Therefore, there is nothing wrong with Ali's little brother shouting. I saw Ali looking at Guo Huang in disbelief, completely stunned by Guo Huang's straight male cancer. The old lady is already like this. Are you still not caught? Shouldn't he be a real jerk? Yes, it must be so. After a series of failed charms, Ari has acquiesced to Guo Huang's identity as gay. In Ali's view, no man can ignore his charm. Since Guo Huang can ignore it, it can only be explained by gaze. Humph, don't do it if you don't do it. The old lady has her own way, you wait for me. Thinking of this, Ali didn't plan to waste time with Guo Huang, a dead gay. Although she has no money, she has beauty. Since she can't charm Guo Huang, she will charm other men. So, Ari turned and left immediately, walking towards Tony and Thanos. When he found that Ari was coming again, Tony immediately stopped the chopsticks in his hand and cheered up. Soon, Ari arrived in front of Tony and Thanos. Afterwards, Ari looked at Tony and Thanos with charming eyes, and gave them a wink. He he, uncle, I want to eat your food, I don't know if I can. As Ari finished speaking, he put on a sultry pose, which made Tony and Thanos look straight. Immediately afterwards, before Thanos could speak, Tony took all the green pepper shredded pork and maple tofu on the table. Of course. Eat it. Eat a large portion. Are two enough? Tony handed the two dishes to Ari without Thanos' consent. Obviously, he has been completely charmed by Ari. After seeing Tony's unpromising performance, Thanos felt very speechless, but he couldn't say anything. No way, who asked Tony to invite this meal? Oh, enough is enough. Thank you uncle, uncle is so nice. Ali happily took the green pepper shredded pork and maple tofu with a sweet smile. Looking at Ari's smile, Tony only felt that his heart was about to melt. Seriously, if Ari lived in the Marvel world, Tony would stop at nothing to chase her. You're welcome, it's my honor to help a beautiful lady like you. Tony put his hands in his trouser pockets and calmly communicated with Ari. Although he looks very stable on the outside and maintains the attitude of a billionaire, his heart has long been agitated. After saying this polite remark, Tony immediately wanted to invite Ari to have dinner with him. However, just when Tony was about to speak, Ari turned and left with the dish. Hey, wait a minute ma'am. Tony immediately shouted to Ali, wanting Ali to stop. But Ali walked towards Guo Huang as if he couldn't hear Tony's words. Finding that the other party ignored him, Tony's expression was full of embarrassment again. Guo Huang was a little stunned after witnessing Ari's saucy manipulation throughout the whole process. What the fuck? Can you still look so good? Guo Huang even started asking about the system in his body. System, do you care about Ali's behavior? Why do you care? The food is obtained by begging people based on their ability, so there is nothing wrong with it. 
After the system beep ended, Guo Huang had nothing to say. It seems to be the case. Oh, what you said makes sense, but I am speechless. Little brother, do you see what this is? As long as it's something my mother wants, you will definitely get it. At this time, Ali raised the dish in his hand and proudly showed it off to Guo Huang. Afterwards, Ali deliberately chose a table very close to Guo Huang and sat down, intending to eat in front of Guo Huang. And Guo Huang could only watch Ali eat food, and there was nothing he could do about it. It has to be said that Ali can be considered very powerful to make a straight steel man like Guo Huang deflate. At the same time, on a deserted downtown street, Madara Achiha was driving Susanu, staring at the restaurant in front of him. Susanu just threw a punch at random and smashed the restaurant into rubble. So far, this is the .th restaurant Madara has destroyed, and the last. During this process, Madara hid in Susanu all the way, and no camera could see his face. In order to ensure that someone will eat at the Dimension restaurant tomorrow, Madara also threw the restaurant's flyers all over the streets. When other restaurants are in ruins, people will definitely rush to the Dimension restaurant to eat when they see the flyer of the Dimension restaurant. Of course, no matter how secret what he did, he couldn't hide it from Alistair's eyes. However, Alistair didn't seem to pay attention to Madara's intentions, and never tried to stop Madara. Well, I finally solved all these annoying colleagues. Madara watched the ruins in front of him with a satisfied look. After completing the task, Madara didn't stay much longer, and used the instant body technique to disappear in place, ready to return to the Dimension restaurant. Although the system does not let him harm innocent passers-by, it does not say that he will not be allowed to do damage. Therefore, in the process of destroying the restaurant, the system has not deducted Madara's points. Chapter 35 Finally got a taste, I wonder how the gay boss's craftsmanship is. In the Dimension restaurant, Ali looked at the dishes in front of him with anticipation. Since she didn't know how to use chopsticks, she couldn't wait to grab it. After putting a piece of tofu in your mouth, the soft and numb tofu instantly melts in your mouth. Changed into more than a dozen flavors that reverberated in the mouth and could not be dissipated for a long time. After that, Ali's expression changed drastically. Oh my god! This! This is too delicious! In the Loren continent, Ari's food is made by herself. And she never puts seasonings, because she doesn't have seasonings, which makes the food she eats unpalatable all the time. Therefore, when Ali ate Guo Huang's dish, her reaction was more exaggerated than anyone else's. Awesome! How can there be such delicious food? I saw Ali excitedly continue to grab the vegetables and eat, and even tears welled up in the corners of his eyes. She had never tasted something so delicious that her tongue fell off. Compared to these dishes, the food she used to eat in the forest was just shit. Tony, Kuriko, and Mikoto all smiled as they watched Ari who was eating so much. Back then, after they ate Guo Huang's food for the first time, it was like this, and it looked very ugly. It didn't take long for Ari to eat all the dishes on the table, and then started sticking out his tongue to lick the plate like a kitten. After licking the plate, she leaned back on the chair very content and burped. At this time, Thanos and Tony just finished their meal. The two wiped their mouths with a tissue, put on their suit jackets and golden helmets, and prepared to leave. Let's go Tony, see you another day. Well, see you another day. After Thanos said goodbye to Tony, he walked directly into the dimensional channel and returned to the Marvel world. Boss, I'm leaving too. Tomorrow I'm going to Asia to sell Jericho missiles, so I guess I won't be able to come over for dinner. During this period, if Brother Thanos comes to eat, the cost will be charged to me. Before Tony left, he instructed Guo Huang, and then stepped into the Dimension Passage. Since he is going to fly to other countries to sell missiles tomorrow, he may not be able to return to the villa in time to enter the Dimension Channel at night. After listening to Tony's words, Guo Huang was stunned. Jericho Missile Isn't that the missile from Iron Man 1? According to the plot, Tony will be kidnapped by terrorists on the way to sell missiles, and then meet Ethan in a cave. It seems that within a few days, Tony will successfully transform into Iron Man. In this way, the plot progress of the Marvel world will take off, and it will soon reach the period of the Avengers. I really don't know, if Tony learns the identity of Thanos, what kind of expression will he show? Ding! Reminder, the Dimension Passage will be closed in three minutes, 
please organize the guests to leave the restaurant in an orderly manner. Suddenly, the system's prompt sounded from the minds of Guohuang, Itachi, Jishue, and Abito. After the sound ended, Abito and Shirsue immediately walked in front of Ari. In the Dimension restaurant, Ali was the only one left. Miss, it's time for you to go back to your original world, we'll be closing soon. Ji Shue patted Ali on the shoulder and politely asked Ali to leave. Ari's eyes widened, showing a very reluctant expression. What? Want me to go back to my original world? Why am I going back? Go back and keep eating that shit. What a joke. And after going back, maybe there is no chance to come here. By that time, wouldn't my mother never be able to eat such delicious food again? No. I can't go. Thinking of this, Ali began to shake his head desperately. For her now, Guo Huang's dishes are her life. After tasting such delicious food, she couldn't live without Guo Huang's dishes. Anyway, Ari has nothing to worry about in Valoran, let alone no family. Even if I go back, I will spend my days alone in the deep mountains and old forests. Why don't you stay in the Dimension restaurant, you can eat delicious food every day, isn't this kind of life a hundred times happier than before? After making up his mind, Ali ignored Abitu and Jishue next to him, and got up and walked towards Guo Huang. Little brother, is there any shortage of people in your store? My sister suddenly doesn't want to leave. I want to stay here. Ali stopped and began to ask Guo Huang to let her stay. Since Ari believed that Guo Huang was gay, she did not charm Guo Huang this time, but asked Guo Huang with a sincere attitude. Ha! Huh. Stay here. Guo Huang was stunned when he heard Ari's request, how could this guy still stay? To be honest, Guo Huang didn't really want to agree to Ari's request. Because the system has never said whether guests from other worlds can stay in the restaurant. In addition, with Mikoto and Kuriko serving as waiters, Guo Huang is not short of people at present. Even if Ari was left behind, there was nothing that could be left to her. Her only benefit should be to help the restaurant attract customers. If there is a stunner like Ari staying in the restaurant, as long as it is a man, he can't help but come to the Dimension restaurant to take a look. Guo Huang is certain of this. If it wasn't for his systemic immunity, even Guo Huang himself would have been charmed by Ari. So Guo Huang began to ask the system if he could let Ali stay. System, if guests from other worlds don't want to go back, can they live in the Dimension restaurant? Can. She can stay in the restaurant as long as the guest is willing. But the premise is that she must do something for the restaurant during this period, and she can't live in vain. After getting the answer from the system, Guo Huang finally made a decision. In that case, let Ari stay in the restaurant and see how much she can contribute to the restaurant. If it doesn't work, it's not too late to throw her back to Valoran Continent in two days. Okay, I approve. Abito, you will find a room upstairs for her to clean up and let her stay with us for two days. Ah, uh, I know the boss. Abito nodded and took Guo Huang's order. He he, little brother, you are so kind. Seeing that Guo Huang agreed, Ali let out a sultry laugh with her Yu Jiein, and followed Abito up the second floor. However, not long after Ari left, Madara just returned to the restaurant from outside. Seeing Ban come back, Guo Huang hurriedly asked, Ban, how is it? Is everything done? I saw Madara clasping her chest with her arms, and said coldly, that's natural, I'll wait until tomorrow to see how it works. After listening to Madara's words, Guo Huang felt very satisfied. By tomorrow, there will be no shortage of guests. Nice job, you guys wait, I'll go and cook two dishes for everyone to celebrate in advance. Guo Huang turned around and walked into the kitchen, ready to cook for everyone. Itachi, Jishue, Mikoto, and Kuriko were all puzzled, how could Guo Huang suddenly become so happy? Kuriko and Mikoto who were planning to go back to school immediately stopped. It won't take long for Guo Huang to come out with the dishes, and the free food will not be eaten for nothing. Chapter 36 The next morning, the residents of Academy City woke up one after another. After a simple wash, those who should go to work go to work, and those who should go to school go to school. But there is one thing people can't avoid, and that is eating breakfast. In order to be in a hurry, people come to the downtown block early to prepare a full meal. But after arriving at the place, all the restaurants have disappeared. 
Only a large piece of ruins and leaflets on the ground came into view. Fuck. Where's Lao Tzu's shop? The owner of a certain restaurant stood in front of the ruins, looking at all this in disbelief. Why? The signs in this ruins are so familiar. Isn't TM my shop? How did it become like this? Damn it. Who did this Nima? A large group of bosses fell to their knees one after another, looking at the ruins in front of them with despair on their faces. All the restaurants in the academy city turned into ruins overnight. Not only the bosses were stunned, but also the guests who came to eat specially. No one knew what happened last night. Just when the bosses couldn't accept it, the onlookers turned around and left, looking for other places to eat. For the guests, the restaurant has nothing to do with them. It's not that their store is gone, the big deal is to find another place to eat. However, just as the guests were looking for the restaurant, a voice suddenly caught everyone's attention. Hey, take a look, what are the flyers on the ground? After hearing the sound, people looked down at the flyers on the ground together. Out of curiosity, they began to bend over to pick up the flyer. When I lifted it up, I saw that the four characters of Dimension Restaurant were written on the flyer. And the specific address of the restaurant is also clearly depicted on the flyer. Dimension Restaurant, hello, have you heard of this place? No, I didn't even know there was a restaurant called Dimension Restaurant in Academy City. Anyway, it's still early for work, why don't you go and have a meal before leaving? Okay, okay, let's go together then. After reading the flyer, people turned around and walked away according to the address above. Everyone's walking routes are very uniform, and they all go to the Dimension Restaurant. At the same time, in the Dimension Restaurant, Itachi, Madara, Shirsue, and Abito got up early and came to the door of the restaurant. Only Guo Huang and Ali were still sleeping in their respective rooms. Abito, who was wearing an orange mask, yawned and looked at Madara with some dissatisfaction. When they came out, they were all shouted by banana. Jishue also said suspiciously, Madara, it's only five o'clock in the morning. What are you doing up so early? There are no guests. Since Shirsue, Abito, and Itachi didn't know what Madara did yesterday, they didn't understand why Madara got up so early, and they called them. Madara smiled mysteriously and said, no guests. Just wait, there will be a large number of guests coming later. After Madara finished speaking, a series of black question marks appeared on the foreheads of Shirsue, Abito, and Itachi. Will there be a large group of guests? Are you kidding me? Since we came to Dimension Restaurant, we have been busy inside and out for four days, and we haven't seen a few customers coming. As a result, you are now telling us that there will be a large number of guests coming soon. Did you have a problem with your brain that was punished by the system a few days ago? Facing the puzzled gazes of Shirsue, Abito, and Itachi, there was a smug smile at the corner of Ban's mouth. Since the three of them are so curious, Madara will explain it to them. Don't doubt my words, there will definitely be a large number of guests coming. Because there are no other hotels in this city except us, I destroyed all the hotels that I traveled with last night. After Madara finished explaining, Shirsue, Abito, and Itachi were all stunned. After reacting, Itachi muttered, that is to say, now people have to come to our dimensional restaurant as long as they want to eat. Shirsue and Abito also showed very surprised eyes, and suddenly felt that their future was bright. Brother Ness, your wave of show is 2 tm, it's a show. I saw Abito patted Ban's shoulder and praised, as expected of Mr. Ban, you did a beautiful job. Shirsue also gave Madara a thumbs up and called out, brother, steady. The two began to lick their spots like licking a dog, changing their previous attitude. However, just as the four of them were chatting, a large group of people suddenly appeared on the street in the distance. It was so dark that I could see the number of people clearly. Everyone, look at it. Shishue pointed at the people in the distance in disbelief and exclaimed, even Madara was dumbfounded. Because there are too many people in this group, it is conservatively estimated that there must be at least nearly a thousand people. Everyone came to have breakfast specially according to the address on the flyer. At the same time, people in the distance are also observing the Dimension Restaurant in front of them. After the system upgrade, the appearance of Dimension Restaurant has been much better, so most people's first impression of the restaurant is quite good. What are you still doing? Go and tell the boss to get up. 
Abido recovered from the shock and began to remind everyone to call Guohuan. Hearing this, Itachi and Zebra turned around and ran to the second floor to the door of Guohuang's room. Later, Ban Fei kicked Guohuang's door open and walked in with Itachi. Boss, get up. Hurry up. There are guests here. As soon as they came in, Itachi and Madara tore off Guohuang's quilt and patted Guohuang's shoulder hard. Under the tossing of the two, Guohuang slowly opened his confused eyes. Ha! Huh. What time is it? and there are guests coming. I saw Guo Huang rubbed his eyes, looked at the alarm clock next to him, and found that it was only five o'clock in the morning. How many guests can come at this time? So, Guo Huang sat up unhurriedly, ready to take a shower before going to greet the guests. Seeing Guo Huang's lazy appearance, Itachi and Madara hurriedly shouted. Boss, hurry up. There are hundreds of guests waiting for you downstairs. As soon as the words fell, Guo Huang's eyes widened instantly and turned to look at Itachi and Madara. He almost doubted his ears, did he hear it wrong? Chapter 37 After Madara and Itachi explained the situation, Guo Huang immediately realized the seriousness of the matter. So, Guo Huang hurriedly changed into his clothes, forgot to wash his hands, and rushed out of the door to the first floor. At this moment, in the hall on the first floor, under the hospitality of Abitu and Shushue, hundreds of guests began to enter the Dimension restaurant one after another. Since there are so many of them, they can't come in all at once. Only more than dot people can come in first, and the rest of the guests are standing in line at the door of the Dimension restaurant. Although they failed to enter the restaurant, they did not leave. After all, the entire Academy City is the only place to eat in the Dimension restaurant, and they have nowhere else to go. Anyway, it's still early before work time, so it's better to wait. After a few seconds, Guo Huang went down the stairs and came to the first floor. Afterwards, Guo Huang was stunned by the sight in front of him. Lying. Trough. Looking at the hall full of guests and the guests standing in line at the door, Guo Huang was shocked. Last night Guo Huang knew that there would be a lot of people coming today, but he didn't expect so many people to come. After reacting, Guo Huang's heart instantly felt ecstasy, this Nima was just about to take off. With these guests, the Dimension restaurant will surely flourish. Because as long as people eat Guo Huang's dishes, they will be addicted to the taste of the dishes and become loyal repeat customers of the restaurant. Guo Huang said that in this case, if the business is not hot, I will eat Alila's shit directly. Everyone, please find a chair and sit down, our boss will be here soon. Shi Shui is among the guests, entertaining guests while making tea for them. And Abido also picked up a bunch of menus from the front desk and put them on the guests' tables one by one. A customer opened the menu, glanced at it casually, and prepared to order two dishes to try. But the moment he opened the menu, his complexion suddenly changed, and the whole person was not well. What the hell? Even the cheapest dish costs dot yen. I saw the guest slam the table and looked very angry. As soon as these words came out, other guests also looked at the menu in their hands. After watching the menu, all the guests present were angry. Damn it! Is your dish made of gold? It's so expensive. When we are fools. Isn't this a clear sign that you want to cheat people? It's really a black shop. Under the anger of the guests, there was a scolding voice in the hall. The customers standing in line outside the restaurant were also stunned. How dare the food here be so expensive? Is the boss crazy? One emotional guest even smashed the menu on Jishue's face on the spot and started yelling. A black shop like you will close down sooner or later. I, Miyamoto Jingza, starve to death. I will never eat any of your food. After the guest named Miyamoto Saizawa finished scolding, he turned around and walked out of the Dimension restaurant. Under his leadership, the rest of the guests also threw away the menus and prepared to leave. Although Shirsui and Abido stepped forward and tried their best to stop them, they still couldn't stop this group of angry customers. After seeing this scene, Guo Huang panicked. It's just such an opportunity to make a fortune, but don't let the duck with its mouth fly. As a result, Guo Huang immediately went over to stop the customer in person. However, just as Guo Huang was about to do this, a very tempting Yujie's voice suddenly sounded behind Guo Huang. Aha it's so early in the morning, why is it so noisy? 
On the stairs, Ali yawned as he walked into the hall and stretched. A few minutes ago, the noise in the hall woke her up. After hearing Ari's Ujia's voice, all the male compatriots present felt numb. Afterwards, the customers lining up in the hall and at the door turned their heads to look at Ali. Ari's seductive face and figure, as well as her naturally charming temperament, made everyone stunned. Even female customers cannot escape the charm of Ari. Did not expect this world, there is such a superb. Simply a stunner. As for Ari's tail, the guests regarded it as a decoration. Immediately afterwards, the group of guests who were about to leave the restaurant were silent one by one, because they were reluctant to leave. After seeing this, Guo Huang finally breathed a sigh of relief and turned around to give Ari a thumbs up. Fortunately, Ali was allowed to stay last night, otherwise Guo Huang would have been hard enough to keep this group of guests. Please don't think that the food is very expensive. I promise that all the food here is worth the money. If you think the food is not worth the price after eating the food, then I will immediately give you a free order. While the customers were stunned, Guo Huang hurriedly shouted loudly. After Guo Huang shouted like this, people came back to their senses and looked at the menu on the ground again. Free if you think it's not worth the price. And such a good thing. If this is the case, after Lao Tzu finishes eating, he can let the boss waive the order by saying that it is not delicious. In this way, you can not only have a free meal, but also enjoy the beautiful women up close, why not do it? Guo Huang's words have obviously moved the hearts of this group of customers. A white-collar worker who doesn't seem to be bad for money sat down on the chair again and said arrogantly, Boss, this is what you said, bring me all the dishes on the menu. After the white-collar worker finished speaking, he continued to look at Ali slyly. With the beginning of the white-collar workers, the rest of the guests also began to sit back in their chairs to order food. Itachi and Shushue hurried forward and recorded what the guests ordered with their notebooks. Abito also placed the drink on each guest's table, only Madara still stood there and didn't move. After the guests finished ordering, Itachi handed the book in his hand to Guo Huang. Wait a minute, everyone, I'll serve you food right away. Guo Huang took the book, turned around and walked into the kitchen, preparing to cook for the guests. Itachi, Shirsui, and Abito continued to entertain guests in the hall. Chapter 38 In the kitchen, Guo Huang is cooking for customers. Although the number of guests is large, this is not a problem for Guo Huang at all. Boss, do you need help? At this time, Itachi walked into the kitchen from the hall, and seemed a little worried about whether Guo Huang could cook so many dishes in a short time. No, just stay there and watch my show. Guo Huang decisively rejected Itachi's kindness, opened the warehouse in the kitchen, and began to select ingredients. Soon, Guo Huang walked out of the warehouse with a large pile of ingredients, and then sliced the ingredients with extremely fast knife work. He put the cut ingredients into a super large pot and started frying the big pot of rice. This pot is really big, and it can make hundreds of people at one time. And with the blessing of the strongest culinary skills in the universe, even if it is a big pot of rice, Guo Huang can fry the previous effect. It does not affect the taste and taste of the dish. Even if there are nearly dot guests, Guo Huang can make the dishes they ordered in a very short time. Looking at Guo Huang's cauldron, the weasel was dumbfounded. This wave of operations is simply a show, and it can be used to describe it. At the same time, in the hall. Ali was sitting at the front desk, biting his fingernails and playing boredly. While the guests were staring at Ari intently, no man could look away. Faced with such naked eyes, Ali did not feel any discomfort, she had long been used to it. At the door of the restaurant, Madara folded her arms and leaned against the corner of the wall with a cold face, not looking at Ari's beauty. Although Ali's appearance is indeed amazing, but who is Bani? He's an old virgin who's been single for hundreds of years. For women, Banyi is not at all interested, his temperament has long been tempered. Therefore, any beautiful woman is a shit-like existence in front of Mr. Ban. However, Banyi doesn't like to see beautiful women, it doesn't mean that other men don't like to see beautiful women. At this time, a few guests who were standing in line at the door kept squeezing forward, wanting to appreciate the beauty of Ari's flourishing age. But their vision was blocked by Madara, which made them very uncomfortable. Hey! Kill Matt over there. Can you get away? That's right, don't stop here, you non-mainstream. 
It's all preventing us from seeing beautiful women. That's right, it's a native turtle from the countryside. You don't want to ask about it. Where does anyone still have this hairstyle? The guests couldn't help but say that they came up with a mockery. Madara slowly raised his head and looked at the customer beside him with a bit of confusion. It took a few seconds for Madara to realize that the group of people were talking about herself. Looking at the confused look, Jishue and Abito laughed unkindly by hiding aside. You. Seek death. I saw the blue veins on Madara's forehead bursting out, and there was endless killing intent in his eyes. Back then in Naruto world, Madame Ban had been walking sideways, and anyone who saw him would have to shy away, panicking. But in the forbidden world, he was insulted every day, and any cat or dog dared to come and provoke him. This made Banny's anger to the extreme, and he even wanted to pull out the guys who insulted him in front of him to be executed Ling Chi this hairstyle is called Battlefield Rose. What you want is to be elegant, you know. You know what a fucking haircut. Madara stared at the guest in front of him, and approached with murderous intent. Seeing such a terrifying madam, the previous swearing customers all began to back away subconsciously, their expressions full of fear. Fuck. At this time, Shirsue and Nabito discovered Madara's murderous aura in time, so the two hurried over. Papa, calm down. Don't be impulsive. Beating a customer is punishable. Do you still want to be stripped to the public? Shirshue tried his best to hug Madara's body and didn't let him go any further. Abito covered Madara's mouth to prevent Madara from saying something abusive to the guests. The two dragged Ban like this, and slowly returned to the dining room, pulling Ban into the corner. Until Madame Ban left, the guests were still shivering. However, at this moment, Itachi and Guo Huang also came out of the kitchen with dishes. Since the dishes were not covered with an iron cover this time, the aroma of the dishes permeated the entire hall in an instant. Smelling this fragrance, Ali immediately recalled the smell of last night, and she almost drooled. Ali, Ban, Abito, Shushue, hurry up and serve the plate, there are still many dishes in the kitchen. Guo Huang walked up to Ali, reminded everyone, and then put the dishes in his hands on the white-collar dining table. Just smelling this aroma, the guests had a great appetite and couldn't help swallowing. No way, this aroma is too domineering, the guests who were still peeking at Ari have begun to shift their attention to the dishes. It smells good, it looks good. Looking at the shredded pork with green peppers and maple tofu in front of him, the white-collar worker also became restless. He picked up his chopsticks and put a piece of shredded pork into his mouth. The next second, the white-collar's pupils shrank suddenly, the whole person was stunned for a moment, and the chopsticks in his hand fell to the ground. A few seconds later, he still did not move, which caused the rest of the guests to be very confused. 2. So delicious. Suddenly, the white-collar worker stood up and shouted, his expression was very excited, which startled all the guests around him. Afterwards, the white-collar workers didn't even pick up the chopsticks on the ground, they just put their face on the plate to eat, not paying attention to their image. After seeing the exaggerated behavior of the white-collar workers, the guests were dumbfounded. I go. This dude is too savage to eat, right? Is it really that delicious? Is it an actor invited by the restaurant owner? It's a bit too exaggerated. After seeing white-collar food, the guests were full of curiosity about the dishes on the table. As a result, people moved their chopsticks one after another and put freshly baked meals into their mouths. Afterwards, everyone showed a very exaggerated expression just like the white-collar workers just now. In an instant, the praise came out of his mouth. My God! It's so delicious! It's incredible! I've never had such a delicious dish! You can eat this kind of food for tens of thousands of yen! It's a good deal! After the guests finished speaking, they continued eating like crazy. At this moment, only Guo Huang's dishes were in their eyes, and everything in the outside world had nothing to do with them. Seeing that everyone's reaction was so intense, the guests standing in line outside were almost crying. If one person may be acting, then if so many people are added together, it must not be acting. So this dish must be super delicious. Chapter 39 After two hours passed, all the guests in the Dimension restaurant were full, and then left with a satisfied look. 
Now, the employees of Dimension Restaurant are picking up the pieces. Itachi and Shoshue wiped the table with a rag, Abito was mopping the floor, and Ari stayed in the kitchen washing dishes. Even Madara couldn't be idle, and was sent by Guo Huang to clean up the kitchen. Looking at the scene in front of him, Guo Huang couldn't stop laughing. According to Itachi's statistics, the Dimension Restaurant received more than dot guests this morning. Before leaving, all the guests were full of praise for Guo Huang's dishes, and threatened to come over after work. And at Guo Huang's request, every guest exchanged mobile phone numbers with Guo Huang and left their home addresses. Guo Huang told customers that if you don't have time to eat, just make a phone call and our staff will deliver the dishes for free. The customers were very pleasantly surprised to learn that the Dimension Restaurant actually had a takeaway service, and they agreed to Guo Huang one after another. They said that when they go back, they will definitely promote Guo Huang's restaurant, so that more people will come to Dimension Restaurant to eat. Recalling this, Guo Huang couldn't help laughing again. He knew that from today onwards, the rhythm of the Dimension Restaurant would take off completely. In the future, Guo Huang will no longer have to worry about customer problems, and he will make endless money every day. As for those peers, let them eat shit. Even if the colleagues rebuilt the hotel, they would not be eligible to grab guests from Guo Huang. After tasting the dishes made by Guo Huang, the food in other restaurants is just shit for the guests, okay? This is the absolute crushing of cooking skills. Are you kidding me with the strongest cooking skills in the universe? Boss, it's almost done. After Zhishui finished wiping the table, he looked at Guo Huang with anticipation. Because Guo Huang's fried rice, there is still a lot left, enough for several people to eat again. So Zhishui stared at those leftovers and wanted to eat one. Boss, for the sake of our hard work in the morning, why don't you give us the rest of the dishes? At this time, Abito also began to beg for food with Guo Huang. That's right, it's not only Shirsui who is staring at those leftovers, Abito and Weasel also want to eat them. Since they tasted those dishes last night, this group of Uchiha spirit boys have all fallen in love with the taste. After listening to Abito's request, Guo Huang nodded happily. Okay, there's a lot left in the kitchen, enough for us all to eat together, come with me. After Guo Huang finished speaking, he turned and walked towards the kitchen with a smile. Shu Shui, Abito, and Itachi couldn't wait to follow. However, when they happily walked into the kitchen, they were instantly stunned. Because in the kitchen, Ari and Banyu were stealing food with chopsticks and had already eaten all the rice in the pot. You. You. Guo Huang looked at Ah Li and Banyu in front of him with a bewildered face, not knowing what to say. He he, I'm sorry little brother, my sister was really hungry just now, so I couldn't hold back. I saw Ali touched his belly contentedly and smiled at Guo Huang. And Banyi threw away the chopsticks a little embarrassed, turned around and continued to clean the kitchen, as if nothing happened. Seeing Madame Madara's reaction, Shirsui and Abito could not wait to slap him in the face. This TM is enough for several people. It was stolen by the two of you in this way. Even Guo Huang wanted to press Madame Ban to the ground and beat him up, I told you to clean up the kitchen. Didn't let you clean up the dishes too. Just when Guo Huang was about to go crazy, the voice of a guest suddenly came from outside. Hey, is anyone there? Where's the boss? I want to order. Like the previous people, this customer also picked up flyers from the city center and came to the Dimension restaurant to eat. Take care of you two later. After hearing the guest's voice, Guo Huang could only give up and turn around and go to the lobby to entertain the guests. A few hours later, it was already one o'clock in the afternoon. In a comic store in Academy City, Makoto was hiding in the corner reading a book about an urban legend about human clones. This is Makoto's hobby. She likes to read books for free in comic stores and never buys them. Kuriko covered his forehead, squatted beside him bored, and stared blankly at Makoto. Today Tokuwadai finally had a holiday again, and Kuriko wanted Makoto to go shopping with him. But who knows, Makoto got into the comic shop and stayed there for several hours. Sister, you have been here for a long time, and you have to go to work in Brother Itachi's shop in the afternoon. If you don't go shopping, it will be too late. Wait a minute, this book about human clones is very interesting, I want to finish it before leaving. Mikoto ignored Kuriko and continued to watch the urban legend in her hand with gusto. Really, isn't it clones? 
what's so good about this theme? Kuriko sighed impatiently, not understanding Mikoto's hobbies. Not long after, Kuriko suddenly asked curiously, by the way, if one day, Elder Sister encounters her own clone, what will Elder Elder Sister do? Eh. When Kuriko asked such a question, Mikoto was a little stunned, showing a bewildered expression. What if you meet your own clone one day? To be honest, Mikoto didn't know either. I probably. Hope that she. Disappears from my presence. After some thoughtful thinking, Mikoto finally gave her answer. Human clones make my scalp tingle just thinking about it. I believe that no one wants to have clones around. However, just as Mikoto answered Kuriko, a short-haired girl suddenly passed by the manga store. The girl had brown hair and was wearing a Tokuwadai school uniform, causing Mikoto's eyes to widen instantly. Because this girl actually looks exactly like her. That's right, this person is Misaka's sister who rushed to participate in the experiment. So Mikoto put down the book in her hand and immediately opened the door and ran out. Sister. Kuriko was taken aback by Mikoto's sudden action and was very puzzled. Ha. Huh. What about people? When Mikoto ran out of the manga store, the Misaka sister just now disappeared. What's the matter? Elder sister. At this time, Kuriko also walked out of the manga shop and started asking Mikoto. No it's fine, maybe I'm dazzled. Mikoto shook her head, ignoring what happened just now, thinking that she was wrong. At the same time, in a small alley next to the comic store. Accelerator with a bandage wrapped around his waist was sitting in the corner, staring at Misakasen in front of him. The .th experiment can be started, beep, Misaka said seriously. Sister Misaka took out the gun from the guitar case and calmly aimed at Accelerator. Chapter 40 At 5 o'clock in the afternoon, the Dimension restaurant was already full of people. Since the restaurants in Student City were in ruins, the guests could only come to the Dimension restaurant for dinner. During this period, many people left because they were dissatisfied with the price of the restaurant. Those who stayed were all local tyrants, and there were a lot of them. After widespread communication among customers, almost all the local tyrants in the student city knew about Dimension Restaurant. This matter spread 10, 10 and 100, and soon caused a sensation in the entire academy city. Now, everyone knows that there is such a restaurant, the dishes are very delicious, and you can admire top beauties in the restaurant. This led to a large number of rich people who came here especially to taste Guo Huang's dishes, and by the way to see beautiful women. So far, more than dot people have come to Dimension Restaurant to dine. Is this the restaurant you speak of? Mmm, the food inside is delicious, let's go in. I saw two customers walking towards the Dimension Restaurant while chatting. Juan. Welcome. Bani, who was standing guard at the door, opened his mouth with difficulty and reluctantly welcomed the guests. This welcome was specially ordered by Guo Huang. Guo Huang said that everyone will shout this sentence when they see guests in the future. Damn it, what's with this guy's hair? It's so long. This kind of person looks like a turtle at first sight. Leave him alone and go eat quickly. When the two customers saw Madara, they sneered casually, and then walked into the restaurant. After listening to the customer's words, Madara suddenly became furious. If he had followed his previous temper, he would have chopped up these two customers with one knife. But now, for the sake of points, Madame Ban can only hold back. And Madara was almost used to the taunting of guests. Because from morning till now, almost every customer who saw Madara would complain about his hairstyle. After listening to it more, Madara naturally began to take the words of the guests as fart. Grandpa's hairstyle is very fashionable, and this group of mortals can't appreciate it at all. At this time, Mikoto and Kuriko also finished shopping and came to the door of the Dimension Restaurant. Seeing the crowded restaurant, both Mikoto and Kuriko widened their eyes. How is this going? We haven't been here for just a day and the restaurant has taken off. Is business so hot? Humph, you two girls are finally here, hurry in and help, Itachi and Jishue are already too busy. Madara noticed Kuriko and Mikoto, and immediately motioned them to go in and help. So, the two walked into the restaurant with a confused look on their faces. What would you like to eat, please? I saw that in the restaurant, Ji Shui was holding a list in one hand and a pen in the other, recording what the guests ordered. 
Today, Shushue is not too tired, and is called to and from like an animal. Your consumption this time is dot yen. This is your money. Itachi stood at the front desk, counting money intently with a riding wheel, and customers kept going to Itachi to check out. After a long time counting money, Itachi's eyes even started to bloodshot. This is for you, please take it slow. And Ali came out of the kitchen with the dishes and brought them to the guest's table. Facing the eyes of the guest say Mimi, Ali not only did not dodge, but instead gave the guest a wink. After seeing this scene, Makoto and Kuriko's mouths grew wide, showing disbelief. Is this really the dimensional restaurant they know? Why is it so hot all of a sudden? How did Guo Huang do it? However, just as Makoto and Kuriko looked around, the guests next to them also noticed them. This. Isn't this Tokawadai's school uniform? Even Tokawadai's eldest lady came to eat here. Yo, it's really Tokawadai's school uniform. It's really a rare encounter, it's almost rare to meet such a young lady on the street. The arrival of Makoto immediately attracted the attention of the guests. Since LVE5's information is strictly confidential, the guests did not recognize the identity of Makoto's railgun. Otherwise, people would definitely be more excited than they are now. Hearing the noise of the guests, Guo Huang, who was still cooking, immediately walked out of the restaurant. Why did you two come? Hurry up and help Jishui entertain the guests. When Guo Huang saw Mikoto and Kuriko, he unceremoniously ordered them to go to work. After listening to Guo Huang's words, the two immediately recovered and went to help Jishui. Only then did the guests understand that Kuriko and Mikoto didn't come to eat, but to serve them. I'll go, this boss is so good, he can actually let the eldest lady from Tokawadai work for him. That's right. It is said that Tokawadai's students are all spoiled and very difficult to get along with. It's incredible to have them work part-time. This trip didn't come in vain. The eldest lady from Tokawadai brought me tea and water. Going back is enough for me to brag about it with my brothers. When the guests said this, they were all excited. Mikoto and Kuriko instantly felt a chill, this group of customers was really scary. However, just when Mikoto and Kuriko were busy, a black space whirlpool suddenly appeared in the Dimension restaurant. Then, a Beto wearing an orange mask was released by the Vortex. Itachi, the dishes have been delivered to the guests, and this is the money they gave. Abito put the money in his pocket on the front desk, took off his mask and drank a glass of water. Obviously, he just came back after delivery. Wait a while and rest. Just now, another customer called to place an order. The location is the central hospital. You should send it to the customer first. Itachi put the money into the cashier, and handed Abito a bag of packaged shredded green peppers. Alas, 300 orders in just two hours is outrageous. Abito took the green pepper shredded pork with a helpless look on his face, activated Shen Wei again to disappear in the Dimension restaurant, and continued to deliver food to the guests. Mikoto and Kuriko were completely stunned. What happened when they were not in the restaurant? Chapter 41 At 9 o'clock in the evening, the Dimension restaurant finally came to closing time. Mikoto and Kuriko, who had been busy for a few hours, slumped on the ground tiredly, with unrequited expressions on their faces. Even Shushue and Itachi felt a little back pain, one can imagine how busy they are today. It's so tiring. There are too many guests today. But as long as big sister and big brother Itachi are with Kuriko, no matter how tired you are, Kuriko will be happy. Kuriko wiped the sweat from his forehead with his hand, and looked at Mikoto and Itachi beside him with a blushing face. On the other hand, Mikoto and Itachi were full of disgust, and immediately stepped back two steps away from Kuriko. Ha ha ha, Itachi, why are you backing away? It's rare that a little girl likes you so much, and you don't show it. Seeing the embarrassment on Itachi's face, Shushue couldn't help but make a joke. To be honest, Shushue doesn't actually hate Kuriko, it's the first time she has met a girl as interesting as Kuriko. So, Jishue continued to joke, little girl, if you want to chase Weasel, make him a three-color ball tomorrow. Itachi likes sweets very much. As if inspired, Kuriko immediately nodded and cast a grateful look at Jishue. Oh, it turns out that brother Itachi likes sweets, so Kuriko will make sweets for brother Itachi every day from now on. 
After Kuriko finished speaking, he looked at Itachi with an idiotic smile. She didn't expect that Itachi, who is so old, actually likes sweets. It seems that Jishue really gave Kuriko a very important piece of information. Jishue, why are you making a fool of yourself? Itachi frowned in displeasure, dissatisfied with Shishue's joke. It was impossible for him and Kuriko, and the age gap was too great. Pfft, sorry, sorry, I won't make fun of you. I saw Jishue chuckle softly, no longer making jokes about Itachi. Abito and Madara, on the other hand, folded their arms around their chests and looked at Shirsue with contempt. This guy actually had a chat with a female doll, who really lost the Uchiha clan. Don't you know that the people of the Uchiha family are all paralyzed faces and high-cold male gods? Instead, you show a sunny smile all day long, which is not at all in line with the cold temperament of the Uchiha family. If you don't have those pair of riding wheel eyes, I suspect that you are from the Whirlpool family. Ding! Attention employees! The dimensional channel will open in three seconds. Please show your greatest enthusiasm to entertain guests. Suddenly, the system's prompt sounded from the heads of Guohuang, Madara, Abido, Itachi, and Shishue. Then, a glowing white hole suddenly appeared in the Dimension restaurant. As soon as it was opened, Thanos couldn't wait to walk out of the dimensional channel. This made Guohuang a little surprised, Thanos came early enough this time. Hi uncle, see you again. Seeing Thanos, Ali hurriedly greeted him with her seductive Yujia voice. Boss, please order all the dishes on the menu. Thanos ignored Ari and went straight to the chair after ordering. Tony had already told Thanos about the credit card, so he wasn't worried about money at all. Wait, I'll do it with you right now. Guo Huang lit a cigarette, turned and walked into the kitchen to prepare dinner for Thanos. Out of curiosity, Ali also entered the kitchen with Guo Huang. She wanted to see how Guo Huang cooked. However, not long after Guo Huang and Ali entered the kitchen, a carefree voice sounded from the dimension passage. Sanji, let me tell you, this is the shop. The owner's food is even better than yours. With the sound, a scarred-faced boy in a red coat and a straw hat walked into the dimension restaurant. That's right, this boy is Luffy. And behind Luffy, there are Sanji, Zoro, Nami, Usopp. A few days ago, Luffy had been busy recruiting companions, so he didn't have time to eat at the Dimension restaurant. During this period, he not only successfully invited Zoro, Sanji, Nami, and Usopp to join the Straw Hat Pirates, but also defeated the Murloc Aaron in Hokoja Village. Soon, Chopper, Robin, Frankie, and Brooke will join Luffy's Straw Hat Pirates. Itachi and Shirsue saw Luffy and the others coming, and hurried over to receive them. Mikoto and Kuriko, who had been slumped on the ground, also stood up and picked up the menu from the front desk. Luffy, is this the shop you've been mentioning to me? After arriving at the Dimension restaurant, Sanji looked at the surrounding hall curiously, as did Nami, Zoro, and Usopp. At the beginning, Luffy had already mentioned the Dimension restaurant to them, but they all thought Luffy was a liar. As long as you enter a white hole, you can reach another place in an instant. Such rhetoric sounds like falsehood. But now, with the facts in front of them, Sanji and Zoro had to believe it. Welcome, what would you like to eat? Shishue came to Luffy and politely asked for his opinion. Kuriko and Mikoto took five menus and handed them to Luffy, Zoro and others. Well. Such a cute little girl. Sanji was a little surprised when he saw Kuriko and Mikoto, but he quickly calmed down. Although Sanji is an LSP, only mature women can make his heart move. For women of Makoto's and Kuriko's age, Sanji doesn't have much interest in them. Hey Nami, you agreed to treat yourself. I'm welcome. Luffy took the menu quickly and couldn't wait to order two dishes to try. Just remembering the taste of that plate of green pepper shredded pork made Luffy feel compelled to stop. After they all took over the menu, the Japanese yen on the menu automatically changed to Bailey. Oh, I really can't help you. Nami sighed and slowly raised the menu in her hand. Now that you've come, let's just try these dishes that Luffy never forgets. In fact, Nami, Zoro, and Usopp are also very curious in their hearts. In Luffy's mouth, the boss who is better at cooking than Sanji, what is the taste of the dishes? However, the moment she opened the menu, the curiosity in Nami's eyes instantly turned to shock. 
Chapter 42 A Dish of Dot Baileys What are you kidding? Nami's eyes widened, staring at the price on the menu. According to the temper of a miser like Nami, she froze on the spot. Oh, what does it matter, Nami, you have too many Baileys on you anyway. Luffy didn't care about the shock on Nami's face at all, but looked at Itachi and Abito. In this way, let the boss make me a copy of all the dishes on the menu. After Luffy ordered, he returned the menu to Kuriko, and rubbed his hands impatiently. Me too, serve all the dishes. Zoro also started ordering with Luffy, after all he came here to taste the food. As for Bailey or not, Sauron doesn't care. After seeing the actions of Luffy and Zoro, Nami trembled with anger. Can you order a dish priced at Dot Bailey? These two bastards, is Bailey, who is really a mother, brought by the strong wind. Even if the food here is really better than Sanji's, it's not worth the price. You two idiots. Can't you see that they are a black shop? I saw Nami suddenly stepped forward, and flew out and kicked Luffy and Zoro on the back. Puff. Well. After Luffy and Zoro were kicked, they flew out like cannonballs, hitting the wall heavily, and they rolled around holding their waists in pain. After seeing the tragic situation of Luffy and Zoro, Kuriko and Shursui consciously took two steps away from Nami. I didn't expect this girl who looked gentle on the outside to be so violent, even more ruthless than Makoto. Hey, ha. Huh. This price is really too expensive. As a chef, this kind of behavior is deceiving customers. The boss here is not worthy of being a chef at all. At this time, Sanji took a cigarette and showed a look of disdain, as if he was despising the prices on the menu. For Sanji, the chef must have a bottom line. At this price, Sanji wouldn't eat even the best food. Hearing that Sanji dared to speak rudely to Guo Huang, Madame Ban frowned on the spot. Boy, what did you just say? The next second, Madame Madara opened his samsara eyes instantly and stared straight at Sanji. Humph, our boss is also a person who can make comments on your own. If you can't afford to eat, just say it. Abito also opened the kaleidoscope writing will I, revealing a murderous look in his eyes. Looking into the eyes of the two, Sanji's forehead suddenly shed a cold sweat, and his legs trembled subconsciously. Just staring at these two pairs of eyes made Sanji full of stress and chills down his spine. Not only Sanji, but also Nami, Usopp, Luffy, and Zoro felt fear at the same time. Good. A strong sense of oppression. Zoro immediately drew out the samurai sword from his waist, and his eyes became very vigilant. Wow. It's dead now. It's all your fault, Sanji. You have to make people angry. Yusop patted Sanji on the shoulder in a panic, and he and Nami were so frightened by Madara and Abito that they almost cried. Thanos, on the other hand, was sitting on a chair as a quiet bystander. Can I finally see these employees take action? Let me see what you can do. Thanos looked at Madara and Abito in front of him, waiting to watch the excitement. However, just when the atmosphere became tense, Guo Huang and Ali suddenly walked from the kitchen to the hall wearing dishes. The rich aroma instantly filled the entire hall, entering the nostrils of Luffy, Zoro and others. At this moment, the straw hat pirate's attention was attracted by the fragrance, and they all looked at Guo Huang. Boss. Finally see you again. Seeing Guo Huang, Luffy quickly ran over to greet Guo Huang with a smile, which eased the tense atmosphere around him. Yo, isn't this Luffy, why are you free today? After Guo Huang put the dishes on Thanos' dining table, he turned his head to look at Luffy, and responded friendly to him. After seeing this scene, Madara and Nabito stopped embarrassing the straw hat pirates, and gradually regained their terrifying aura. Without the oppression of Madame Ban and Abito, the straw hat black thieves suddenly felt relieved and breathed a sigh of relief. Afterwards, they simultaneously showed fearful expressions, daring not to do it again. Just now Madame Ban and Abito gave them a terrible feeling, as if they would be killed by the other party at any time. Now Sanji is completely convinced that the prices on the menu are definitely worth the money. With powerful characters like Madara and Abito serving as employees, the owner of this restaurant must be super powerful. So the dish is here, you must order some to try. And Sanji is actually very curious. In Luffy's mouth, Guo Huang, who is better at cooking than himself, tastes what the dishes are. 
There is also Zoro who has the same idea as Sanji. I saw Zoro put away his samurai sword and said, Nami, since we are all here, why don't we order two dishes? Okay. In the end, Nami tearfully agreed with Zoro. After seeing Madara and Nabito's unfathomable strength, Nami had already changed her previous attitude. If you continue to ink, what if you anger Madame Madara and Nabito again? So, the straw hat pirates began to order dishes one after another. Especially Zoro and Usopp, who ordered the most energetically, didn't spend their money anyway. However, just as the straw hat pirates were ordering, Ari's alluring Yujia voice suddenly came. Oh, the guests here this time are actually a group of cute boys. Ari walked in front of Zoro and Sanji with a wicked smile, showing a charming smile. The moment they saw Ari, all the members of the Straw Hat Pirates except Luffy were stunned, including Nami. Sanji couldn't even hold the cigarette in his hand, and the cigarette but fell to the ground. Since they were attracted by the aroma before, they didn't find Ari's existence. You. I dot this. After reacting, Sanji hurriedly pointed at Ari, so excited that he couldn't even utter a word. At this moment, he has been completely charmed by Ali's appearance and temperament. I'm darling, is this lady a fairy descended to earth? How can it be so tempting? Looking at the admiration in Sanji's eyes, Ari's mouth raised a wicked smile. It seems that tonight, she can beg for food from the guests again. However, just as the straw hat pirates were stunned, the dimensional passage in the hall changed again. This means that new guests are coming soon. After realizing this, Guo Huang immediately turned his head to look at the dimension channel. Today is really lively. There are so many guests here. I don't know which world the guests come from this time. I saw Guo Huang staring at the entrance of the cave very curiously and began to guess the identity of the guest. It didn't take long for a spiky head in an orange Jia uniform to come to the restaurant through the dimension passage. And this spiky head is still full of muscles, and a big turtle character is printed on the back of the clothes. The next second, Guo Huang was dumbfounded. Fuck. Kakarot. Chapter 43. In the dimension restaurant, Kakarot's son Wukong was looking around curiously. As soon as he came in, he smelled a strong aroma. Then, Wukong looked at the dishes on Thanos' table and swallowed hard. A few minutes ago, he was still at home practicing with Sun Wutian. Since defeating Majin Buu, he has practiced whenever he is idle for the past four years. At present, the timeline of Dragon Ball World has reached the period of Dragon Ball Super. Today, Goku has transformed into the Super Saiyan God and fought Beerus, the God of Destruction. He was going to go home and practice for a while before going to bed. As a result, a dimension tunnel suddenly appeared in his house. So Wukong walked in with curiosity and came to the dimension restaurant. Guo Huang couldn't help being surprised when he saw Kakarot. After so many days of business, in addition to Thanos, another Starkiller finally came. Wow, it's amazing, this white hole is as powerful as my teleportation. Wukong looked around and exclaimed. At the same time, the rest of the people were watching Goku. Bani glanced at Wukong and felt a little uncomfortable. Intuition tells him that this silly-looking spiky head is not simple. Abito, Shirsue, and Itachi also feel the same way as Madara, which is a subconscious judgment of a ninja. Only the straw hat pirates remain silent in Ari's appearance, ignoring Goku behind him. At this time, Kuriko looked at Ryukong and took two steps back in disgust. Unexpectedly, the guest this time would kill Matt even more than Banyi's. This hairstyle is simply the ultimate. Even Mikoto couldn't stand it, but she finally resisted the desire to complain and walked to Yukon. Hello. Hello, you are visiting the Dimension Restaurant. What would you like to eat? As Mikoto spoke, she handed Goku the menu in her hand. Eh. Dimension Restaurant. Are you a restaurant here? Goku took the menu and showed a more puzzled expression. After seeing this scene, Itachi hurriedly came from a distance and explained to Wukong the mysteries of the dimensional passage and the restaurant. It didn't take long for Goku to accept Itachi's words. With his heartless and careless personality, he believes no matter what others say. Soga, it turns out that this is not my world anymore, no wonder I can't sense the breath of Vegeta and the others. After listening to Itachi's explanation, Wukong suddenly realized. 
It turned out that the white cave was specially made for other people to come here to eat. After learning this, Wukong couldn't wait to order two dishes to try. Just looking at the dishes on Thanos' table, Wukong couldn't help swallowing. But when he glanced at the price, he was as dumbfounded as Nami before. The cheapest dish costs dot yen. Why is it so much more expensive than a restaurant in Dragon Ball World? This time Wukong came out with only a few thousand yen with him, and he couldn't afford the dishes on the menu at all. Hey, sorry, I didn't bring so much money today, can I use credit? After Wukong finished speaking, he scratched his head in embarrassment. No, this restaurant does not allow any credit behavior. Itachi didn't even think about it, and immediately rejected Goku's request. When Wukong heard this, he was completely helpless. However, although Wukong didn't bring enough money, he didn't plan to just leave. This aroma seems to have magic power, making Wukong, a foodie, addicted to it and unable to extricate himself. He must wait until he eats the food before he is willing to leave. At the same time, Guo Huang and Ari also brought the dishes ordered by the straw hat pirates from the kitchen. Since he had to reward the employees at night and celebrate the popularity of the Dimension restaurant, Guo Huang had already cooked a lot of dishes in advance. But there were a lot of guests tonight. In order to save time, Guo Huang could only serve these dishes to the guests first. I made you wait for a long time, now, this is what you ordered. Ari put the dishes on the table, put on a seductive pose, and blew a kiss to Sanji. Ah! Ari's action made Sanji put his head in his hands, showing a very idiotic smile, his eyes filled with pity. Why is this lady blowing me a kiss? Is she interested in me? Damn, this guy is so lucky. Usopp looked at Sanji very jealously, and his heart was full of jealousy. Even Zoro was a little envious, even if he was not interested in women on weekdays, he couldn't resist Ari's charm. On the other hand, Nami pouted, puffed out her cheeks, and glared at Sanji. Because during this time, Sanji has been kneeling and licking her. So Sanji's sudden mutiny now makes Nami very angry, and she can't wait to punch Sanji out of shit. Nami said, is it because you Sanji have high vision? Or am I Nami not pretty enough? Apart from being taller than me and having a better figure than me, what other point is this fox better than me? Oh oh oh. It's finally here. I'm welcome. Luffy looked at the food in front of him, and when he came up, a hungry dog rushed for food, sticking his entire face on the plate. That's what it tastes like. It's delicious. It's amazing. Luffy complimented while eating, like the reincarnation of a starving ghost, silent in the world of gourmet food. Nami, Zoro, Sanji, and Usopp were all stunned when they saw Luffy's food, and they swallowed hard at the same time. What the fuck? Do you want to be so exaggerated? It's just a meal, as for sticking your face on the plate. Have a little break, right? At this time, Wukong, who was standing not far away, also saw Luffy's food, which made him want to taste Guo Huang's dishes even more. So, Goku couldn't help but walk towards the straw hat pirates. Itachi, Madara, Shirsue, and Abito didn't stop Goku either. Although Wukong has no money, he can still wander freely in the Dimension restaurant. Is it really that delicious? I'll try it too. Yusop picked up his chopsticks curiously, picked up a piece of shredded meat and put it in his mouth. Zoro, Sanji, and Nami are the same. In the next second, everyone's pupils suddenly contracted sharply. Yusop, too. Too delicious. Nami, so what Luffy said is true. Zoro, compared to the dishes here, the dishes with curly eyebrows are just shit. Sanji, yeah. It's really a dog. Wait a minute. What are you talking about, you bastard, Chlorella? If you have the ability, don't eat the food I make in the future. After tasting Guo Huang's dishes, the straw hat pirates almost died collectively, and the delicious tongues fell off. Afterwards, everyone complimented Guo Huang's dishes without hesitation. Sanji looked at Guo Huang with admiration and gave him a thumbs up. Guo Huang's dishes made Sanji really understand what it means to be someone outside the world and someone outside the sky. Only Thanos looked at the straw hat pirates with a displeased expression, wishing to slap them all over and slap them all to death like flies. Because the table of the straw hats was too noisy, which seriously affected Thanos' appetite. Chapter 44 
Can you guys be quiet? The unbearable Thanos resisted his anger and reminded the Straw Hat Pirates. Luffy, Zoro, and the others turned their heads and noticed Thanos behind them. Oh. There's actually a guy with purple skin. He's so big. When Luffy saw Thanos, he shouted in surprise, which made Thanos even more upset. However, just as Thanos was about to rage, Wukong suddenly ran to the dining table of the Straw Hats from not far away. Because at this moment, the dishes on the Straw Hat group's table have been eaten, and only a little bit of leftovers are left. So Wukong finally couldn't help but ran over, ready to beg for food. Wow. It looks delicious. Can you share some with me? I saw Wukong showing a silly smile, looking at all the members of the Straw Hat Pirates with anticipation. After listening to Goku's words, everyone except Luffy was stunned. Who is this stupid guy? He actually came over to ask us for food. We don't have enough to eat by ourselves, and we will give you a portion. Are you thinking about farting? Ali on the side was also stunned, where did this stinky beggar come from? Dare to steal my mother's job. The old lady begs for money based on her looks, why do you have a spiky head? With your extreme haircut. Ari glanced at Wukong disdainfully, ready to show off his housekeeping skills, so he would be stronger. At the dinner table, Luffy, Nami, Zoro, and Usopp have all eaten up. Only Sanji had one last plate of Maypo tofu left, so Ari immediately targeted Sanji. Hey, handsome guy, let's ignore that spiky head, why don't you give this plate of tofu to Aoli? People are so hungry now. As soon as Ari came up, he showed a pitiful expression, looking very tempting, and gave Sanji a fatal blow. After that, Ari stretched out his hands again and put them on Sanji's shoulders. If you are willing to give tofu to others, even if you ask them to show their respect, they will be willing to do so. Ari's sultry move made Sanji spit blood from his nose instantly. Facing Ari's temptation, Sanji was completely powerless to resist, and was fascinated by the fascination. Zoro and Usopp also looked at Sanji with envy, jealousy and hatred. They knew that they would not eat so fast just now, and they also wanted Ari to show their promise. Miss Ari doesn't have to be polite to me, just take it. It doesn't matter what you promise, the main thing is that I just like to give food to others. I saw that Sanji instantly picked up the plate of Maypo tofu and delivered it directly to Ari. Well, thank you, handsome guy. Ali took the tofu, a conspiratorial smile raised on the corner of his mouth, and immediately turned around and walked away. Before leaving, he did not forget to give Sanji a wink in return. Ah. Sanji opened his mouth wide and watched Ari leave with blurred eyes. Ari's wink made Sanji's heart melt. At this moment, Sanji has made up his mind, he is inspired to catch up with Ari. However, just when Sanji was very excited, Goku next to him was also happy. Because of what Sanji said just now, Goku took it seriously. I didn't expect you to like to give meals to others. It's really good. If that's the case, then order a meal for me too. Goku patted Sanji on the shoulder very familiarly and laughed happily. He thought he had met a good person, and felt that he was lucky. But who knows, Sanji has a dark face and looks at Wukong with an idiot's eyes. Why are you mentally retarded? Can't you hear what I just said was polite? Would you like a meal for you? What are you? But let me go to the side. So Sanji scolded mercilessly, I'm sorry, I don't have the habit of delivering vegetables to ugly monsters. Wukong, dot. As for Sanji's attitude, Wukong, an honest man, expressed his incomprehension. Didn't you just say that you like to give meals to others? And Sanji's meaning is very clear. He said that he is Yano. If his appearance is not good, don't join in the fun. After seeing this scene, Guo Huang, who was standing at the front desk, laughed unkindly. Wukong is really too simple, a proper honest person. At this time, Makoto also took the bill and walked to the straw hats and said, You have spent a total of point million bailey this time, please settle the bill. After listening to Makoto's words, the straw hats all turned their attention to Nami. One and a half million baileys for a meal, they couldn't afford it. In the end, Nami could only shed tears and reluctantly paid point million bailey. After the checkout, Nami was heartbroken. 
Afterwards, the Straw Hats started walking towards the Dimension Restaurant, preparing to return to the world of One Piece. Luffy, boss, let's go first. We'll definitely come over another day. Sanji, goodbye Miss Ari. I'll definitely invite you to dinner next time. Nami, stop talking nonsense, you two idiots. Hurry up and go. Zoro, dot. Usopp, dot. After the straw hats left, the hall instantly became much quieter. This made Thanos' mood improved, and there was no noise, and he could finally enjoy the food in peace. Guo Huang also nodded with satisfaction, looking at the money in the cash register, smiling from ear to ear. Just as Guo Huang was laughing, the system prompt sounded suddenly from his mind. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully receiving more than dot customers today and earning point million yen. As a reward, the system will fully upgrade the dimensional restaurant, and the upgrade will be completed automatically tomorrow, and the host will be given a free lottery chance. After the system beep ended, Guo Huang felt very comfortable. 1 yen equals points, and point million yen equals 3 million points. I earned point million points in just one day, which is really cool. Chapter 45 Is the host drawing a lottery now? After a few seconds, the sound of the system sounded again. Of course, give it to me right away. Without any hesitation, Guo Huang immediately agreed to the lottery. Okay, random ability is being drawn for the host. Listening to the system's prompt tone, Guo Huang fell into contemplation, wondering what abilities the system would give him. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully extracting the ability to pause time. You can pause other people's time, making them incapacitated and unable to move. This ability can only be used on a single target. If the host wants to increase the effect to a group range, it needs to rely on points to upgrade. In addition, the host of this ability can use it as he pleases every day. No matter how powerful the target is, the host's time suspension cannot be avoided. During this period, the host can do whatever he wants to the target. It didn't take long for the system to finally tell Guo Huang about the ability it had extracted. After the introduction of the system, Guo Huang raised his eyebrows, but he didn't expect that the system extracted him the ability related to time. Moreover, no matter how powerful the enemy is, they cannot resist this ability. The only downside is that it can only be used on a single target. If you want to evolve into a group range, you have to use points to upgrade. Mad, this wave of system operations is too cunning. However, just as Guo Huang was drawing the lottery, Ali's shout suddenly came from the hall. Hey! What are you doing? You! How dare you steal my mother's tofu! Ari, who had just come out of the toilet, looked at Ryukong in disbelief. At the dining table, Ryukong was actually stealing Ari's maple tofu. The thing is, when Ari took Sanji's maple tofu, he put it aside and ate it. But halfway through eating, Ali suddenly had a stomachache, so he went to the toilet. Unexpectedly, after she came out, her maple tofu has been eaten up by Ryukong. Hearing Ari's shouting, Guo Huang, Makoto, Haizi, Madara, Itachi, Abido, Shushue, and Thanos all looked towards Ari. Later, everyone found Ryukong who was stealing maple tofu. Hey, sorry, sorry, I couldn't hold back accidentally. Looking at everyone's eyes, Ryukong scratched his head a little embarrassedly. Originally, he didn't intend to steal it, but the smell of maple tofu was really too irritating. So in the end, Ryukong still couldn't resist the urge in his heart and sneaked over to eat tofu. This makes Ali very angry, this maple tofu is something she got by begging for her ability, and she only ate half of it. Warn. Found Kakarot from Dragon Ball World stealing in this restaurant. This behavior is really hateful. Anyone who can teach Kakarot a lesson in five minutes, the system will give him points as a reward. This task has a time limit of five minutes, and the timeout will be invalid. Reminder. If you choose to teach Kakarot together in the end, the system will divide the points equally among you. And you don't have to worry about destroying the restaurant during the battle. The restaurant is protected by the system and is invincible. The moment it was discovered that Ryukong was stealing the food, the system immediately posted tasks among Guo Huang, Madara, Itachi, Shushue, and Abito. After listening to the system's words, the Uchiha spirit boys instantly boiled together. What the hell? 
That's a full dot points. How much chores do I have to do to get these points? So Madara, Itachi, Abito, and Shirsui ran towards Ryukong as if they had eaten WG. Master Ban. Your points are already the highest. Why don't you give me this opportunity? During the run, Jishue suddenly hugged Madara's arm and pitifully begged Madame Madara to give him a chance. Madame Ban glared at Jishue fiercely, and kicked Jishue aside with one kick. Give you a chance. Want to eat fart? That's dot points. Itachi looked at Jishue who was kicked by Madara, and gave Jishue a thumbs up. Brother Ness. Fortunately, you helped me delay Bani's time, and these dot points are mine. Thinking of this, Itachi directly opened the kaleidoscope writing Will I, ready to launch the moon reading on Wukong. Because the system only said to teach Goku a lesson, but it didn't say what kind of lesson. Therefore, whether it is to use force or to use illusion, it can be regarded as a lesson for Wukong. Itachi, don't try to succeed. However, just when Itachi was about to start the month reading, Abito suddenly appeared behind Itachi, and activated the ability to suck Itachi into the divine space. Later, Abito used Shinwei to appear next to Shirshue again, and he also sucked Shirshue into the Shinwei space. During this whole process, Abito did it neatly and quickly. In addition, Itachi and Shirshue were completely unprepared for Abito, so Abito succeeded so easily. The reason why Abito did this was to obtain points stably. Because the system said that this integral can be divided equally. As long as Itachi and Shirshue are resolved, then he can share the 10,000 points equally with Bani. Madara, 5,000 points for each of us is already very good, you know what I mean. After doing all this, Abito gave Madara a look. Madame Pan understood in an instant, after all, he was the old fritters of the Uchiha family, how could he not see through Abito's mind? Well done, as expected of being with me before, I can share these 10,000 points with you. I saw that Banyi did not hesitate, and immediately agreed to divide the points equally. Immediately afterwards, Madara and Abito looked at Ryukong eagerly, and smiled at the same time. This wave of points is stable. Eh. You. What do you want to do? The eyes of Goku's observer Madara and Abito seem to sense danger. Looking at the posture of the two, it is obvious that they are going to do it themselves. What? Humph, you stole something from our restaurant, do you think you can get away with it? Madara stepped forward aggressively, ready to attack Wukong. Come on, Mr. Ban. K him. Ali stood aside and started to act as a cheerleader, cheering for Bani. Thanos and Guo Huang stayed where they were, without saying a word, waiting to watch the play. Because Guo Huang is very curious, how exciting will the battle between the Naruto boss and the Dragon Ball boss be? Only Mikoto said anxiously, hey, they're going to fight, why don't you go and take care of it? Guo Huang licked his ears with his fingers and responded, it doesn't matter, the restaurant is not damaged anyway, let them call. Mikoto, dot. Kuriko. Chapter 46. Master Ban. Brother Tuesday. K him. Ali stood in the distance, madly cheering for Madame Madara and Abito. Sorry, I really didn't mean to steal it. I'll bring the money tomorrow. Wukong chose to pay for it at the first time, after all, this matter was indeed his fault. However, Madame Ban and Abito are not appreciative. Whether you do it on purpose or not, they will beat you up and earn points. It's too late, get ready to be beaten, don't worry, I will save your life, and I won't shoot too hard. I saw Banny very confidently open the riding wheel, and then quickly made a seal with both hands. The fire escapes, the arrogant fire is extinguished. Madara spewed out a large sea of fire from his mouth, surrounding Yukon. Madam had no worries after learning that the restaurant was not damaged. Hot, hot, hot. You can still breathe fire. It's amazing. Yenshi, look at me. Wukong patted the flames on his clothes and threw a punch around him, creating a blast of punches that blew out all the flames around him. Seeing Wukong's actions, Madame Ban was dumbfounded. Just relying on the wind of the fist, can I blow away my arrogant fire and extinguish it? Not only Madame Ban, but Abito is also stunned, is this spiky head so dangling? At this time, Guo Huang at the front desk kindly reminded, Madara, just use all your strength to fight, or you won't have to fight. 
After Guo Huang finished speaking, Madame Madara and Abido came back to their senses at the same time. The boss said so, which means that the Wukong in front of him is definitely not a simple thing. So Ban Yi no longer hesitated, and directly opened the reincarnation eye and entered the six path mode. His battle armor turned into a white robe, and he also had a scepter in his hand, and super terrifying chakra erupted all over his body. The chakra airflow even spread to Thanos and Ari, overturning Thanos' dining table. Is this the real strength of a restaurant clerk? It's so terrifying. Thanos stretched out his hand to block the chakra airflow, and couldn't help but take a few steps back. At present, there is no Thanos with infinity stones, and it is difficult to withstand such a strong chakra airflow. On the other hand, Ari summoned a magic orb, urging magic to wrap his body to defend against the chakra airflow. Just kidding. Is this something a human can do? Kuriko and Mikoto were stunned and hid behind Guo Huang together. Mikoto and Kuriko started to shiver just looking at Ludao Madara. They knew that the staff of Dimension Restaurant was very strong, but they didn't expect it to be so strong, it was beyond their worldview. Wow! You are really amazing! Since this is the case, then I have to show my real skills. Wukong stared at the six spots in front of him with some excitement, ready to make a real move. Although the cause of this battle was that Goku made a mistake first, Madara had hit him in the face, and he couldn't help but resist. What? I saw Goku condensing the chi in his body, entering the Super Saiyan God state in one go, and his hair turned red. Then, a wave of energy even more amazing than the chakra airflow swept the entire hall. The reason why he became a super race god when he came up was because Wukong was deceived by Banyi's aura, and thought that Banyi was an equal opponent to him. I go. Ari and Thanos were blown away, as were Kuriko and Mikoto. Only Guo Huang was still standing in the same place like a normal person. He has systemic immunity, as long as he is in a dimension restaurant, no one can shake him in the slightest. Ban. Mr. Ban, can you stand it? Abito looked at Wukong in front of him, his face full of confusion. What kind of fairy is this Nima? Shouldn't it be so exaggerated? Can stand it. Well. Madam Ban stared at Wukong, who was even more terrifying than himself, and began to lose his confidence. Originally, Madam Ban thought that Wukong was a little guy who could be bullied at will, but this guy actually hides so deeply. Looking at this posture, he is definitely a proper super boss. However, no matter how strong Goku is, Madara has to bite the bullet. Because in his dictionary, there is no word for retreat. Master Ban, do you want to help? Abito patted Madara on the shoulder. No, let me try it myself first, in case it's a paper tiger. Bani decisively rejected Abito's kindness, and with his proud character, he did not allow others to interfere in his battle. I saw Banyi condensed a chakra sphere in the palm of his hand and threw it hard at Wukong. The power of this sphere is countless times stronger than the tailed beast jade, and it can easily destroy the entire student city. But Wukong also threw out an energy bomb, hitting Madara's chakra sphere, causing a devastating explosion. Thanos hurriedly hid behind a wall to avoid the aftermath of the explosion. If Thanos had the reality gem now, he wouldn't be afraid of the explosion at all, because it could nullify the explosion, but unfortunately he didn't. Oh my god. Ali was also frightened and quickly ran behind Guo Huang, staying behind Guo Huang with Haizi and Makoto shivering. System, protect them. Please rest assured, the host, the system has established a protective shield around the host. A protective cover immediately wrapped Guo Huang, Makoto and others, isolating the explosion in the hall. Makoto and Ali watched this scene in disbelief, thinking that the surrounding protective shield was made by Guo Huang, and their bodies began to stick closer to Guo Huang. Staying by Guo Huang's side gave Mikoto and Ari a great sense of security. Xianfa, Super. Lan Dun Guang Fan. At this time, Madara continued to attack, spewing a huge purple laser from his mouth to stab at Goku. Goku, on the other hand, swung his palm vigorously, splitting the purple laser in half with just the palm of his hand. After seeing this scene, Madame Ban was already stunned. You must know that his move combines the immortal technique of Yin Yang escape technique, which is powerful enough to split an entire island. In the end, he was blocked by Goku with his bare hands. Like you, I, Madara Uchiha, 
have no face, okay? Wow. It hurts a bit. You are really powerful. But, it's time for me to attack. Wukong looked at Madara and smiled softly. Now that the opponent's attack was over, it was time for him to attack. To tell the truth, in fact, from the battle to the present, Wukong has not seriously fought with Madara, he is trying his best to restrain his own strength. After all, it was him who was wrong. He stole Ari's tofu. But now, Madara's attack made Goku start to itch a little, so he was ready to fight back. After listening to Wukong's words, Madara subconsciously swallowed. But soon, Madame Ban's eyes became firm again. No, I am Madara Uchiha. If I retreat, won't my domineering and side-scrolling personality collapse? So Madame Ban could only bite the bullet and say, you're pretty good too. Since Hashirama, you're the second opponent who can make my blood boil. Madame Ban said, raised his scepter and pointed at Wukong nervously, and began to inspire himself in his heart. Fine. What's there to be afraid of? Lao Tzu's six-path mode has unlimited chakra, can repair the body, and consume energy to kill him. Abito discovered something was wrong with Ban, so he asked, Master Ban, do you want to help? Bani said proudly again, no need. Chapter 47 Three minutes later, Goku and Madara started a fierce hand-to-hand -hand battle. If it was the previous madam, he would be happy to fight such a battle. But now, Banyi is not willing to continue this battle at all. Because during the whole process, Banyi was beaten almost all the time. Madam Ban's fist hit Wukong, and Wukong didn't have anything to do. Wukong's fist hit Banyi, Banyi is about to fart. Fortunately, at the level of six paths, Madara has an almost invincible healing speed and can instantly heal wounds on his body. During this period, Abito asked countless times if he wanted to help, but Madara's answer was always no. With his more arrogant personality than Makoto, it was impossible to ask Abito for help. So Banyi is madly scolding Abito in his heart. If you want to help, just come and help, don't ask again. At this time, Banyi received a punch from Wukong in the front. Abito asked, Master Ban, do you want to help? Banyi, no need. After a few seconds, Madara got another punch from Goku. Abito asked again, Master Ban, do you want to help? Banyi, well, no need. In the end, Banyi was kicked out by Wukong. Abito still asked, Master Ban, do you want to? Banyi, you're still asking a fart. You don't need to ask. Don't ask again. Come and help. After listening to Banyi's words, Abito's expression was like eating shit. The reason he asked so many times was because he didn't want to fight Goku. But now, Banyi finally couldn't help speaking, Abito could only bite the bullet. As a result, Abito instantly entered the six-path mode, and his eyes became the eyes of reincarnation, restoring the peak power of his life. Before entering the six-path mode, Abito did not forget to release Shursui and Itachi from the Shinwei space. As soon as they came out, Shursui and Itachi were stunned by the sight in front of them. What the fuck? How did Abito and Madara enter the six-paths mode? And the previous Goku, why did he suddenly become a red-haired super-killer mat? However, just when Itachi and Shursui were puzzled, the sound of the system suddenly sounded. Ding! The five-minute time limit has come, and since Kakarot has not been punished, the points are void. Ah! Abito! Beat him up for me! After Madame Ban heard that the points were invalid, he ran to Wukong desperately, and he was already ready by Wukong. Abito was helpless and rushed up with Madame Ban. And before rushing up, Abito was ready to be beaten. No way, Goku in Super Saiyan God state is too strong. What? Are you still fighting? Goku looked at Madara and Abito in front of him, and subconsciously took a step back. He was really frightened by Mr. Ban's desperate attitude toward Saburo, especially the look in Mr. Ban's eyes, which was terrifying. But Goku is still not afraid, ready to face Madara and Abito at the same time. However, Guo Huang at the front desk couldn't stand it any longer. If it goes on like this, when will it last? So Guo Huang decided to help Madara and Abito to win, just in time to test the ability just obtained from the system with Wukong. After making up his mind, Guo Huang did not hesitate, and instantly launched a time pause on Wukong. In the next second, 
Wukong's entire body was unable to move, and he couldn't use the energy in his body. His time was suspended by Guo Huang, and he could only stand in the same place like a Tai. What's the matter? Goku showed an expression of disbelief, not knowing what was going on. Although time was suspended, his thoughts were not suspended, and he immediately discovered his anomaly. Go to hell. You son of a bitch. At this time, Madame Madara and Abito had already arrived in front of Wukong, and when they went up, they beat him in the face. Wukong could only watch himself being beaten, unable to move at all. Abito felt very puzzled when he found out that Wukong was motionless. And Banyi doesn't care about this kind of thing anymore, he has been mad at Wukong, and he only wants to beat him to death. Master Ban, why didn't he fight back? Don't worry about these useless. Hit me to death. In the six path mode, every punch of Madara and Abito can blow up a building, and the power is terrifying. Faced with this kind of attack, Goku, who was unable to move his body, was quickly beaten and his face was bruised. After seeing this scene, Itachi and Jishue both looked dumbfounded. How much hate is this? How did the red haired super killer provoke Madame? Boss. Madara and Abito, what happened? Itachi, who was puzzled, began to turn his head and ask Guo Huang next to him. Before Guo Huang could answer, Ali spoke first. Why don't you ask? Hurry up and help Ban Yi beat that spiky head. When you were not in the restaurant just now, Ban Yi was beaten badly by that arrogant and unreasonable hedgehog in order to seek justice for me. If it wasn't for the protection of Guo Huang's little brother Wei, we were probably beaten to death by that spiky head long ago. Ari's remarks are obviously exaggerated, and the tone is very exaggerated, saying that Wu Kang is like some supervillain. Hearing this, Itachi and Shushui's expressions changed drastically. What the fuck? You actually beat up Mr. Ban? And almost beat the restaurant staff to death? 2 tm too much. How can Nima endure this? Beat him. So, Itachi and Shursui hurried over to join Madara and Abito's team and started beating Goku together. I saw Abito kept throwing his fists and slapped Wukong in the face. Shursui and Itachi kicked Goku in the stomach. And Banyu was even more ruthless. He actually held the weapon made of the fusion of the Daoyu Jade and aimed at Wukong's crotch frantically. In order to vent better. Madara even activated the Tomb of the Will Prison, summoning five transparent clones to hammer together. From start to finish, Goku didn't move at all, didn't fight back at all. This made the four of them couldn't help but admire, Mad still not fighting back after hitting like this, he is a man. As everyone knows, Wukong's heart actually burst into tears. It's not that I don't fight back. I can't move. If I knew it earlier, I wouldn't steal Ari's tofu. If he could speak, Wukong would have shouted, Wrong, wrong. Stop fighting. Get out of the way. Let me give him an electrotherapy. Suddenly, Madara roared and began to condense the chakra in his body. Seeing this posture, Itachi, Abito, and Jishue immediately flashed aside to make room for Madame Banya. Xianfa, In Yunlei School. Immediately afterwards, Madame Ban and the five transparent clones around him released a huge purple lightning bolt from their palms. Six lightning bolts hit Wukong's body at the same time, scorching his hair black. This time, Madame Ban finally calmed down. Seeing that the battle was over, Guo Huang immediately cancelled the time suspension. Then, Wukong exhaled a puff of black smoke and slowly fell to the ground. I believe that Wukong will never forget this experience in his life. Chapter 48 Ended Thanos walked out from behind the wall and saw Wukong lying on the ground, a cold sweat dripping from his forehead. The duel this time was too fierce, and the duel between the two bosses made Thanos dare not approach at all. It seems that we must hurry to raise the infinite gems to improve our strength, or else I will be worried about coming to the Dimension Restaurant for a meal in the future. If this kind of thing spreads out, it will be embarrassing to be the overlord of the universe in the future, what a shame. At this time, Wukong also slowly stood up from the ground and patted the dust on his body. Don't look at his bruised nose and swollen face now, but it's actually some insignificant skin trauma. The siege of the four did not cause Goku to suffer much damage. To put it badly, it's not even a shit thing. What tricks did you use just now? It's amazing that I can't move at all. 
After Goku stood up, he retracted his Super Saiyan God state, and looked at Madara with a curious expression on his face. What the hell is this guy? How can he still stand up? Abito, Chirsue, and Itachi looked at Goku in front of them and felt a little unbelievable. They fought for so long, TM's hand hurt, but Ryukong is still like a normal person. If this were replaced by someone else, I'm afraid he would have died a long time ago, let alone stood up. Banyi also widened his eyes at this time, looking at Ryukong with a bewildered face. This Nima is a bit too strong, right? I've been beaten to death like this, are you all right? Is your body that tough? At this moment, Banyi was heartbroken. He even began to question his own strength. Could it be that he is too weak? Looking at Madame Ban's expression of doubting life, Guo Huang couldn't help laughing out loud. It was the first time he had seen Lord Ban show such an expression. In fact, it's not that Madame Ban is weak, his strength can go sideways in many worlds. But helplessly, what he encountered this time was a complete pervert, Kakarot's son Ryukong. In the face of an enemy like Goku who destroys the planet at will, if Madara can win, it will be hell. Okay, everyone, stop. Suddenly, Guo Huang walked in front of Ban Yin Ryukong, ready to smooth things out. The Dimension Restaurant will close soon, it's time to close the stall and rest. Ryukong, I'm stealing food in my restaurant. I can make an exception to let you pay for it once. Remember to bring the money tomorrow. Guo Huang, with his hands behind his back, commanded Ryukong from a height, which made Ryukong have an unfathomable feeling towards Guo Huang. I'm sorry, I'm really wrong this time. I'll definitely come over tomorrow to compensate you. I saw Ryukong scratching his head, looking at Guo Huang embarrassedly, and put his posture very low. Because Guo Huang's dishes were so delicious, Wukong had to come. Enter the dimension channel again, you can return to your original world, remember not to steal it next time. With Ryukong's words, Guo Huang didn't say anything more, and waved his hand to let Ryukong go. Guo Huang still trusts Ryukong's character, he knows that the other party will keep his promise. Ah, uh, I see, thank you boss. Ryukong smiled and thanked him, turned around and stepped into the dimension passage without looking back, and left the restaurant. Seeing Goku leaving, Makoto, Kuriko, and Ari dared to come over. Master Ban, you are so powerful. The spiky head was so powerful just now, and you were beaten to death. As soon as Ali came over, he caught Yi Ban and licked it violently, and all kinds of praise were used on Ban Yi. After listening to Ali's words, Ban Yi was stunned for a moment. Yes, what's the use even if Goku is stronger? Didn't you get beaten up by me in the end? Thinking of this, Ban Yi immediately regained his confidence, showing an indifferent expression, and raised his head proudly. Obviously, Ban Yi was very comfortable being licked by Ali. Humph, of course, although that guy is strong, but I'm not weak, so I'll have a dot to dot relationship with him. I saw Madame Ban put on a disdainful expression and convince himself that he was no worse than Goku in a self deceiving way. Upon hearing this, Guo Huang, Abito, Jishue, and Itachi wanted to laugh, but they still tried their best to hold back their laughter. You said that you were beaten like a bear in the first place. Why would you be so embarrassed to put on this bee? Even Thanos on the side can't stand it anymore, but it's not easy to refute anything. As if he noticed Thanos questioning, Madara immediately glared at him. As if to say, what? Have an opinion. Thanos suddenly turned his head away, not daring to look at Master Ban. Okay, okay, you are a boss now, I can't afford it. After a while, when I have infinity stones, you will definitely not be arrogant. Boss, I'm leaving too, come back another day. Thanos put on the golden helmet and got up to say goodbye to Guo Huang. Well, welcome next time. Guo Huang nodded and watched Thanos leave. It just happened that the restaurant was also closing time, so it was time to close. Looking at the mess in the hall, Guo Huang felt a little emotional. In his lifetime, he finally saw the battle between the Dragon Ball boss and the Hokage boss. Fortunately, the dimensional restaurant can automatically block the energy exposure, so that the breath of Ban Yin Ryukong does not leak outside the restaurant. Otherwise, this battle will definitely stir up the entire world of the Forbidden World, not only shocking the scientific side and the magic side, but may even attract the attention of the devil. 
Although Guo Huang is an invincible existence in the restaurant and is not afraid of those forces, it will always bring a lot of trouble to the Dimension Restaurant. A few minutes later, the time finally came to 12 o'clock, and the Dimension Channel was closed at that point. Guo Huang lit a cigarette, stretched out, and prepared to go back to his room to rest. Mikoto, Kuriko, you can go. The rest of the people clean up the restaurant, it's time to rest. After Guo Huang ordered everything, he turned around and walked up to the second floor. Ali, Shushue, Madara, Abito, and Itachi started to clean the hall. Brother Itachi, Sister Ali, see you tomorrow. Kuriko said hello and followed Mikoto out of the Dimension Restaurant. Sister Sister, I didn't expect Madam Ban to be so powerful. He he, we will be covered in the future. On the way, Heisei walked and chatted. Well, it's really surprising, but Boss Guo Huang seems to be more powerful than Ban Yi. He has been protecting us in that battle. Recalling the battle just now, Makoto couldn't help shivering again. If it weren't for Guo Huang's protection, I'm afraid the two of them would have been wiped out long ago. Ten minutes later, Kuriko and Makoto just walked along while chatting until they passed an alley. Then, Mikoto and Kuriko suddenly stopped at the same time, showing extremely shocked eyes. Because at this moment, Accelerator was just chasing Miss Misaka in the alley. Chapter 49 In the alley, I saw Accelerator after chasing and killing Misaka's sister. Mikoto and Kuriko decisively attack Accelerator, ready to save Misakasen. But after the battle, the two found that they were not opponents of Accelerator at all, and they were abused miserably. In the end, Mikoto and Kuriko could only watch Sister Misaka die in front of them. Immediately afterwards, Accelerator threatened them with a few words and left gracefully. Later, more Misaka sisters appeared in the alley and began to clean up the scene. This scene brought a huge shock to Mikoto's heart, making her feel unbelievable. So after returning to Tokawadai's dormitory, Mikoto used her hacking ability to inquire about Misaka's sister. After spending a whole night, Mikoto finally learned about the absolutely powerful project and the darkness behind Academy City. This caused Mikoto to be disheartened and feel a deep sense of powerlessness. Because the absolute ability plan was planned by Academy City. So if she wanted to sabotage the plan, she was fighting against the entire Academy City. This is simply impossible, without any hope. But in the end, Mikoto cheered up, she still had the last straw, and that was Guo Huang. Mikoto believed that if it was Guo Huang, she would definitely be able to help her put an end to the absolutely capable project. The next morning, in the Dimension Restaurant. Guo Huang woke up early from the bed and yawned. The sound of the system sounded. Ding! Report to the host, the current Dimension Restaurant has been upgraded, and now the floor of the restaurant has changed from the original two floors to twenty floors, of which the first fifteen floors are used to receive customers, and the last five floors are used to provide staff living. Each floor has an area of dot meters, and except for the staff floor, every floor used to entertain customers will receive a thousand dining chairs for free. Warm reminder, according to the current scale of Dimension Restaurant, the host staff is already seriously insufficient. It is recommended that the host should recruit more staff in the Forbidden World. In addition, many new dishes have also been added to the menu, please check the host as soon as possible. After the sound of the system's beep ended, Guo Huang's sleepiness was completely gone, and he instantly woke up. I drop a darling. How powerful is the system upgrade this time? Directly from the original 2 layers to 15 layers, and each layer has 2 kilometers. Also comes with a thousand dining chairs. Add up to a total of dot dining chairs. This means that the Dimension Restaurant can receive dot guests at one time from now on. Too exaggerated. System bullshit. After Guo Huang woke up, he immediately walked out of the room and into the corridor. After upgrading the restaurant, the floor where Guo Huang lived was changed to the 20th floor, which is the topmost floor. In addition to Guo Huang, Ali, Ban Yi, Abito, Jishue, and Weasel also lived on this floor. The way to go up and down the stairs is no longer a staircase, but an elevator. What's the matter? How did the restaurant become like this? After a few seconds, Jishue also came out of the room and looked around with a bewildered face. The restaurant has completely changed overnight, which is confusing to everyone. Don't be surprised early in the morning, it's a shame. 
Madame Ban sat on a sofa in the corridor and glanced at Jishue with contempt. Abito and Itachi were also sitting on the sofa. The three of them got up early and noticed the changes in the restaurant. To be honest, they weren't really surprised. Because some magical things often happen in a dimensional restaurant, they have long been used to it. Boss, let's go down to entertain the guests first. At this time, Abito, Itachi, Madara, and Shirsue entered the elevator, ready to go down and open for business. Well, go, I'll be there soon. Guo Huang didn't follow Mr. Ban into the elevator, he had to go back to the room to wash and dress up. However, the Uchiha spirit boys have just taken the elevator downstairs. Ollie walked out of the room in a daze, then stretched comfortably. Good morning, little brother. As soon as she left the room, Ollie made a very charming voice with her Yujia In. At this moment, Ollie was wearing pajamas, showing off his hot body. It looks very tempting and very sexy. Admiring Ali's appearance, Guo Huang blushed instantly, and Xiao Guo Huang also raised his head in disappointment. I thought to myself, it's too much too much. You actually wear so little. If you have the ability, don't wear anything. The idea of Guo Huang was just born, and Ali's pajamas suddenly burst directly. The debris in the sky suddenly drifted in the corridor, and only a few scraps of cloth were left to cover Ari's body. Although the clothes are bursting, the place that should be covered is covered, just like a bikini. But even so, it's amazing enough. In the next second, Ali froze in place for a moment, looking at Guo Huang at a loss, and did not recover for a while. Ali, dot. Guo Huang, dot. Guo Huang stared at Ali with dull eyes, he was stupid. What happened? I just made up for it secretly, and Ari broke his clothes. After observing Guo Huang's eyes, Ali finally reacted. Ah! I saw Ali screamed, turned around and ran back to the room quickly. This made Guo Huang look disappointed, how did Mad leave, I haven't seen enough. System, what happened just now? Reply to the host, the reason why Ari burst into clothes is entirely because of the host. After the system upgrade, the host is now the god of the dimensional restaurant. As long as it is in the dimensional restaurant, any thoughts of the host will come true. No matter who it is, as long as he steps into the dimensional restaurant, he will be controlled by the host. In the restaurant, the host can do whatever he wants, except for beating customers for no reason, you can do anything you want. Just like Ari, if the host wants to, she can even forcefully change her mind and let her take the initiative to post you. Because in the dimension restaurant, you are the absolute god. Omnipotent. After the system explained, Guo Huang was stunned. Absolute God. What do you want to do? Omnipotent. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? This wave of bullshit. Lao Tzu TM became a god after a night of sleep. Guo Huang's current mood can only be described in four words, that is, ecstatic. It was not until a long time passed that Guo Huang calmed down. Chapter 50 Take the elevator from the dot th floor to the first floor. The first thing that Itachi and Shushue did was to open the door of the restaurant. At this time, the outside of the restaurant was already crowded with people, and there was no end in sight. Since the other restaurants in Academy City have not been repaired, the residents can only come to Guohuang to eat. But this time, people come to Dimension Restaurant not because they are helpless, but really want to come here to eat. Because of the publicity of old customers, the reputation of Dimension Restaurant has been completely bursting. Now the name of the restaurant is known to everyone in the Academy City. This has led to more and more people who decide to come to Dimension Restaurant to have a meal and want to have a taste. At this time, countless customers poured into the restaurant in an instant. Looking at their number, there are at least several thousand people, which is really exaggerated. Guo Huang, Madara, Weasel, Jishue, and Abito were all stunned. Was it so fierce early in the morning? Boss, why did your restaurant suddenly become so big? The floor has become so high. Yes, yes, it wasn't so spacious when I came yesterday. If it wasn't for the sign hanging on the door of the restaurant, I would have thought I had come to the wrong place. As soon as they came in, some of the guests showed very puzzled expressions. However, Guo Huang did not answer their doubts, but walked to the customers with a lot of menus. Due to the upgrade of the system, there are several more dishes on the menu, 
and the effect of each dish is also marked. There are a few new dishes in this restaurant today, would you like to try them? After Guo Huang finished speaking, the guests were attracted by Guo Huang's words, and instantly forgot about the expansion of the restaurant. A new dish? It must be tried. So, the guests grabbed the menu one by one and watched it carefully. Menu. Shredded pork with green peppers, dot yen except delicious, no hanging. Maple tofu, dot yen can strengthen the body. Chocolate sundae, dot yen can boost brain power. Bacon pizza, dot yen can instantly restore the energy needed by oneself, ordinary people restore the body. Braised pork ribs, dot yen can instantly heal internal injuries. Flavored jerky, point million yen can double your strength instantly, and the effect lasts for half an hour. After reading the menu, all the guests were stunned, with black question marks all over their faces. Many new guests don't believe a dish has this effect. What about fooling a child? The old customers who came yesterday widened their eyes and immediately believed the menu. Because all the guests who ate the dishes yesterday, have already had the effect today. No wonder I feel my strength has grown so much today. It turned out to be the effect of that plate of maple tofu. Me too. When I woke up in the morning, I felt my brain was very clear and my body was much stronger. The boss's dishes are amazing. Damn it. If I hadn't read the menu, I would have thought I had awakened my superpowers. The customers who came to Dimension Restaurant yesterday all understood. No wonder their bodies became stronger, it turned out to be the effect of these dishes. The new customer was dumbfounded, and his eyes were full of shock. What the hell? Do these dishes really have such miraculous effects? Is that a lie? However, despite the disbelief of the new customers, they finally decided to order a try. After all, it is better to believe what it has than not to believe it does not exist. So, the guests walked into the restaurant one by one. After the upgrade of the system, each floor can accommodate a full thousand guests. So these thousands of guests, at most only three floors are enough to entertain. Itachi, Shishui, since we don't have enough manpower right now, you should use your shadow clone to top it first. Guo Huang looked at more and more guests, turned his head and glanced at Jishui and Itachi. The latter nodded immediately, indicating that there was no problem. Multiple, shadow clone technique. I saw that Shishui and Itachi used the technique of multiple shadow clones at the same time. 500 Shishui, 500 Itachi, a total of 1000 shadow clones. As soon as they came out, the shadow clone immediately went over to entertain the guests. With this group of shadow clones, it should be possible to barely keep the restaurant open for business. At this time, the phone at the front desk suddenly rang, and someone had already started to order takeout. So Guo Huang hurriedly took the elevator to the dot th floor, ready to enter the kitchen to cook for the guests. Abito also followed Guo Huang, waiting for the takeaway. Madam Ban went to the door of the restaurant and continued to stand guard, acting as a security guard. The atmosphere of the entire Dimension restaurant instantly became lively and busy. However, when the Dimension restaurant was busy, Mikoto was also taking lessons in Tokiwadai's classroom. During the class, Mikoto was absent-minded, turned her head and stared at the sky at the window in a daze. Thinking about Misaka's sister, Mikoto went crazy. She decided to skip class at noon to find Guo Huang. Ask Guo Huang to come forward and help her settle the matter of Sister Misaka. Meanwhile, in the Marvel Universe. Tony has been kidnapped by terrorists and taken to the cave. He is developing his own Iron Man armor and trying to become Iron Man Thanos, on the other hand, is continuing his battle in the universe, searching for the Infinity Stones. Unfortunately, no matter how much he searched, he couldn't find any clues about the Infinity Stones. This made Thanos very annoyed and angrier to slaughter other planets. At the same time, Dragon Ball World. Goku arrives at Bruma and Vegeta's luxurious villa early in the morning. His purpose is very simple, is to borrow money. By the way, let's talk to Vegeta again. Since eating Guo Huang's maple tofu last night, Wukong has found that his body has become stronger. Although the enhancement is very weak, it is indeed enhanced. So Goku couldn't wait to find Vegeta, intending to use Vegeta to experiment with changes in his body. Here are three seconds of silence for poor Vegeta. Chapter 51 
At noon, somewhere in the academy city. Alistair was soaking in the jar, and Iwas was hiding in the corner, guarding him. During this time, Alistair knew everything about the dimensional restaurant, except for the dimensional passage. Alistair is not at all interested in Madame Ban's behavior of destroying the restaurant and the effect of Guohuang Kai. As long as the appearance of the dimension restaurant does not affect his plans, Alistair will not pay attention to it. As for the Academy City, Alistair doesn't care. After all, his original purpose of establishing the Academy City was just to have a place to hide. By the way, use the Academy City to attract the arrival of the fantasy killer Kamiju Toma, and exercise Toma's ability in the Academy City. Now he plans to use the Absolute Ability Plan to hide people's eyes and ears and implement the Artificial Heaven Plan. As long as the Dimension Restaurant does not interfere with these plans, Alistair will not take the initiative to trouble Guohuang. At this moment, in the Dimension Restaurant. Not long after the morning guests left, more and more guests came to the restaurant to eat. Until noon, the first three floors of the Dimension Restaurant were full and full of customers. Busy up to now, Shursui and Itachi's bodies are both tired and sweaty, not to mention their shadow avatars. So, Itachi and Shursui released some of their shadow clones in advance, and suffered a small amount of exhaustion first. If all these thousand shadow clones are removed at one time, the fatigue that the shadow clones bear will all be conveyed to the main body, that is, Itachi and Shursui. At that time, the two of them may not be able to withstand the huge exhaustion. If you can't bear it, you will fall into a coma in an instant, or even lose your life in severe cases. This is why the technique of multiple shadows is listed as a forbidden technique. Boss, we can't go on like this anymore. If Itachi and I use shadow clones to entertain guests every day, then we might suddenly die suddenly at some point. In the kitchen on the dot th floor, Ji Shui, who came in to serve the dishes, looked at Guo Huang pitifully, saying that he was very uncomfortable right now. Guo Huang, on the other hand, continued to fry the big pot of rice, ignoring the water stopper. In fact, what Ji Shui said, Guo Huang knew that it was really not an option to go on like this. But this is really a helpless move, because the Dimension Restaurant is currently too short of people and needs a lot of waiters. In a short period of time, Guo Huang couldn't recruit so many employees in the magic forbidden world. The only way to do this is to let the shadow clones of Shi Shui and Itachi go to the top. As for the employees, we can only wait two days before we can find another way. At the same time, at the door of the Dimension Restaurant, Shokuho Misaki was observing the restaurant in front of him with curiosity written all over his face. Because just yesterday, when the Dimension Restaurant exploded, the researchers in the Academy City also learned about the magic of the restaurant. After confirmation by customers, researchers found that the Maypo Tofu in Dimension Restaurant can really improve brain power. So, the researchers immediately sent someone to buy a Maypo Tofu for research. Trying to decipher the mysteries of Maypo Tofu, they want to know why a mere dish can boost people's brain power. But in the end, it turned out that it was an ordinary dish, and they couldn't study anything. This is normal, because the effects of vegetables are given by the system, and of course they can't study the results. As for why Shokuhu Tsauchi knew about this, it was because she used her abilities to control the researchers in several academy cities a long time ago. Therefore, the controlled scientific researcher told Shokuhu about this for the first time. Hearing the news, Shokuhu hurriedly took the time to come here on purpose. She wanted to know the secrets of Maypo Tofu and wondered why this dish can boost people's brain power. This is very simple for her. As long as she uses the memory of the owner of the dimensional restaurant, the mystery of Maypo Tofu will be exposed to her without reservation. Welcome. At this time, Madame Ban looked at Shokuho who was at the door, and welcomed her with a very indifferent tone. Although he said that he was welcome, Shokuho didn't hear any sign of welcoming him. This caused Shokuho to frown with a slightly unhappy expression. Isn't it too ugly for this turtle with a killer hairstyle? That tone just didn't take me seriously. Shokuho muttered unhappily in the bottom of her heart, Madame Ban's attitude made her very angry. In this case, let's start with you, read your memory first, and then read the memory of the restaurant owner. Thinking of this, Shokuho took out the remote control directly from the handbag and pointed it at Banyi, ready to read Banyi's memory. Madame Madara looked puzzled, and looked at Shokuho with the look of an idiot. What is this woman holding? 
Why are you still targeting me? Is Delmar sick? Just as Banyu was puzzled, Shokuho pressed the remote control decisively and entered Banyu's memory. Well. I saw that Banyu suddenly widened his eyes, and there were a few more golden stars in his pupils. Unprepared, Madame Ban was hit in an instant and lost consciousness for a short time. Just at this time, Makoto and Kuriko happened to arrive from Tokuwatai, and they came to find Guo Huang. Eh. Shokuhu is praying. Before arriving at the Dimension Restaurant, Mikoto saw Madara and Shokuhu Misaki at the door of the restaurant from a distance. Seeing the remote control in Shokuhu's hand, and Madara, whose eyes were dull, Mikoto suddenly realized something. This woman. How dare you attack Master Ban? After realizing this, Mikoto immediately ran towards Shokuhu, she was worried that Shokuhu would endanger Madara. Sister, wait for me. Although Kuriko couldn't understand the situation, he immediately followed Makoto. Meanwhile, in front of the restaurant, Shokuho, who had been fine before, suddenly began to tremble slightly, and his eyes were full of fear. Because Shokuho saw something incredible in Madara's memory. Madame I's glorious deeds during his lifetime all appeared in Shokuho's mind. Especially in the memory of the Fourth Ninja War, Madara fought against the entire ninja coalition alone. With Madara's hands rising and falling, the mourning of the ninjas echoed everywhere. This scene can only be described by two idioms, that is, the blood is flowing into the river, and the corpses are everywhere. Do you want to dance too? Humph, the mere grains of sand are not half as good as mine. So, what are you going to do with the second one? Despair, this is Madara Uchiha, the power of God. It's time to deal with you next, beasts. At the end, Madame Ban stepped on the corpse of the ninja and looked down at the nine-tailed beast in front of him. It is about to launch the infinite moon reading to change this dark hell and this world of ninjas. Chapter 52 After reading Madara's memory, Shokuho's body trembled slightly, and there was fear in his eyes. I didn't expect that Ban in front of him would be such a terrifying existence, and I couldn't even count how many people he had killed. The despairing stun star and complete body Susanoo might have the power to destroy the academy city with one blow. There is also the last six path mode, which is just like what Madam said, a power like a god. After seeing these scenes, Shokuhu was like a child who had never seen the world, and his expression was full of fear. She was even scared to cry by Madam Ban, this kind of terrifying boss is not something she can provoke at all. However, just as Shokuho was lost in his memory, Mikoto and Kuriko came from afar. Stop Shokuho. What are you doing? I saw Mikoto angrily grabbing Shokuho's collar and shaking it vigorously. Being shaken by Mikoto like this, Shokuho instantly recovered from his fear, and hurriedly stopped reading Madara's memory. After that, Shokuho slumped on the ground. Tears even flowed out of his eyes uncontrollably due to excessive fear. You know, Madame Madara in front of her can easily destroy the existence of Academy City. Now that she has read Madame Ban's memory, if she gets mad at the other party, wouldn't she be cold? Eh. You. What's wrong with you? Seeing the fear and tears on Shokuho's face, Mikoto was instantly stunned. Didn't I just tug on your collar? As for being scared like that. Am I so scary? Sir, are you discharging her electricity? Looking at Shokuho who was slumped on the ground, Kuriko was also very puzzled. Of course not. I don't even know why she's like this. Mikoto immediately rejected Kuriko's words, feeling very aggrieved. Kuriko said it as if she was bullying Shokuho. At this time, Madame Ban's pupils also returned to their original state. Because Shokuho cancelled the control of Banyu, Banyu woke up instantly. As soon. As he woke up, Madame Ban glared at Shokuho with fury. While being manipulated by Shokuho, Madara noticed that his memory was leaking. Unexpectedly, this girl doll dared to shoot at him, and even read his memory without authorization. In normal times, Banyi didn't bother to care about such female dolls at all. But now, this girl is going too far, so Madame Ban decided to teach her a lesson. Humph, how dare you read my memory, I really don't know the sky and the sky. If that's the case, then I'll take a look at your memory too. After Banyi said that, he directly opened his samsara eye, and terrifying chakra erupted from all over his body. 
He intends to use the power of the human world to extract Shokuho's soul and deprive Shokuho of his memory. Ah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Seeing Madame Ban's posture, Shokuho stood up in fright, turned around and ran back without looking back, using the power of feeding. Joke. Didn't you see the fierce look in Madame Ban's eyes? If he gets caught, he will surely die. And Shokuho apologized while running. As a sports idiot, she actually disappeared within a few seconds, which shows how scared she is. Looking at Shokuho's back, Mikoto was stunned in place. Is this the Shokuho Shiki she knew? You can run fast. Madame Ban snorted coldly, hesitated for a while, and decided not to chase Shokuho. After all, the other party is just a stupid girl. If she is punished by the system in order to teach her a lesson, it will not be worth it. After listening to Madame Ban's words, Mikoto finally understood. It turns out that Shokuho was so scared because Madame Madara frightened her. But the current Mikoto has no time to pay attention to this kind of thing. The most important thing now is to find Guo Huang quickly. With every delay, one of Misaka's sisters may die. So, Mikoto hurriedly asked, Master Ban, is Guo Huang in the restaurant now? Madame Ban nodded and replied, Ah, the boss is cooking on the 20th floor. After Madara finished speaking, Mikoto and Kuriko were taken aback. Since the two of them were attracted by Shokuho just now, they didn't notice any changes in the Dimension restaurant. 20th floor. What's the meaning? Then, Mikoto and Kuriko looked up subconsciously. Only then did I discover that the dimensional restaurant, which was originally only two floors, turned into a twenty-story building overnight. Outrageous, outrageous. Heisey stared at the tall building in front of him, secretly feeling the magic of the dimensional restaurant. Mikoto reacted quickly and ran into the restaurant with Kuriko. At the same time, in the kitchen on the top floor of the dining room. Guo Huang was cooking while smoking a cigarette. Ali, who had already changed his clothes, stood beside Guo Huang, staring at him resentfully. Guo Huang's scalp was numb when Ali stared at him, and he became a little inattentive even when he was cooking. I said, can you stop staring at me? Go and help Itachi and Jishui. In the end, Guo Huang couldn't take it anymore and urged Ari to leave quickly. But Ali didn't move, and hummed angrily. Little brother Guo Huang, tell the truth, did you mess with my clothes this morning? I saw Ali stretched out his hand and pinched Guo Huang's waist hard, and then forced Guo Huang to answer in a questioning tone. It's a pity that Guo Huang is invincible in the restaurant, and no one can hurt him. This made Ali even more angry, don't think that the old lady really can't do anything about you. Little brother, you are really irresponsible. You have done such an outrageous thing but dare not admit it. If you want to see it, you can tell your sister directly, why bother to embarrass her with such a thing. Suddenly, Ali stretched out his hands and put his hands on Guo Huang's shoulders, showing a wicked smile. Immediately afterwards, Ali's hand began to slide down gradually, and Guo Huang's face flushed instantly. Ali's idea was very simple, she wanted to straighten Guo Huang, then turned around and left gracefully. Let Guo Huang stay in the kitchen and feel uncomfortable. You. What are you doing? Guo Huang turned back and stared at Ali, a little overwhelmed. I go. Sister, don't do it. Who can stand like you? Lao Tzu is an innocent virgin, a sensitive group, so I can't be sullied by you like this. Ahem, but, if you insist on the overlord to bow, then I can only surrender with tears. However, just when Guo Huang was full of expectations, the kitchen door was suddenly pushed open by Mikoto. Boss. I have something important to tell you. Chapter 53 Boss, I have something important to tell you. As soon as Makoto walked into the kitchen, she looked around, looking for Guo Huang's figure everywhere. At this time, Guo Huang was with Ah Li, seeing Guo Huang's confused expression and Ah Li's unscrupulous hands, Mei Qin's eyes widened. What the hell? What are these two doing? At this time, Guo Huang was also confused. Unexpectedly, this kind of thing was bumped into by Makoto, which made Guo Huang more or less embarrassed. Ari, on the other hand, maintained a charming expression, acting more naturally, as if she couldn't see Mikoto. Yes. I'm sorry boss, I'm sorry to bother you. 
After reacting, Mikoto's face flushed instantly, she stammered when she spoke, and hurriedly walked out of the kitchen and closed the door. Uh, did she misunderstand something? Mikoto's hurried escape made Guo Huang even more confused. We didn't do anything, what are you doing? It's okay, little brother Guo Huang, as long as we're not embarrassed, it's her who is embarrassed. Ali hugged Guo Huang from behind, and continued to tease Guo Huang as he did just now. It's not all because of you. Besides, is this an embarrassing question? Guo Huang gently pushed Ali away, finally feeling unbearable. If he continued to make trouble with Ari like this, he was afraid that he would not be able to help Ari to rectify the FA on the spot. So Guo Huang decided to quickly send Ali away. It just so happened that Mikoto also came, so you can take advantage of this time to ask Mikoto what she has to do with her. Okay, don't make a fuss, the big pot of rice is ready, hurry up and serve it to the guests, I'll go see what happened to Mikoto. After Guo Huang finished cooking, he wiped the oil on his hands with a towel, turned and walked out of the kitchen. Oh, what a fun little brother. When Guo Huang left, Ali showed disappointment. She was so charming, but Guo Huang was still unmoved, which led her to suspect that Guo Huang was a dead gay again. At the same time, in the hallway outside the kitchen, Mikoto was leaning against the wall in a daze with a blushing face, her eyes a little lonely. To be honest, when she recalled the scene of Guo Huang and Ali just now, her mood suddenly became very complicated. Mikoto couldn't explain this feeling, and she didn't understand why she felt this way. But in her heart, it was very difficult. After getting along for this period of time, although Mikoto didn't show it on the surface, she actually had a great affection for Guo Huang unknowingly. This kind of goodwill probably originated from the moment Guo Huang protected her yesterday. Whether it was Guo Huang's protection or Guo Huang's strength, Mikoto couldn't help but fall for it. Even after she learned about the plan of the absolute capable person, she subconsciously regarded Guo Huang as her only support. Sister, what's the matter with you? At this time, Kuriko, who had arrived late, saw Mikoto squatting in the corner and felt very puzzled. What kind of stimulation did her elder sister get? Why did you suddenly become so depressed? After hearing Kuriko's voice, Mikoto finally stopped her thoughts. Eh. No nothing. I saw Mikoto hurriedly waved her hand, saying that she was fine, and told Kuriko not to think too much. However, at this moment, Guo Huang just came out of the kitchen and came to Mikoto and Kuriko. What's the matter, Mikoto, what's the matter with me? Guo Huang lit a cigarette and put it in his mouth, looking at Mikoto curiously. The other party came to him in such a hurry, there must be something important. Looking at Guo Huang in front of her, Meiqin's eyes couldn't help but get a little rosy. No one knew how desperate she was last night, and no one knew how much pressure she was under. In order to sabotage the plan of the absolute capable, Mikoto almost did everything possible. But she could not defeat Accelerator by herself alone. The only person who can help her is Guo Huang in front of her. Thinking of this, Mikoto rushed forward and held Guo Huang's hand tightly. Boss, there is one thing I want to ask you. When Mikoto said these words, there was a slight weeping in her tone. Guo Huang was a little surprised to find Mikoto like this. With Mikoto's arrogant personality, she would take the initiative to ask him for help. It seemed that the other party was definitely in big trouble. Guo Huang, who had read the catalog of forbidden magical books, began to secretly guess, could it be that Mikoto learned about Sister Misaka? And many more. Miss Misaka. Guo Huang recalled his sister Misaka, and his eyes suddenly lit up. Right now, the next Yuan restaurant is seriously short of people, and Guo Huang is worried that he can't recruit employees. Judging from the current timeline, Accelerator should not have killed too many Misaka sisters, and it is estimated that there are at least that remaining sisters. If they were hired as waiters, wouldn't the problem of lack of staff be completely solved? Although doing so would destroy Alistair's artificial heaven plan, Guo Huang didn't care so much. Anyway, Lao Tzu is invincible in the Dimension restaurant. Even the devil can't hurt me. How can you, Alistair, take me? So, Guo Huang nodded to Mikoto and said, Okay, then come into my room and talk. After Guo Huang finished speaking, he snapped his fingers. Immediately afterwards, Guo Huang, Kuriko and Mikoto disappeared in the corridor in an instant. The next second, he appeared in Guo Huang's room. 
As long as he is in the Dimension Restaurant, Guo Huang is a god, and he can do whatever he wants. What happened? Makoto watched Guo Huang's room and was taken aback. Is this spatial movement? Haizi was also stunned, could Guo Huang also have the ability to move in space? And Guo Huang made it to the bed, flicked the cigarette ashes, and said plainly, Tell me, what's the matter? Chapter 54 Half an hour later, in Guo Huang's room, Mikoto and Haizi were sitting beside the bed, looking at Guo Huang anxiously. Just now, Mikoto had told Guo Huang all the plans about the absolute ability person without reservation, and begged Guo Huang for help. Now, it depends on whether Guo Huang is willing to help her. If even Guo Huang is unwilling to help her, then Mikoto really doesn't see any hope. And at this moment, Mikoto was actually very unconfident in her heart. Because Mikoto knew that she didn't get along with Guo Huang for a long time, and their relationship was not very good. In addition, choosing to help her would be against the entire academy city, and she would get into a lot of trouble. So Mikoto believes that Guo Huang is unlikely to be willing to help her. Because of this, Mikoto's expression was so uneasy, she was afraid that Guo Huang would reject her. Boss, please, please save those children. Suddenly, Mikoto couldn't help but burst out, and she held Guo Huang's hand tightly again. Her spirit has completely collapsed, and tears are falling down drop by drop. Those children were slaughtered by others because of me. It was my DNA that brought them into this world, and it was I who killed them. It's all my fault, it's my inability to save them. So. So please help me. Help me save them. Please, boss. As Mikoto spoke, she lowered her head and cried bitterly, her heart was full of guilt for Sister Misaka. Sister. Elder Sister. Seeing Mikoto so sad, Kuriko was also very sad, but she didn't know how to comfort her. Guo Huang, on the other hand, looked at Mikoto helplessly. He wanted to tell Mikoto that even if you didn't ask me, I plan to save Miss Misaka. After all, I have to ask them to work for me. But before Guo Huang could speak, Mikoto interrupted him first. If you're willing to save them, you can ask me to do anything. Even if I'll be a waiter with you for the rest of my life, I'll be willing to do it. After Mikoto finished speaking, Kuriko couldn't help it anymore. Her beloved elder sister has been begging Guo Huang like this, and she wants to accompany her. Boss, Kuriko also asks you, as long as you are willing to help my elder sister, then Kuriko can stay in the restaurant forever with my elder sister and give you free work. Haizi stared at Guo Huang with firm eyes, waiting for Guo Huang's reply. After listening to the words of the two, Guo Huang was already stunned. Are you pitting yourself like this? Did I say I don't help? But on second thought, Guo Huang quickly raised a smile. After all, this is an employee who was picked up for nothing, and a fool would not want it. You said it yourself, I didn't force you. I saw that Guo Huang responded calmly to Mikoto and Kuriko, but he was actually laughing inwardly. Originally, he just wanted to comfort Mikoto in the room. After all, Mikoto is his employee, and he has the responsibility to ease the mentality of the employees. Unexpectedly, there would be such a windfall, which would make Mikoto and Kuriko willing to become regular employees of the Dimension Restaurant. And the price Guo Huang has to pay is to save the Misaka sister he originally planned to save. So this transaction is completely TM blood to make a profit. After listening to Guo Huang's words, Mikoto and Haizi were stunned for a while. Guo Huang agreed. Did you agree so easily? You agreed to save those children. After reacting, Mikoto's mood instantly brightened. She originally thought that Guo Huang would probably not lend a helping hand, but she agreed so quickly. The matter of saving Miss Misaka is absolutely stable. Through this, it is not difficult to see that both Mikoto and Kuriko believe in Guo Huang's strength. After all, even Mr. Ban and Abito who are employees are so powerful, then Guo Huang must be a proper super boss. Well, of course, starting tomorrow, no Misaka sister will die. Guo Huang nodded, indicating that he agreed to this matter. Afterwards, Guo Huang took out the walkie-talkie from his pocket and prepared to call Abito. Due to the popularity of the Dimension Restaurant, Guo Huang equipped each employee with a walkie-talkie. As long as Guo Huang speaks into the walkie-talkie, all employees can hear it at the same time. Abito, stop delivering food for now. 
Go and search every corner of Academy City and help me find a research institute. If you find it, report it to me immediately. After Guo Huang finished shouting, Abito's voice also came from the walkie-talkie. Okay, I know the boss. After Abito finished speaking, he put the walkie-talkie in his pocket, stopped delivering food, and started looking for the research institute hidden in Academy City. The screen turned to the other side, Guo Huang also put down the walkie-talkie, lit a cigarette again and put it in his mouth. Next, he just needs to wait quietly for the news of Abito. Because there are many research institutes in the Academy City, Abito will find one of them sooner or later. At that time, Guo Huang can directly let Abito use the human way to deprive the memories of those researchers. In this way, Abito will instantly know the absolute ability plan, including the specific location of each Misaka sister. After that, Guo Huang ordered Abito to use Shen Wei to bring the Misaka sisters to the Dimension Restaurant. By the time Alistair finds out, it's too late, let him slowly become incompetent and furious. I'm going to stir fry. You go to other floors to entertain guests first. The Misaka sisters will be taken to the Dimension Restaurant tonight. Guo Huang glanced at Mikoto and Kuriko, and walked out of his room. On the other hand, Mikoto and Kuriko's eyes widened in disbelief. Especially Mikoto, she racked her brains last night and tried everything she could to save the Misaka sisters. As a result, Guo Huang asserted that the matter was solved in less than an hour from the beginning to the present. Chapter 55 Well, it's delicious. At half past eight in the evening, in the Dimension Restaurant. After marriage, Photon ate all the dishes on the plate and wiped his mouth contentedly. She heard about the magic of Dimension Restaurant and came here to eat. Even at, colon dot in the evening, guests continued to come to Dimension Restaurant for dinner. However, Madame Ban blocked the door and no longer allowed guests to enter the restaurant for dinner. Because the Dimension Restaurant will no longer receive ordinary guests after dot o'clock, this is the rule of the system. At the same time, on the twentieth floor, Guo Huang finished copying a large pot of rice again and was sitting on the dining chair in the hall to rest. Sitting on the chair with Guo Huang were Itachi, Shu Shui, Ari, Mikoto, and Haizi. Since the proofing is about to be done soon, the guests are basically almost gone. The rest of the guests, it is enough to leave it to Itachi and Shirsui's shadow clone to take care of. Boss, when are you going to save those children? Suddenly, Mikoto showed an eager expression and started urging Guo Huang. Although Guo Huang had already agreed to their request, he said he wanted to save Sister Misaka. But from noon to the present, Guo Huang did nothing, which made Mikoto lose her patience. You know, every few minutes, a Misaka sister may be killed by Accelerator. Don't worry, there should be good news soon. Guo Huang took a leisurely sip of tea and played with his mobile phone calmly. Looking at Guo Huang's appearance, Mikoto felt a little angry. Is this guy reliable? But even if Mikoto was angry again, she didn't dare to express it. After all, Guo Huang is her last hope now, so she can't offend Guo Huang. However, just when Mikoto was in a hurry, Abito's voice suddenly came from the walkie-talkies of Guo Huang, Itachi, and Jishui. Boss, I just found a very hidden basement. There are a lot of electronic equipment in it, and there are some materials that I can't understand. I don't know if this place is the research institute you are looking for. After Abito's voice ended, Guo Huang smiled. Look, isn't the good news here? So, Guo Huang picked up the walkie-talkie and started a conversation with Abito. Is there anyone in that basement? Yes, I did an inventory. There are more than dot people in white coats, all of whom have been subdued by me now. Since this is the case, then you can directly use the human way to extract the souls of this group of people and check their memories. Ah, uh, I see. After the conversation, Guo Huang put the walkie-talkie on the dining table, lit a cigarette and put it in his mouth. By bringing soil, he can be sure that the hidden basement is the research institute for researchers. After Abito obtains the memories of those researchers, he can bring back all the Misaka sisters. Meanwhile, in the institute. Abito opened his samsara eye and stared at the researchers in front of him. It didn't take long for Abito to use the power of the human world to extract the souls of all people. After being taken away by Abito, the group of researchers died immediately and fell to the ground one by one. Afterwards, Abito instantly obtained the memories of their life and learned about the plan of the Absolute Capable. 
At the same time, he also learned where all the Misaka sisters were hiding. The amount of knowledge combined by more than dot scientific researchers is indeed terrifying. In a short period of time, Abito turned from a soft-shelled turtle who didn't understand anything to an excellent scientist. After doing all this, Abito will report to Guo Huang immediately. Boss, according to your order, I have already extracted the souls of these people. Then you should know the location of Miss Misaka's sister by now. Use your divine might to bring me back all of them. Oh, I see. Abito put down the walkie-talkie, ready to execute Guo Huang's order. At present, Dot Misaka sisters have been massacred by Accelerator to Dot remaining. Among them, Dot Misaka sisters were hidden in the city, and Dot were in the laboratory. With this information, Abito immediately activated his divine power and disappeared in place, and went to find Miss Misaka. In the Dimension Restaurant, Guo Huang flicked the ashtray into the ashtray. Wait, within half an hour, Abito will bring all the Misaka sisters here. After Guo Huang finished speaking, Mei Qin suddenly showed grateful eyes. But on second thought, Makoto felt a little guilty again. Although Guo Huang rescued Sister Misaka, he also offended Academy City. I'm sorry, boss, I've caused you trouble. I'm afraid that from tomorrow, you will be retaliated by the senior officials of the Academy City. Mikoto looked at Guo Huang apologetically, she really didn't know how to repay the other party. Guo Huang, on the other hand, waved his hand indifferently, indicating that the problem is not big. Let alone an academy city, what if all the forces in the demon forbidden world and the demon god unite together to deal with him? Anyway, in Dimension Restaurant, Guo Huang is an invincible existence. No matter who comes to find fault, he can make the other party come and go. Attention all employees. The Dimension Channel will be opened in three seconds, please show all your enthusiasm to entertain the guests. At this time, the sound of the system suddenly sounded. Then, a white hole appeared out of thin air in the hall on the 20th floor, which is where Guo Huang and the others were. Okay, don't sit still, get up and work. With Guo Huang's order, Ari, Makoto, Haizi, Itachi, and Jishue all stood up and walked to the Dimension Passage. Chapter 56 after the dimension passage was opened, Madame Ban happened to take the elevator to the twentieth floor. Ali, go to my room and fetch the note I wrote. Guo Huang sat in the chair and instructed Ali very leisurely. Since the dimensional passages are all guests from other worlds, they do not understand the rules here. Therefore, Guo Huang wrote the rules of the dimension restaurant on a note this afternoon to introduce the dimension restaurant to the guests. Little brother, you are really bad. You know how to call your sister from day to night. Ali blinked his eyelashes and gave Guo Huang a resentful look. If you don't pick so many people here, and insist on letting the old lady take it, it's obviously malicious revenge. Although Ali was very dissatisfied, he still succumbed to Guo Huang's arrogance and obediently went to the room to get a note. Anyway, the days to come are still long, and sooner or later my mother will pinch you to the death. And Guo Huang looked at the note in Ali's hand and snapped his fingers lightly. Then, the note was detached from Ali's hand and hung on the wall next to the dimension passage. At this location, as long as the guests come, they can see the note as soon as possible. The contents of the note are as follows. 1. Guests who come to this restaurant, please note that this is not the world you are in, please keep in mind. 2. There are big bosses in this restaurant, please don't do anything, and don't provoke other customers, otherwise you will be responsible for the consequences. 3. All guests who dare to eat Ba Wang's meal will be hung up and exposed to the public. Finally, a warm reminder, there are gluttonous fox demons in this restaurant. If you can't bear the begging of fox demons, please eat in a civilized manner. Ali, dot. After reading the note written by Guo Huang, Ali was stunned for a moment. What TM is begging? Do you really take my wife as a beggar? Also civilized feeding. Vote for your sister. Ali was numb from Guo Huang's scalp and didn't know what to say. Mikoto and Kuriko couldn't help laughing out loud, Guo Huang swearing and not swearing was true six. However, just as Ali was making jokes, the Dimension Restaurant finally welcomed its first guest tonight. Ha! Huh. Where is this place? Sakata Jinshir from the Gintama world came out of the Dimension Passage and looked around in confusion. As soon as he came to the restaurant, he saw the note hanging on the wall. 
So, Sakata Insher suddenly looked confused. It turns out that this is not the world I live in anymore. A ghost. Who is this prankster? Do you play people like fools? Just as Sakata Jinsher was about to spit out a few words, a neat welcome sounded from the side. Welcome to Dimension Restaurant. I saw Madara, Shursue, Itachi, Ari, Kuriko, Mikoto and others welcome Sakata Jintoki in unison. The moment he saw Uchiha's spirit boys, Sakata Jinsher immediately widened his eyes and showed an expression of disbelief. Because in the world of Gintama, there are also comics such as One Piece, Naruto, Dragon Ball, Bleach, Gundam and so on. Therefore, Bantian Insher recognized Madara, Shursue, and Itachi for the first time. But even so, he still refused to believe it was true. Are you kidding me? In order to do this kind of prank, do you all rely on Spree to be so similar? However, just when Sakata Insher was shocked, a spiky head suddenly came out of the dimension passage behind him and passed him shoulder to shoulder. Boss, I'm here again. I've brought enough money this time. I saw Wukong came to the restaurant with a smile and held up a large bag full of Japanese yen. He borrowed all this money from Boma. Seeing this scene, Guo Huang expressed a warm welcome. Mikoto and Kuriko quickly stepped forward together and invited Goku to order food. Humph. When Ali and Banyu saw Wukong coming, they snorted coldly, and their eyes were full of resentment. Last night, one of them was eaten with tofu, and the other was deflated in each other's hands. Therefore, these two must have no good feelings for Wukong. This. Is this Kakarot? Sakata Insher looked at Wukong's back, his mouth was so wide that he could put an egg in it. Because Goku is so realistic, just like in the comics. Am I crazy? Or is the world crazy? Are they really Goku and Bani? At this moment, Sakata Insher even had some doubts about life, and his expression could no longer be described as shock. At this time, a hand suddenly patted Sakata Jintoki on the shoulder. A thirsty Kiyazmi, man, can you let it go? Tony, who had just come out of the dimensional passage, stared at Sakata Jintoki with an idiot-like look. Because Sakata Insher stood at the door of the dimension passage like a fool, blocking Tony's way. Hearing the familiar voice, Guo Huang immediately turned his head to look at Tony, and was suddenly a little surprised. What's the situation? Wasn't Tony kidnapped by terrorists and taken to the cave? It's only been about three days, why did you come to the restaurant so soon? At the same time, Sakata Insher subconsciously hid aside and also turned his head away. After seeing Tony, he immediately breathed a sigh of relief, and finally someone he didn't know came. Hey! Long time no see boss, I really miss you. I saw Tony walking towards Guo Huang very excitedly, his eyes full of joy. Tony has indeed been taken to the cave by terrorists since the last time he left the restaurant. But he soon successfully developed the first generation Iron Man armor and escaped from the terrorists. And this is all thanks to Guo Huang. If it wasn't for Tony who has been eating Guo Huang's Maypo tofu and chocolate sundae these days, he has improved his physical strength and brain power. Then he would never be able to create the first generation Iron Man armor by hand in such a short period of time. Chapter 57 Hey! Long time no see boss, I really miss you. Tony walked over and gave Guo Huang a big hug, showing a sincere smile. If it wasn't for Guo Huang's dish, it would take a long time for him to escape from the terrorists. And your brother, it's good to see you. After Tony hugged Guo Huang, he turned and patted Madame Ban on the shoulder. It can be seen that he is really happy now. This experience not only allowed him to create the Iron Man armor, but also made him a lot more mature. Because he still saw Ethan's death, and the dark side of Stark Industries. These factors all caused Tony to become the real Iron Man. At the same time, Sakata Jintoki also found a place to sit down and was looking at Wukong not far away with dubious belief. Now he is still doubting the identities of Wukong, Madara and others, and he doesn't know whether the other party is real or not. Boss. Bring all the dishes on the menu. Wukong, who was standing at the front desk, directly raised the menu in his hand, looking impatient. Okay, please wait a moment. Itachi took the menu and nodded to Goku. Afterwards, Mikoto and Kuriko went to the kitchen to serve Goku some dishes. 
Guo Huang, on the other hand, left Tony and sat on the side very leisurely, drinking tea and playing with his mobile phone. Before the opening of the Dimension Channel, Guo Huang had already prepared a lot of dishes in advance. Mikoto and Kuriko only need to warm up in the microwave and serve them directly to guests. So Guo Huang doesn't have to do any work now, and is very leisurely. At this time, Tony also walked to the front desk and began to observe the menu in his hand. Shredded pork with green peppers, dot yen except delicious, no hanging. Maple tofu, dot yen can strengthen the body. Chocolate sundae, dot yen can boost brain power. Bacon pizza, dot yen can instantly restore the energy needed by oneself, ordinary people restore the body. Braised pork ribs, dot yen can instantly heal internal injuries. Flavored jerky, point million yen can double your strength instantly, and the effect lasts for half an hour. Omega. Are you kidding me? Tony looked at the menu in his hand, and his eyes were suddenly full of shock. What shocked him was not that the Dimension restaurant had new dishes, but the effect of these dishes. Such an awesome dish. You must try it. So Tony didn't hesitate and ordered the menu all over again. At this time, another old customer came to the Dimension restaurant, Thanos. As soon as Thanos arrived, he saw Tony who was ordering food and said hello casually. Tony, long time no see. Hey man, find a place to sit, I've finished ordering the dishes. Tony found Thanos and hurriedly walked over and patted him on the back. The two were like old friends who hadn't seen each other for many years, and they found a table in the hall to sit down together. Just as the two of them sat down, a guest with a huge sword and a black hat walked into the Dimension restaurant. That's right, this person is the number one swordsman from the pirate world, Hawkeye Myhawk. Ha! Huh. Where is this? Hawkeed Myhawk looked around calmly, just now he was drifting around in the sea. As a result, he suddenly encountered the dimensional passage, and out of curiosity, he stepped into the passage. After observing for four weeks, Hawkeye Myhawk finally fixed his gaze on the note on the wall. After reading the contents of the note, Hawkeye Myhawk felt it was absurd, and snorted in disdain. At the same time, Banya also discovered the arrival of Hawkeye Myhawk. Welcome. I saw Madam Ban folded his arms and welcomed each other very indifferently. Not only the eyes are indifferent, but the tone is even more indifferent, giving the impression of a bad attitude. Eagle-eyed Myhawk looked at Madam Ban's arrogant appearance, and suddenly became angry for no reason. The man in front of him is actually better than him. That look of contempt on his face is simply unbelievable. So, Hawkeed Myhawk actually pulled out the black knife on his back and looked at Banyi with murderous intent. Humph, although I don't know what that white hole is, it's unforgivable that you guys dare to tease me like this. Hawkeye Myhawk said as he walked towards Madame Madara. Looking at this posture, he definitely intends to attack Madame Madara. His character is so weird. In the original One Piece novel, just because he was disturbed to rest, he chased him from the Great Route to the East China Sea and wiped out all the Crick pirates. What do you want to do? Madara stared coldly at Myhawk, the eagle-eyed man in front of him, and frowned. First Goku from yesterday, then Myhawk from Hawkeye today. Why do they all have to do things in the Dimension Restaurant? You really don't want to see him as a security guard. In the next second, all the guests in the Dimension Restaurant were attracted by the movements of Madame Madara and Hawkeye Myhawk. What? Someone dares to make trouble. There's a good show to watch now. Tony took off his sunglasses and looked curiously at Hawkeye Myhawk. What? Fight again. Thanos realized that something was wrong and immediately got up and found a place to hide. After all, no one knows if this Hawkeye Myhawk is a super boss like Wukong. If it is really a big guy, it is bound to break out in a devastating battle, and Thanos doesn't want to be involved in that kind of battle anymore. Ha! Huh. What's wrong with you, Thanos? Seeing Thanos' reaction, Tony suddenly showed a look of doubt. Having never experienced last night's epic duel, Tony couldn't understand why Thanos was hiding. Oh! That guy looks really good. Goku smiled naively while watching Madara and Hawkeye Myhawk, his expression full of anticipation. Because Goku is eager to see people stronger than himself, and also likes watching others fight at close range. However, when everyone was watching the excitement with curiosity, 
only Sakata Jintoki's eyes widened. Eh. That. That person seems to be. Hawkeye Myhawk. I saw Sakata Incher tremblingly pointed to Myhawk, the eagle eye, and his eyes were full of shock again. Chapter 58 Guo Huang took a sip of tea and looked at Banyi and Hawkeye Myhawk with great interest. Conjured a bucket of popcorn out of thin air and started watching a play while eating. Cooking every day is very boring, and it is also good to enjoy the Battle of Banyi once in a while as an entertainment program to relieve boredom. However, when Guo Huang was watching the battle leisurely, Ari and Haizi suddenly ran over and sat next to Guo Huang. Master Ban, I'm optimistic about you. Kill him. Come on. Madam Ban will win. As soon as they sat down, Ari and Haizi ate the popcorn made by Guo Huang, and then acted as a cheerleader for Ban Yi. Shi Shui also walked to the front desk with two glasses of juice and handed Itachi a glass of juice. Itachi, who do you think will win? I'll bet on Madam Ban. It's hard to say, if the opponent's strength is Kakarot's level, Madam Ban will have no chance of winning. Itachi took the juice and calmly analyzed the situation. These bastards. Hearing the whispers in the distance, Madame Madara turned his head and glared at them very upset. Dima, it's fine if you don't come here to help, and she hides and speaks sarcastically. Humph, if I were you, I would obediently abide by the rules on the note. I saw Madame Ban look at Hawkeye Myhawk indifferently, with a hint of anger in his eyes. And between the words, Banyi has opened his samsara eyes and is ready to take action at any time. You're still pretending to be dead when you're about to die. If you are here in other worlds, then I would like to see what the powerhouses of other worlds are capable of. Hawkeye Myhawk raised the huge black knife in his hand and slashed a green slash in the direction of Madame Madara. Looking at the slash in front of him, Madara frowned gradually. These days, who dares to ride on Lao Tzu's head and shit? Who do you look down on? Tigers don't show their power, you treat me as a sick cat. This guy with the black knife must be beaten up. Thinking of this, Madame Ban raised a hand directly and activated the ability of Hungry Ghost Dao. Then, the slash in front of him was completely absorbed by Madara. What? After seeing this scene, Hawkeye Myhawk showed an unbelievable expression. His slash can easily split a hill. As a result, it was easily cracked by the other party. Gintian Tianin. However, just when Hawkeye Myhawk was surprised, Madara suddenly released a powerful gravitational force. Immediately afterwards, Hawkeye Myhawk was instantly attracted by gravity, and the whole person flew forward. Madame Madara seized the opportunity and grabbed Hawkeye Myhawk by the neck, causing the black knife in his hand to fall to the ground. Well, the moment he was strangled, Hawkeye Myhawk cried out in pain, showing a painful expression. Beautiful. As expected of Mr. Ban. Ah. Kuriko is going to get wet. Ari and Kuriko immediately gave thumbs up, licking Madara when they caught Madam. Huh, looks like I won the bet, Itachi. Ah. Uh. Actually, I already guessed the result, Mr. Banyan. Shushue and Itachi drank the juice heartlessly and chatted leisurely. Sakata Jintoki on the side also widened his eyes, his eyes full of disbelief. What the hell? They are really Madara Uchiha and Myhawk. After reacting, Sakata Jinchur immediately hugged his head and complained loudly. After witnessing the whole process, Sakata Jintoki's doubts about the Dimension Restaurant have been completely dissipated. Listening to the flattery around him, Madame Ban also raised a smile arrogantly. You. Who are you? At this time, Hawkeed Myhawk stared at Madame Madara in front of him, his face very ugly. The people around seem to call this guy Madara, but he has never heard of this character in the pirate world. Could it be that this is really another world as described on the note? Orishet, are the staff in this restaurant so strong? Tony looked at Myhawk, the eagle-eyed man in Madara's hands, and he was dumbfounded. After coming to the restaurant for so long, he always thought that Mr. Ban was a native of the country, but he didn't expect this killer Matt to be so hot. It's so boring, to be subdued so quickly. When Wukong saw the strength of Hawkeye Myhawk, he immediately lost interest in him. This kind of strength may not be weak in other worlds. But in Wukong's eyes, it is a matter of one punch. As for why Banyu was able to hold out for so long under Wukong yesterday, 
it was because Banny's self-healing ability was too perverted. Eh. Yeah. What happened? Mikoto, who had just come out of the kitchen, was holding the dishes and looked at Madame Madame with a confused face, not understanding the situation at all. What happened? Could it be that Mr. Ban had a fight with someone else just now? Ding! It was detected that Hawkeye Myhawk maliciously attacked employees in this restaurant. This behavior has seriously broken the rules of this restaurant. As the owner of this restaurant, ask the host to punish him appropriately. Along with Hawkeye Myhawk being subdued by Madara, the voice of the system suddenly sounded from Guo Huang's head. Now that the system has spoken, Guo Huang can no longer be idle. Now in the Dimension Restaurant, Guo Huang is like a god. Any of his thoughts will come true. However, Hawkeye Myhawk didn't make any big mistakes after all, so Guo Huang only needs to teach him a small lesson. After some deliberation, Guo Huang finally decided to hang Hawkeye Myhawk for public display. I saw Guo Huang snapped his fingers lightly, and then Hawkeye Myhawk disappeared from Madame Ban's hands in an instant. Chapter 59 It is only note from the author. Chapter 60 At half past nine in the evening, in the Dimension Restaurant. Hawkeye Myhawk's body was bound by iron chains and hung in the hall. Below him is a crowd watching the excitement. Such as Guo Huang, Tony, Thanos, Wu Kong, Sakata Inshir, Haizi, Mikoto, Itachi, Shirsui, Madara. That gaze seemed to be looking at a monkey. Hawkeye Myhawk bowed his head very aggrievedly, his expression full of embarrassment. Please stop looking at me. I really want to die. You know, in the pirate world, he has never been so humiliated. Knowing that he would end up like this, he would rather die than pretend to be this group. The most terrible thing is not the strange eyes of people, but the aroma of the food. Looking at the incomparably tempting dishes on the table, Hawkeye Myhawk was stunned. Because these dishes are so delicious. Looking at Tony and Thanos's food, we know that this dish must be delicious. If he hadn't broken the rules of the restaurant just now, he might be eating these dishes now. Thinking of this, Hawkeye Myhawk can be said to regret his bowels. Mad, this time really kicked the iron plate. Shame on you. How pitiful. Mikoto drank the juice and cast a sympathetic look. Ali was holding the popcorn and mocked mercilessly, you deserve it, don't pretend to be that bee if you don't have that strength. As soon as these words came out, Thanos and Wukong nodded in unison. Yep, that makes sense. Who asked you to ask for trouble and challenge the restaurant staff as soon as you came up? It can only be said that it is self-inflicted to fall into this fate now. Miss Ali, you haven't seen each other these days, do you miss me? Suddenly, Tony picked up a plate of braised pork ribs and winked at Ari, meaning it was self-evident. In order to allow Ari to come over to accompany them to dinner, Tony gave full play to his advantages as a rich man. That's right, Lao Tzu is rich, as long as you obediently come over to accompany us to have a meal, we will keep you delicious and spicy. Aya why don't you want to, people miss you. Seeing the dish in Tony's hand, Ali hurriedly walked over, and his nine tails swayed at the same time. Hearing what Tony meant, she knew that she could eat again. Sakata Jintoki saw Ari's tail and showed an expression of sudden realization. It turned out that the fox demon mentioned on the note was this woman, and she was so beautiful. At this moment, even Sakata Jinshir couldn't help wanting to invite Ari to dinner just like Tony did. Unfortunately, he is a pauper. I can't even afford to eat by myself, let alone invite Ari to dinner. Guest, your dish is ready. At this time, Kuriko and Jishue came to Wukong with a large pile of dishes, and put all the six dishes on Wukong's table. Wow! I can finally eat it. It looks delicious. Wukong wiped the saliva from his mouth, even forgot to take the chopsticks, so he grabbed it with his hands. The food looks very ugly, making Haizi and Jishue's eyes twitch. Ali even more angrily glanced at Wukong, and said, This food looks like the reincarnation of a starving ghost, alas, what a sloppy man. After Ali scolded Wukong, he continued to eat the flavored jerky on the table. Unexpectedly, Tony actually followed the trend and mocked, Yeah, like a wild monkey. Puff. After Thanos listened to Tony's taunt, the food in his mouth suddenly spurted out, splashing Tony's face. Others don't know the horror of Wukong, but he knows that, he is definitely a proper super boss. 
Ali is an employee of the restaurant, even if she mocks the boss, it's fine, because Guo Huang supports her. You are a mere mortal, and you dare to follow others to ridicule Yu Kang, the super boss. This in case if you anger the other party, you can slap you to death with just a slap. What's wrong with you, man? The next second, Tony hurriedly wiped his face with the handkerchief on the dining table, and looked at Thanos in confusion. And Thanos frantically gave Tony a wink, signaling him to shut up. This confuses Tony. Why did Thanos suddenly wink him? Doesn't he seem to have done anything wrong? However, just as Thanos was frightened, Goku also turned his head to look at them. This made Thanos startled instantly, and it was over, the big guy was angry. Damn Tony! It's all your fault. Why do you have to make fun of the big guys? Hey, sorry, sorry, I'm used to eating like this. At this time, Wukong smiled and apologized to Tony and Ari, without showing any signs of anger. After seeing this scene, Thanos breathed a sigh of relief, and finally let go of his dangling heart. Fortunately, this super boss has a good temper, otherwise the consequences would be unimaginable. But before Thanos could relax for too long, Tony spoke again. It's fine, mate, if you guessed correctly, your world must be full of savages like you. After all, the civilization of each world is different. But don't worry, we won't recommend staying in one with you. Place to dine. In fact, Tony's remarks did not mean to continue to ridicule Wu Kong, he was completely unintentional. But his poisonous tongue made these words seem like he was swearing. So, Thanos finally couldn't help shouting, Oh! Fake squid Tony! Can you shut up? Tony, dot. Nag. After being shouted by Thanos, Tony was instantly stunned. He didn't understand what happened to Thanos today. Why are you yelling at him all of a sudden? On the front desk, Guo Huang held back his smile and glanced at Thanos sympathetically. In order to help Tony out of danger, Thanos really took great pains. Chapter 61 After Thanos yelled at Tony, he turned his head and glanced at Wu Kong behind him. Realizing that Wu Kong didn't mean to be annoyed, Thanos breathed a sigh of relief. In order to prevent Tony from continuing to speak out, he immediately explained it to Tony. Tony, don't say it anymore, he is a big guy who even I dare not provoke easily. According to my analysis of his strength, I am afraid that he can blow up a planet with one punch, and can slap you to death with just one slap. After listening to Thanos' words, Tony's eyes widened instantly. What the fuck? Hit a planet with one punch. Too Nima outrageous. Moreover, Thanos is a ruthless man who can kill hundreds of millions of creatures with a snap of his fingers. Even the person he dared not provoke lightly, what a savage boss he must be. Thinking of this, Tony even had a feeling of the rest of his life. No wonder Thanos wanted to yell at him just now, that's what happened. The eagle-eyed Myhawk hanging on it was also stunned, blowing up the planet with one punch. Is this TM human can do? Real or fake? Only Sakata Jinsher, who stayed in the corner, was not too surprised. Having seen Dragon Ball, he said that what Thanos said was not an exaggeration at all. Sorry sorry, boss, you were offended just now, don't have the same knowledge as me. At this time, Tony put his hands together and quickly apologized to Goku. Just kidding, like this kind of super boss, pinching him to death is like pinching an ant to death. Even if he wears the Iron Man armor, he is not a fart in the eyes of others. Ha! Huh. Why are you apologizing? Wukong nibbled at the ribs and turned his head to look at Tony suspiciously. With his stupid personality, he didn't even hear that Tony was mocking him just now. Che, what's so amazing, no matter how powerful he is, he was not beaten by Master Ban and Brother 2 last night. Ari was very upset when he heard Tony's apology. No matter how strong Yukong is, Ari will never buy his account. As soon as these words came out, everyone except Thanos was stunned again, and they all muttered in their hearts at the same time. Tony, Master Ban. Is the employee who defeated the swordsman above his head before. Hawk eat my hawk, it turns out that guy is so powerful, it seems that I am not wrong to lose. Sakata Jintoki, isn't it right? Can I beat Kakarot with Madara's strength? Thanos, dot. At this moment, everyone whispered in their hearts. Not far away, Madame Ban puffed out his chest proudly, with a proud look on his face. 
That's right, I, Madara Uchiha, just beat up Goku, the super big guy. Only Thanos cast a contemptuous look at Madame Madara, why did you beat Ryukong violently, what's the matter, don't you have a B number in your heart? People can't move, they can't resist you. However, just as everyone was whispering, Ryukong suddenly gave Ari an apologetic look. I'm sorry. Speaking of what happened yesterday, it's true that I did something wrong. Well, why don't I treat you to a meal? What would you like to eat? After listening to Wukong's words, Ari, who was originally upset, instantly changed his previous attitude. Wukong actually wants to treat himself to dinner. Sensible. You want to treat me to dinner? Really? Ari stared at Wukong with a smile on his face. She stayed with Tony, and could only eat a dish that Tony gave her. Although the weight is also very large, it is definitely not as good as Wukong's direct invitation to her for a meal. There is one dish on one side, and several dishes on the other, this must go to Wukong. So, Ari immediately left the table between Tony and Thanos and sat next to Goku. Seeing Ari's actions, Tony was stunned again. He really wanted to stop Ari, shouting, ITM, can also treat you to a meal. However, due to the pressure of the super boss, Goku, Tony finally did not speak. He he, little brother, you are so kind. I will forgive you for what happened before. Mikoto, give my sister all the dishes on the menu. Today, my sister will have a good time. Ari sat on the chair and waved to Mikoto and Kuriko, motioning them to serve the dishes. On the other hand, Mikoto and Kuriko looked at Ari with admiration and swallowed. They also wanted to eat so many dishes in one go. Congratulations, you finally don't have to rely on begging to eat today. Guo Huang silently lit a cigarette and gave Ali a thumbs up. It seems that he is exaggerating Ari, but he is actually mocking her. Sure enough, Ali immediately heard what Guo Huang meant, so he glared at Guo Huang fiercely. Does the goddamn boss speak? The old lady is eating on her own merits. You are the beggar. Your whole family is begging. I'll punch you in the chest with a little fist later. Snort. Okay, Sister Ali, wait a moment, I'll bring it to you right away. At this time, Kuriko and Mikoto walked to the kitchen together, ready to serve Ari dishes. Anyway, the two of them usually get along well with Ali, so maybe they can share this meal with Ali after a while. Since the dishes were all prepared by Guo Huang in advance, Mikoto and Kuriko quickly brought all the dishes. This made Hawkeye Maihawk very greedy, because the direction he was hanging was just opposite Wukong's table. So the aroma of the dish quickly hits the nostrils and fills the nostrils of Hawkeed Maihawk. This caused his saliva to spread like crazy and almost drool. But Hawkeye Maihawk swallowed his saliva in an instant, because below him was Wukong's head. If you drop saliva on the head of the super boss, Wukong, he will not be beaten to death. Gone. I'm too hard. Hawkeye Myhawk frowned, trying to restrain his saliva. His expression now is as ugly as eating shit. However, just as everyone was enjoying the food, another person suddenly came out of the dimensional passage. The man was wearing a black coat with a red camera hanging from his chest. And his expression looks very dragged and full of style. Guo Huang recognized the identity of the other party with just one glance. That's right, this person is the Emperor Knight of the Decade World. Doria Sushi. Classmate Wang Xiaoming. Chapter 62. Menyaji stared at Madame Madara next to him, and everyone in the hall, showing a very sullen expression. At this time, the Doria Si has been an imperial knight for some time, and he is currently traveling through the worlds of knights. And he was the most inflated during this period. Because he got almost all the knight's power and collected a lot of knight cards. So in his world, basically no one is his opponent. Ha! Huh. What is this? While looking at the dimensional restaurant, Menyaji accidentally saw the note on the wall, and he began to observe it carefully. The note reads as follows. 1. Guests who come to this restaurant, please note that this is not the world you are in, please keep in mind. 2. There are big bosses in this restaurant, please don't do anything, and don't provoke other customers, otherwise you will be responsible for the consequences. 3. All guests who dare to eat Bawang's meal will be hung up and exposed to the public. Finally, a warm reminder, there are gluttonous fox demons in this restaurant. 
If you can't bear the begging of fox demons, please eat in a civilized manner. After Menyashi observed the contents of the note, his eyes remained calm and he was not surprised. After all, he often travels to other worlds and has long been used to this kind of thing. So this is a restaurant. I don't know which night's world it is this time. I saw Kanzuya put his hands into his trouser pockets, looked around the restaurant indifferently, and started walking towards the front desk. Just looking at Menya Sushi's sullen expression, Madame Madara raised his eyebrows in disgust. What's up with this guy? Are you more drawn than me? Is it another super boss like Goku? Hello guest, what would you like to eat? Itachi stared at Kamen Yasi in front of him and handed him the menu. And Kuruya took over the menu while observing Myhawk, who was hanging in the hall. Why is that person hanging? And that purple-skinned guy is definitely a weirdo, right? Why do weirdos eat here too? It seems that this restaurant is definitely not a good place. Menyashi thought of this, and looked down at the menu in his hand. After finding the price on the menu, he immediately frowned. Dot yen for any dish. This restaurant is so arrogant. So, Menya Sushi gave full play to his imagination and began to make up his mind at random. Oh, I probably understand. Your store should be a black store that colluded with weirdos to force customers to spend, right? If you guessed correctly, as long as I can't pay, you will immediately hang me up, just like that unlucky bastard. After Kadoyaji finished speaking, he pointed to Myhawk, who was hanging in the center of the hall, and raised a playful smile. Itachi, dot. Shushue, dot. Unfortunately, your tricks have been seen through by me. At this time, Kanzuya threw the menu on the ground, and then looked specifically at the people who were eating. In his opinion, Guo Huang, Tony, Goku, Kuriko, Makoto, Ari, Hawkeye Maihawk, and Sakata Jintoki are all ordinary people who were held hostage by weirdos. And the weirdos in his eyes are the purple-skinned Thanos, and the domineering madman. Don't worry everyone, don't worry. I will rescue you. As Menya said, he put on a pose he thought was handsome, and looked at Thanos with a look of disdain. Afterwards, he directly took out the Emperor Cavalry Transformer and placed it on his abdomen. Thanos, dot. Tony, dot. Goku, dot. Sakata Jintoki, dot. After listening to Men Yasi's words, everyone was dumbfounded. Rescue us. Who are you going to rescue? It's not a brain disease, is it? Where did this Nima come from? What was he thinking about just now? Only Hawkeye Myhawk's eyes lit up, and he began to look forward to Minyaji. Because he was the only one who was hanged at the moment, so what the other party said must be to rescue him. And listening to Minyashi's tone and attitude, he must be a super boss in all likelihood. Otherwise, how dare you pull like that? Zero flowers. With the help of the boss, he finally has the hope of escaping from the Dimension Restaurant. You guy. Who the hell are you? At this time, Madame Ban also walked in front of Menyeshi, staring at him suspiciously, and asked the Emperor's must answer famous words. At this time, Bani seemed very hesitant, he didn't know whether he should do it now. Because of the posture of the gatekeeper, he looks like a super boss. If the other party is a pervert like Ryukong again, won't he suffer a big loss once he starts? After thinking about this, Madara's face became very ugly, and he was hesitating whether to take a shot at Kanzuya. However, just as Bani hesitated, Menya Shur also began to answer Bani's question. I'm not someone, just a passing Cayman rider, remember it for me. I saw Kanzuya take out the T-Gene card from the card box and put it in the transforming device. Then he smiled casually, and quickly pushed the transforming device on his abdomen, and the posture seemed to require more batches of batches. Ruthless transformation. Cayman Rider. Decade. Immediately afterwards, the exclusive sound effect of the Emperor Cavalry's transformation sounded and reverberated throughout the hall. When Madame Ban heard the cool sound, he couldn't help but take a few steps back. Not only Madame, but Thanos, Wukong and others, everyone was shocked by the transformation of Menyeshi. This guy's B grade is really strong. Only Guo Huang frowned and looked at Men Yasi impatiently. Why is there another trouble tonight? Delmar, is it over yet? Still want to transform? Do you want to fart? Go get beaten up. 
As a result, Guo Huan gave full play to his advantages as a god and forcibly cancelled the transformation of Minyeshi. As long as it is in the Dimension Restaurant, Guo Huan can invalidate the transformation of Men Yasi with just one thought. Chapter 63 Transform Kamen Yaji pushes the T-Jean belt on his abdomen, preparing to become Kamen Rider T-Jean. A cool sound came suddenly, echoing throughout the hall. Not only Madara was taken aback by the sound, but even Goku, Makoto, Kuriko, Itachi, Shirsue, Ari, Thanos, Tony, Sakata Jintoki, and Hawkeye Maihawk exclaimed at the same time. However, under the interference of Guo Huang's transformation and invalidation, the sound effect only rang halfway, and then disappeared completely. A few seconds later, Kanzuya Shur was still standing in the same position as a fool. At this time, he felt a little puzzled, even the sound effect came, why didn't he transform himself? Seeing that Men Yasi was stunned in the same place as Tai Hanin, everyone gradually put away their surprised expressions, and a series of black question marks appeared on their foreheads. Aren't you going to be two, three, three? What about the transformation? Madara was also dumbfounded, he had absolutely no idea what happened to Men Yasushi. Only Guo Huang hid aside with a wicked smile. Men Yaji stared at the people in front of him, his expression full of embarrassment. It must be the wrong way I transformed just now, um, yes, it must be like this, do it again. Thinking of this, Kanzuya Shur repeated the handsome action just now, preparing to become an imperial knight again. Transform. Transform. The next second, the cool sound effect sounded again, and the transformation special effect followed, which made Menyeshi heave a sigh of relief. But it didn't take long for the sound effects and special effects that had just appeared disappeared in an instant. This time, even the Emperor Cavalry card was ejected from the transforming device and fell to the ground. Menyaji's eyes widened for a moment, and he looked at the card on the ground at a loss, revealing an unbelievable gaze. What the hell is this TM? Why can't I be transformed? We're about to hit the monsters. I even pretended to be B. Can't transform into me to fight Nima. At the same time, Ryukong, Thanos, and the others were all dumbfounded. Are you kidding me? After making trouble for a long time, you are just bluffing with co-authoring. Mad, I was almost fooled by your cool sound effects. Especially Hawkeye Myhawk, he was originally a super boss, and he could save him from fire and water. Unexpectedly, the super boss in his eyes is ultimately a B king who can only pretend to be B. At this time, Banny finally realized that this guy was a paper tiger. How dare you put a B in front of me, Madara Uchiha? Are you tired of living? Obviously, this wave of mischief by Menya has made Madame Madara angry, and he decided to teach this stinky boy a lesson. So, Madame Ban started to move, and walked towards Menyeshi with a fierce look on his face. Looking at the murderous Lord Ban, Menyasi was panicked in an instant, and was frightened by Ban Yin retreated again and again. Tamat. You transform lousy. Transform. Ruthless. In a hurry, Menyashur hurriedly picked up the Emperor Cavalry card on the ground and slammed it into his belt with all his might. Then, the sound effect of madly pulling the cool and hanging the sky TM sounded again. Listening to this sound effect, Madame Ban's expression was as ugly as eating shit. How many times is this? You still want to fool me? Do you think I'm mentally retarded? At this moment, Madame Ban's anger has reached its peak. He disappeared in place in an instant, and appeared beside Kanzuya. Wait. Wait a minute. Give me some time. I will definitely be able to transform successfully. At this time, Menyashur was still inserting cards into the transforming device, and he stretched out a hand to block in front of Madame Madara. Also transformed. You have transformed into Nima. Madame Ban didn't pay any attention to Menyasi, and threw a punch and smashed the opponent's face. Puff. The door Yasi was beaten by Madara and spat out a mouthful of old blood, and fell to the ground in a very embarrassed manner. As a result, his transforming device also detached from his waist and slid down to Guo Huang's feet. Hey, why do you have to make trouble in the restaurant? Classmate Wang Xiaoming, you are really asking for trouble. Guo Huang picked up the transforming device, slowly put it on the table, and snapped his fingers. 
Immediately afterwards, Kanzuya Shur was tied up with iron chains and disappeared from the ground. When he reappeared, he was already hanging in the center of the hall just like Hawkeye Myhawk before. Hawkeed Myhawk glanced at the door Yussi next to him, showing a bitter face. He originally thought that the super boss, Menya Sushi, would save him from the fire and water. As a result, Men Yasi was actually a king bee, except that he could pretend to be bee, but he didn't hang it, and in the end, he hanged with him. Also TM Super Boss. I don't believe you so much. I bother. Thanos and Tony also looked at the door Yasi above their heads with contempt, and there was no sympathy in their eyes. Zero, who made you have no strength and pretended to fool people everywhere? Deserves to be hung up. Ah, what a poor man. Right? Brother Wukon. While eating pizza, Ali showed a schadenfreude smile and lightly touched Wukong's shoulder with his elbow. After chatting for a while, Ali was already very familiar with Wukong, and he called him Brother Wukong. Well, at the beginning, I thought he was a very powerful guy, but he showed no fighting ability. Goku looked up at the door Yasi directly above, and his expression was full of disappointment. On the other hand, Men Yasi stared at Wukong in dissatisfaction, and cursed wildly in his heart. I didn't transform successfully. Of course there's no fighting. If the transformation is successful, be sure to let you know the price of underestimating me. At the same time, in a large laboratory in the Academy City, hundreds of sisters Misaka were soaking in the jar, unconscious with their eyes closed. Abito, on the other hand, stood in front of a pile of computers, constantly tapping his fingers on the keyboard and entering codes. During the process, Abito also found two strings of special codes in the computer. Those two strings of codes, one contains the hatred of all Misaka sisters. The other is the human thoughts of the Misaka sisters. As long as you input them, the Misaka sisters will gain human feelings. Abito didn't care about, and entered the code that would make the younger sisters have feelings into the minds of all the younger sisters. And another code that contained the hatred of the sisters, Abito casually input it to one of the Misaka sisters. With the knowledge of more than dot scientific researchers, the current Abito can easily do this. When the code was entered, the Misaka sisters all possessed human emotions. And one of Misaka's sisters became an extra individual in the original Magic Forbidden because of the hatred she received. Immediately afterwards, the jars of the Misaka sisters were opened one after another. A large amount of green liquid flowed out of the jar, and the Misaka sisters all fell to the ground, and gradually opened their eyes. Chapter 64 At 11.50 in the evening, in the Dimension Restaurant. Hawkeed Myhawk and Menya Sushi were still tied with iron chains and hung in the center of the hall like Tai Hanin. In the past few hours, the two brothers and sisters have suffered a lot. Because Goku and Tony have been ordering and eating. The scent and the taste of it all stimulated the taste buds of Hawkeye Myhawk and Menya Sushi, and their eyes were bleeding from greed. Especially Men Yasi, he knew that the restaurant staff was so strong, and he was not so arrogant at the beginning. And after observation, Men Yasi found that the guests of this restaurant were not kidnapped by strange people, they were all guests who came to eat here. After learning this, he was even more annoyed than the Hawkeye Myhawk before. Obviously he could order a dish and enjoy the food just now, but he had to make a batch. It's a shame that it's not a human being inside or outside now. Guests, the restaurant will be closed soon, you should settle the bill. Shirsue, Itachi, Kuriko, and Mikoto took the bill and went to each table to collect the bill. Look at the money in here, is it enough to pay for this meal? Goku happily threw the big bag of 20 yen on the ground on the table and asked Itachi with a smile. Itachi opened the writing wheel, and quickly counted the money in the bag, and found that there was a full point million yen in it. However, although Wukong brought a lot of money this time, it was only barely enough to settle the bill. Because Wukong is so good at eating, he ate a hundred people's food, more than Thanos. It seems that when he returns to Dragon Ball World, he will go to Bulma to borrow money again. As usual, it's still deducted from the bank card. At this time, Tony also waved his hand handsomely, unintentionally showing his willfulness as a rich man. Mr. Tony, thank you for inviting me to dinner. Sakata Jinshur on the side patted his stomach contentedly, got up and bowed to thank Tony. Half an hour ago, Tony couldn't order food when he saw Ginza Sakata, so he ordered two dishes from him. 
After all, every guest in the Dimension restaurant may be a hidden boss. Tony's idea was that if he could make one friend, he would make one more friend, so he invited Sakata Jintoki to dinner. Little things, man, you don't have to worry about it. I saw Tony patted Sakata Jintoki lightly on the shoulder, signaling him to flatten. Boss, let's go, come back another day. After the bill was settled, everyone got up and started to leave the restaurant. Before leaving, he did not forget to say goodbye to Guo Huang. Okay, welcome next time. Guo Huang also smiled and waved to everyone, sending them off. After everyone stepped into the dimension passage, Liu Kang suddenly thought of something and returned to the restaurant. By the way, boss, please pack me a flavored jerky. After returning, Liu Kang showed a wicked smile and wanted to pack a flavored jerky. Because of the effect of jerky, it can instantly double the strength of the eater. Moreover, the shelf life of flavored jerky is not short. As long as it is eaten within one week, the effect of jerky can be triggered immediately. Wukon plans to buy flavored jerky and go back to have a good discussion with Vegeta. When his strength suddenly doubles, it will definitely surprise Vegeta. Okay, I'll pack it for you right away, please wait a moment. As soon as Guo Huang finished speaking, Haizi took out the jerky from the kitchen using time and space teleportation and handed it to Wukon. Thank you boss, I'm leaving. Goku threw the remaining Japanese yen to Kuriko, just enough to pay for the jerky. Afterwards, Wukong no longer ink, turned around and entered the dimension channel, and returned to the Dragon Ball world. After all the guests had left, Guo Huang slowly raised his head and looked at Hawkeye Maihawk and Men Yasi. The latter deliberately avoided Guo Huang's gaze, neither of them knew what Guo Huang was going to do to them next. After all, they were making trouble in the restaurant today, so they thought that Guo Huang would never spare them easily. Boss, what are you going to do with these two people? Mikoto looked at the eagle-eyed Maihawk and Menya Sushi with some sympathy, wondering what Guo Huang would do with these two unlucky bastards later. A nerd like this who dares to make trouble in a restaurant should hang here for three days and three nights. Ali took a bite of the spare ribs and showed a look of disdain. She was obviously watching the fun and didn't think it was a big deal. After listening to Ari's words, Hawkeye Maihawk and Men Yasi couldn't help trembling, and then subconsciously glared at Ari. I didn't expect that Ari, a woman who looked so beautiful, spoke so viciously. It really was the most poisonous but a woman's heart. If they really hang here for three days and three nights, then they will be embarrassed in the future. So Hawkeed Maihawk said quickly, Boss, I'm really sorry. Today, I'm blaming me for offending our store on a whim, but I really didn't mean it. Please forgive me for my mistake this time, and I'll definitely bring a gift another day. Come and apologize. When Hawkeye Myhawk said this, his tone was full of apology and his expression was sincere. No way, people have to bow their heads under the eaves. As the greatest swordsman in the world of pirates, he understands this truth. And after listening to the other party's words, Menya sure also began to worry. Since even this brother has begun to intercede with Guo Huang, why is he embarrassed? So, Men Yasi said eagerly, I'm also very sorry, boss, this time I misunderstood our store, and thought that our store was colluding with weirdos to kidnap customers. Now I know my mistake, please let me go. Tomorrow I will come to make amends. In fact, Men Yashi's words were completely unwilling, and belonged to a plan to delay troops. In his opinion, whether it is Guo Huang or Banyi, they are all spicy chickens. Today is the one who didn't transform successfully, and if he transforms successfully, he will definitely drop the hammer to everyone present. If Guo Huang released Men Yasi, he might come for revenge tomorrow. After all, he hadn't seen the battle between Madame and Wu Kang, and he didn't know everyone's strength. At this time, Guo Huang listened to the apology of the two and nodded with satisfaction. Yes, these two boys can talk and be sensible. Since you all said so, then I will forgive you this time. In the future, as long as you come to this restaurant, you can still order and eat like other guests. But remember, this is not an example. Don't do anything in this restaurant in the future. Guo Huang snapped his fingers while speaking. Then, the chains on the two of them disappeared out of thin air. The next second, Hawkeye Maihawk fell smoothly to the ground, while Keiruchi fell to the ground. Chapter 65 a few minutes later, in the Dimension Restaurant. 
Eagle-eyed Myhawk and Men Yasi are standing at the door of the Dimension Passage, ready to leave. Guo Huang's black knives and Imperial Cavalry transforming devices were handed over to them respectively. Goodbye, boss, I will definitely visit tomorrow. Hawkeye Myhawk bowed respectfully to Guo Huang, turned around and stepped into the Dimension Passage, returning to the world of pirates. This bow, Hawkeye Myhawk came from the heart. Because today he did something wrong and broke the rules of the restaurant. Moreover, after seeing Guo Huang's magical dishes, Hawkeye Myhawk will definitely come again. One is greedy, and the other is to try the effect of the dish to see if it is really that magical. Next time I come, I won't be so embarrassed again. Men Yasi stared at Madame Madara and Guo Huang in dissatisfaction, and also entered the Dimension Passage, left the restaurant, and returned to the World of Nights. After listening to Men Yasi's words, Guo Huang was stunned for a moment. What does this guy mean? Listening to this tone, do you still want to do something? Thinking of this, Guo Huang couldn't help but chuckle softly. Well, classmate Wang Xiaoming is really ambitious and looks forward to your next visit. Ding! Now we will start to settle the points that you have recently obtained. Since the system has been upgraded yesterday, there is no time to count the points for you, so this time, the points you have obtained in the past two days will be announced together. Detected that Itachi has done 33 chores recently, earning dot points. Detected that Madara has done 12 chores recently, dot points. It was detected that Abito had done 38. 44 chores recently, and obtained dot points. Detected that Shershue has done 29. 5 chores recently, and got dot points. Current employee points. Itachi, 143 points. Spot, 512. 001 points. With soil, 138. 94 points. Stop water, 154. 5 points. After the sound of the system ended, the expressions of the Uchiha spirit boys were ugly. Mad, co-authoring they worked so hard for the past two days, and in the end they earned so many points. What are these points enough for? Even TM can't keep up with the heat. At this rate, when will they have to earn point million points? Only Guo Huang sat leisurely on the chair and took a cigarette in comfort. The points earned by Guo Huang are completely different from the points earned by the Uchiha spirit guys. Since the popularity of Dimension Restaurant, the restaurant has earned at least 1 billion. According to the rules of the restaurant, 1 dollar is equal to points, and 1 billion is point million points. Earning point million points in just a few days is simply amazing. However, just when Guo Huang was secretly happy, Abito suddenly used Shen Wei to come to the Dimension Restaurant. Abito, you're finally here, how are things going? When Guo Huang saw Abito, he immediately asked about Sister Misaka. Mikoto and Kuriko also looked eager for an instant, staring at Abito with anticipation. Don't worry, boss, I have done everything. Abito nodded and started to activate Kamui again, releasing Misaka sisters from the Kamui space one by one. About a thousand sisters of Misaka were released, and Abito stopped maintaining the power of the gods. After all, the space is limited. If all the tens of thousands of Misaka sisters are released, the hall will not be able to hold them at all. Since there are a lot of Tokuwadai's clothes stored in the laboratory, these Misaka sisters are all dressed in advance. In addition to the last work, all the surviving sisters of Misaka have been brought over by Abito, including the extra individuals created by Abito himself. Seeing so many Misaka sisters, Itachi, Shirsue, Madara, and Ari were all very surprised. Mikoto covered her mouth and looked at the Misaka sisters in disbelief. Guo Huang really did it, he really saved so many Misaka sisters. Thinking of this, Mikoto turned her head and glanced at Guo Huang gratefully, not knowing what to say. At this time, Mikoto was undoubtedly very moved. Thank you, boss. In the end, Mikoto turned thousands of words into a thank you and bowed to Guo Huang. Guo Huang also smiled and nodded, looking at Sister Misaka in front of him with satisfaction. Mi Mikoto, why do they all look exactly like you? At this time, Ari pointed to the Misaka sisters and looked at Mikoto very curiously. The Kuriko next to him couldn't wait to step forward and quickly plunged into the arms of a Sister Misaka. Ah! This feeling. It's exactly the same as my elder sister. 
Kuriko is so happy to see so many elder sisters. Kuriko couldn't put it down and touched Misaka's sister's cheek, addicted to it and unable to extricate herself. Although Kuriko had met Misakasen before, this was the first time they had come into close contact. Ora. Kuriko. Don't do such a shameful thing. Mikoto immediately blushed when she noticed Kuriko's actions, and ran over to stop Kuriko's actions. At the same time, the Misaka sisters also observed the Dimension restaurant with dull eyes, and their eyes lost their luster without exception. Although Abito has input their emotional system into them, allowing them to have human feelings. But after all, they have only just acquired emotions, and now they don't understand anything at all. The way of thinking of the brain is also a little better than that of a newborn baby, and it needs to be adjusted well. Where is this place? Why did we leave the lab? Dude, Misaka asked suspiciously. We have already disobeyed the order, and we must go back quickly. Do, Misaka said very eagerly. It's almost time for Accelerator to conduct the experiment, and Misaka has to rush to the experiment site. Dude, Misaka desperately reminded. After a few seconds, Misaka's sisters who were released began to mumble together. After seeing this scene, Guo Huang did not feel any trouble. Before Sister Misaka came, Guo Huang discussed a solution with the system.